en este momento el Campeonato del Mundo de Puzzles 2023. So we're just about to start the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships 2023. Sé que estáis deseando empezar a hacer vuestro puzzle. I know you can't wait to start. So. Pero antes vamos a deciros unas poquitas cosas. But we've La... just got to mm -hmm. run through a couple of little things with you. La primera, estáis participando en lo que será la primera ronda de clasificación individual. So this is the first qualification round, um, the winners of whom will go through to the semifinals. A lo largo de la jornada de hoy viviremos seis rondas clasificatorias para conocer los semifinalistas y de ahí también los finalistas. And there are six qualification rounds today in all, um, who will go through to the two semifinals. En esta primera ronda de clasificación, como en todas las demás, pasarán 60 personas. So 60 people will go through from this first round. Las 30 mejores, según cada país, o sea, mejor clasificado de cada país hasta un máximo de 30 y el resto hasta 60 por orden de clasificación. So the first classified from each country will go through up to 30 um, and then the fastest puzzlers from there on. ¿Qué vais a enfrentar cuando abráis esa bolsa e iniciemos el, el tiempo? Tendréis un total de 90 minutos y un puzzle de 500 piezas para realizar. So, when we tell you when, you can open up the bag in front of you um, and you've got 90 minutes, a maximum of 90 minutes to complete the puzzle. Hasta que no iniciemos el tiempo, nadie puede tocar nada en la mesa y sí que os pediremos que no toquéis eh, las banderas que están en cada una de las mesas porque serán importantes también a la hora de la retransmisión. So, and then please, yes, don't touch the flags on your tables either, please. Leave everything as it is on your tables um, so we can see who you are um, on television streaming. Una cosa muy importante, cuando finalicéis el puzzle, levantáis la mano, uno de los jueces irá hasta vuestra mesa y cuando lo hayáis completado, debéis abandonar la zona de la competición. So, when you finish the puzzle, just raise your hand and one of the volunteers will go and um, check Um, your puzzle, and then when you finish, when it's been checked, um, could you please leave um, the um, area of competition? Cada una de las rondas de clasificación va a enfrentarse a un puzzle diferente. Yo entiendo que a lo mejor queráis conservar, como recuerdo, todos esos puzzles. Cada vez que se inicie una de las rondas, el puzzle que se está realizando se pondrá a la venta y podéis adquirirlo en la zona de atrás, donde pone Caja Rural de Zamora. So, in each of the rounds today, you'll all be doing a different puzzle in each round. Obviously, each um, round, you're all doing the same puzzle here. Um, but all the puzzles will be av available for sale um, in the Cacorral tent at the back of the, um, the dome. Y creo, Charlie, que eso es todo. Uh, Vamos a empezar una cuenta atrás. Vale. Me están comentando desde la organización que hemos quitado el precinto de cada puzzle para que tengáis más fácil el poder abrirlo. No vais a tener ningún problema. So you'll be glad to hear there's no cellophane on the puzzle today, um, so you won't need any keys or any objects to open it up with. You should just be able to open up the box. Que disfrutéis, que tengáis suerte y vamos a empezar esa cuenta atrás desde el 5. Creo que está todo preparado. So enjoy it. So we're going to give a countdown to the begin. The World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship 2023 in Cinco, five, cuatro, four, tres, three, two, dos, one, one. Adelante, puzzle. suerte. Woo. Good luck to you all.
From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Hello and welcome to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships 2023 and we are here in Valladolid and uh, people have already started puzzling away behind us, mm -hmm. in front of us I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh and there we are. There we hello. Are. <laughs> right we're not supposed to look, we're supposed to look over there. So <laughs> yeah, hello, we're there. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I'm Julia and this is my lovely co-commentator presenter hello. Valerie. Yep, I'm Valerie oh, Coy. Yep, and go ahead. we've got we'll be speaking shortly to Diane from Australia, who is mm -hmm. one of the Australian Jigsaw Puzzle Association champs. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. So, okay. First off, let's talk about the puzzle because this is what everybody is here for, right? Like, what are they going to have to do today? So we have got a beautiful uh, Robinsberger Nature Edition 500-piece puzzle. Um, and I look at this and I'm excited. What do you think, Diarn? I would love to have received this puzzle in yeah. a competition. Me That's too. my kind of puzzle. Yes. Why though? Love Why? It. What is it about that puzzle that you like? Is it just because it, 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 you like the photograph? You like this? There's a beautiful sunset. We've got some mm -hmm. pink and some purple flowers. Mm -hmm. What is it about it that you like? It's got definite sections of colour. So you've got your yeah. pink, your purple, your blue. Mm -hmm. You've got your defined horizon. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's mm -hmm. got lots of texture in it. Yeah. Okay. So I, I actually quite mm -hmm. enjoy blades of grass and the textures of the flowers. Oh, you're unique in that aspect. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people are going, oh no, grass. <laughs> and as much as a third of that puzzle is sky, mm -hmm. it's got so much definition in yeah. that sky. So that, that's not a bad sky to yeah. do. And actually, I'm going to be surprised if folks don't start with the sky. That would be my very first thing. Oh. I mean, of course, you've got the edge. You know, a lot of people like to do what you're seeing now, like flipping, sorting out the edge. I'm not, you know, depending yeah, on so who it is, not everybody yeah. does the edge first. I think with something like this, it might be a bit difficult because the whole bottom edge is going to be very similar, whole top edge very similar. So that might be a strategy to wait on the edge. But I mm -hmm. think that sky, because you've got that sun that you can kind of start with and work outward, because um, that to will, me that, that'll probably be a big thing for folks to start with. That will pop out as white. They're exactly. going to be the only white pieces yeah. in yep. your pile. Yep. But yeah. I, I do think it's going to be a challenging puzzle because that whole middle section there, there's not a lot of difference in terms of the like blurriness or, you know, it's all kind of that same level of focus. So it's going to be a challenging puzzle. I would expect yeah. the times maybe a little longer than we've seen For in some, the past. Yeah. 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 
It's a shame we can't actually. We haven't been able to show. Well, on there the, you can oh, see. There, yeah, can see once in a while you get a good up. view. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I think the horizon I would would be one of the. Yeah, uh, if I was sorting, points. I think I'd have mm -hmm. a pile for the horizon because it it'd be mm -hmm. it's the only section that's got a defined line. Yeah. yeah. Definitely this puzzle is great for those who like to sort because they can make some pretty distinct piles. You've got your yes. pinks, your purples, your horizon, and your sky. But I think you're right, Diarn. I think a lot of folks are going to start with the horizon. You know, they were watching somebody, um, you know, here's Alejandro uh, Darius Mateo. He's from Spain, also a very fast puzzler. Okay, see really, the it looks like he's the champ doing... from last year. No, the no, no, Alejandro no, no, no. Clemente is the champ from last yes. year. Yep. But okay. I think it does get confusing for folks because I believe this Alejandro is also very quick. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. It's and does a really good job. It's a very common name, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, yeah. So yeah. we should set the scene, shouldn't we? We're mm -hmm. here today. This is the first day of the competition. Mm -hmm. And we have the individual competitors today. And mm -hmm. this is group A. Yep. And they will have 90 minutes to mm -hmm. do the same 500-piece jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. And then we have the rest of the day. There are six different groups today, and mm -hmm. we've got a hundred participants here today. And some of the countries we were going through, we've got people from Norway, we've got people from France, mm -hmm. Japan, mm -hmm. Switzerland, mm -hmm. Germany, USA, Turkey, Bulgaria, Israel, Latvia. Italy, Andorra, <laughs> the Andorra. list goes on. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah. We, have we have such great representation this year. Um, yeah. Both Diarn and I were here last year. Right. And it was great. It was the first year back from COVID, though, so it wasn't quite oh, as yeah. big an event. And I have seen this event just kind of boom. This is the largest it's ever been. We've never had four days of competition before. Oh, really? It's the first yeah, day. Yeah, it's the first time that we've needed four days yeah. because in the past, you know, there hasn't necessarily been the need for so many qualifying rounds, um, but when you have 600 people that want to participate, you need to try to facilitate that in some way. So that's why there's all these qualifying divisions today, and then these times will determine who proceeds on to a semifinal, and then from there to the final. So I have a question, and mm -hmm. I perhaps should have found this out before, but how long have the, the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships been going on for? Yeah, that's Since actually 2019, really I believe. Oh, 2019 so was the first one. Yeah. So this is the third. Yeah. Well, I think they had it prior to that, but I think it was, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that it was as, well, I think it was more known locally and so yeah. you had a lot of people so from it, Spain it, participating but it yeah it did blossom from here from, yeah. from Spain and yeah. obviously yeah Alfonso is the is the president the chairman the pres yes. president president <laughs> yes, of the World Jigsaw Puzzle Federation yeah. yep um, so I wonder I mean do you think there are more Spanish participants perhaps than any other country Yes, definitely. I mean, across the individuals, mm -hmm. the pairs, and yeah. the teams. Yeah, there's somewhat of a home field advantage, obviously, because you don't have the travel involved. <coughs> a lot of them, you know, it's uh, just yes. easier to get here and yes. take the time to attend. So everyone else arrives, they're exhausted, <laughs> hungry, they're yep. disorientated. Mm -hmm. yeah, Do you know Spanish what? Have the yeah. Can I add to that, though? I think another reason there's so many Spanish participants is because there's a huge uh, puzzle culture in Spain. Spain they have so many competitions throughout yeah. the year mm -hmm. they have um, their local like small local competitions mm -hmm. like really rural local competitions they have their national competitions so all the Spanish competitions throughout the year are massive really? they've got a really great puzzle yeah, community yeah. very very involved yeah I mean I I wonder if that's also because um, it comes out of the Spanish culture, perhaps, where they're very good at being together, you know, family, you've got the, 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 the small children, you've got the grandparents, and they, they spend a lot of time together. I think so, Whereas, yeah. you know, perhaps in other, other countries where a bit more, you know, the nuclear family is not quite... Yeah. Quite so established. Yeah. Perhaps, mm -hmm. Because it's a lovely pastime, isn't it, for, for families? Oh, most and that's definitely. something that mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to finding out more about mm -hmm. as we speak to the participants um, throughout the competition is, is why 
why people get so involved and, and, and interested mm -hmm. in doing puzzles. And it obviously mm -hmm. seems to be something that you started doing in childhood, mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. something that was part of your family culture. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yes. Oh, that's okay. Holding up the oh, no, that's so all right. Everyone can see yeah, I, we, we the camera was on us for a bit. Yeah. yeah, and I saw people in the comments saying, we want to see, see the puzzle it, better. Yes. So uh, I held it up for a little bit there. But yeah, I think you're right. But I also think, um, you know, the pandemic made a difference. You saw people. Yeah. You know, being at home more, just looking for ways to pass the time, and you know, puzzles just exploded during that time. And you know, I'm with the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association, and we didn't exist before COVID. Um, and then during that time, it was like, hmm, you know, me and some other volunteers had a bit of time on our hands, so um, we just weren't doing the normal, you know, going out and those things. So we really focused on starting the organization, and you know, we started in 2020. And we already have. 1200 members of yeah. a you know of an association and and you know I've seen competitive puzzling really explode in in America mm. in just the last few years. I was just going to say that you, you've got puzzling as a hobby that really exploded through COVID because everyone had to stay at home and entertain mm. themselves and families were stuck together if you like mm -hmm. um, but competitive puzzling has taken puzzling to a whole new level oh there's our Australian Annika Thompson oh, sorry say, I've just yeah. spotted Annika and on the she's screen doing exactly what you said Dion she yeah. started with that horizon line yes I've seen some other people as we've been kind of going around yeah. the room and you can see there lots, lots of people started with that sky. horizon in the sky yep. yeah it's gonna be easier to pick those pieces out as well mm. um, yes. when when they get down to just having that bottom half that's gonna get a lot more tricky I actually don't even know how I would approach that I think I don't know if you start with the bottom edge and work your way up or try to work maybe you know the the flowers you know there's some that are smaller in the kind of background See, maybe you start that with that, that part mm -hmm. there in the middle there's a whole section oh, there's Melinda there from the looks US. I think looks mm -hmm. really difficult because they're so similar, those yeah, purple flowers with yeah. the lighter colored bits you, in. Fortunately, there's a little patch of lighter, smaller flowers kind of in the middle in the back there. I bet a lot yeah. of people will kind of start with that and just kind of work their way down perhaps. Um, but yeah, you're looking at a good, what, maybe 200 pieces are going to be this section yeah. of just the pink flowers and grass. Oh, and look at that hat. There's a lovely hat. There's That's a competitor where he's from Austria. <laughs> Can't see what his name is. Let's try and find him. Number eighty. Number He's got 80. this amazing Australian hat to protect him from the, from Hans, the heat. <laughs> Hans Britton Lecter. Oh no, it's Austrian, Britton Lecter. Austrian hat. Yeah, it's a great yeah. Big piece. I'm gonna just puzzle yeah. There. I'm just gonna apologize in advance for ruining people's names. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't get all these pronunciations. Oh, now, oh so this is Kathy, Kathy Reuter, and actually, I was surprised to see her, wow, her hands, at table look how eighty-three. Fast her hands are moving. Yeah, Kathy is a really good puzzler from the United <gasps> States. She has a twin sister, Jean, and they are our top uh, pair of puzzlers in, in the US. I remember these yeah. two from the yeah. US competition. Yeah, I, I'm surprised she's puzzling alone. They, didn't they well, normally only puzzle yeah, in they pairs? Really don't, but I, I, I know that they kind of, I think, felt, you know, we're going all the way to Spain. We're going to do as much as possible. We're, we're going to compete and participate as much as we can. And I did get that. I don't like individual puzzling, but when I was here last year, I, I did the whole thing because just yeah. wanted to feel like did I was you see? Did you see her hands? It looked yes. like they were in fast yes. forward. Oh, no, I was yes. just about to they say do. that. It literally looked mm -hmm. like she was... It, it, the film had been speeded yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. It was so fast. <laughs> I was like, how does she do that? Alejandro looks the same when I watch Alejandro Clemente. When he's going, I feel like he's in fast motion. Really? I just cannot believe how fast his hands are. It's move. extraordinary. Really extraordinary. Well, so, and we're so lucky as oh, no, common. Look, here is somebody. Yeah. Starting oh, with the border. With the edge, yeah. Dilek from Turkey. She's very diligently going around the sides. And to some get people, done. that's just the thing they mm. have to do. I know, mm. I know people that even if the edge isn't easy, mm -hmm. they're like, that's just the way I do it. I always have to have that edge done. Here we wow, have. Wow, starting oh, with the sky. Hungary. Hungary. Yeah. She's doing very well on the sky. She's kind of yeah, more look or less that. done, I'd say, 75, close. 80% more yeah. of the sky. Her See, hands are quite fast too. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I mean, this is what's exciting about this is we have so many new people this year. Yes. I mean, I, I can't pretend to know who all the good people are. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of really great 
competitors, but we're going to see some surprises this weekend. Well, for sure. um, we're going to have people come in that. Kristen was that surprise yes. last year, and we've yes. got Kristen in this division yes. um, as a favourite. She finished her sky. I can see her from here. Oh, oh there she, she is on the screen for a now. Piece that she can't find to finish the sky. It oh, looks no. like one oh, please. sky piece is missing. It. She's oh, she's found it. It was oh, on cute. the floor. Because you there it is. <laughs> shake, it shake it off. Yeah, she shook it off a little bit. So she's finished her sky. Yeah, so she's done with her sky now. Because she if you drop a piece or you lose a mm -hmm. piece, do they add on? Is it 10 seconds they add on? At the end, yeah, yeah. That's the rule. It, it, the, the volunteers kind of note what time they completed and only had the one or two pieces left and then if they can't find them it's a 10 second penalty yeah but if they do find it within you know a few seconds and put it in then that's their official time after yeah, yeah. it's stressful as a volunteer you really don't want people to not be able to find <clears throat> the pieces <laughs> yeah what happens a lot as an organizer of puzzle contests is you know, they're in such a hurry to get the bag open and the box open, and they just dump all the pieces out. They throw the bag on the floor, and inevitably there's like a piece or two left in the bag. There's always, and so yeah. So the volunteers have to be really careful to look for that and not throw a bag away with a piece in it. We've literally, I've been at competitions where we're digging through the garbage. Oh, no. <laughs> Looking for bags and pieces. Oh, yeah. That's actually a skill that you've got to bring to competitive puzzling, is yeah. how to keep all your pieces on the table. Yeah, at true. home, you can drop them as often as you like you're the only person there who's going to find them here your piece could bounce two tables across right. um, you know along the right. floor it could bounce the distance of two tables mm -hmm. and someone else might pick it up thinking it's their piece yes. so um, yeah keeping all your pieces on the table is a crucial mm -hmm. Skill. Now, who's that? There's someone else from Australia there. That is Melissa. This is her first time at Worlds. Oh, she's done very well. Look, she's yeah, done she's all done of the, the sky, sky yep. and she's into the green. She? Quite, yeah. She's not far from Kristen, if I, I can say. Am I allowed to say that? earlier that Melissa's your current champ, right, in Australia, uh, so you're hopeful. Not our Australian champ. Um, Melissa won her state competition. Okay. And um, since winning that, she's done some impressive practice time. So we were out to dinner last night, actually, and I got very, very excited um, over Melissa. So I'm keen to watch her very closely today. I love this guy. He was here when I got here early this morning. He was waiting outside the door, and I almost went up to him and just was like, okay, that's fantastic. I love that you've, like, colored your hair in the, in the French, French flag. flag. Yeah, the yes. French flag. Um, we love your efforts, Emmanuel. Exactly. <laughs> the red, white, and blue. Shout now, out. here's a question I'd like. Mm -hmm. You see, this lady here that we're watching, Donna Lee is from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. She is obviously listening to mm -hmm. some music or mm -hmm. she's blocking out sound. And mm -hmm. looking around the room, most people are quite happy just to hear the kind of hubbub in the background. Mm -hmm. But some people do obviously listen to music. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, is that is that... Is that just a personal preference, do you mm -hmm. think? It's what helps people to concentrate? Or yeah. And what do you guys do? I mean, when you're... Mm -hmm. yeah, you ahead, do, you, do you I don't. To music? No, do not like at all. Really I can, yeah, I can puzzle in silence, but I also don't mind distraction around me. However, I know a lot of people actually use headphones for so many different reasons. Some people... That lady's got ear pods in. Yes. Um, that mm -hmm. is... I think that's Michaela. Um, yeah, Michaela Keener from the yeah, she's so very speedy as well. She's wearing um, ear pods, but um, some people play really upbeat music to keep them Pumping. going. Yes. Keep keep going. going. Because music. puzzling is really relaxing, so it's yeah. very easy to slip yeah. into I'll oh, just I'll just sit down and yeah. I'll you start puzzling with one hand, you know, and before you know it you've lost yeah. your best time I will so say that music is the one of the hardest parts i mean mm. i think people think yeah, what, what's oh you the hardest part the you focus think? the keeping mm. the focus yeah. yes I, I know you know but donna louise is dancing yeah, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so she's obviously got some fun music going on which yeah. is great and that's she's, she looks you know, like she's singing do. along too. yeah really that's what you would do yeah, yeah well i don't i don't usually wear headphones but if i'm with my pairs partner we practice with really upbeat music and try <laughs> to help that you know yeah. move us along mm. um but in this kind of i i mean i'm terrible with trying to not pay attention to the other puzzlers when i when <laughs> i'm competing <laughs> really? is that, oh it's is that, terrible is it because you're a little bit competitive you think? well so a little bit just eye. a little bit yes and just... i want to know if there's a hubbub you know like yeah. usually you'll you'll know when somebody's about to finish first because yeah. 
the people have gathered around the table. Yes. There's a little bit of chatter. Another happening. one dancing so to his headphones. Kyle, yeah, Kyle Kosum from the U.S. He's really a fast puzzler as well. We have some really great yeah. folks in this in the group A. Um, and so it's just fun for me to see how they're doing. But yes. do you know how the groups are worked out? Is it just quite a random mix? Or I suppose no. It's, it's to do with the number of uh, countries that are represented. Yeah, in each yeah. Group. I know he tried to kind of evenly yeah, split even the groups yeah. up. So I know in America we had, I think about a hundred signups. Um, so I think he tried to split them across the divisions. Yeah. Um, oh, there's oh, look, Kristen. There's Kristen. So she's I mean, doing I, the part yeah, that we thought was going to be the hardest one, section. One sky piece is still missing. Oh, few. Oh, no. She's got a couple edges too. She's I'm sure that's just that. driving her nuts. Yeah. But you know, you can I, see her I know, plugging watching, along. Watching her last yeah. year. And she had this incredibly relaxed way of yes. doing the puzzle where she just sort of looked like yeah. a like a slightly bored teenager yeah. just adding one piece after another. I think but those pieces missing are, are stressing her out a yeah, lot actually. Yes. I think that's really, really um, concerning for yeah. her. I hope it wasn't a big oh, thing. I can, or... see it. I can see it's on the floor. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, you can see it. You're right. I probably shouldn't do that. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. We're not allowed to do that. We've just spotted a piece on the floor under Kristen's (laughs) table. Yeah, Kristen's table's right in front of us. That's something Alfonso does when he kind of sets this up. He tries to put the folks he knows are really fast in the front, so it's just easier for the cameras to access their table and get shots of them. So yeah. Kristen's literally right in front of the commentator table here. Kristen, we can see Kristen your piece. from Norway, who did it last year. The, yeah, she was in 37 minutes. <laughs> she was the Something number like number oh, two Charlie, puzzler. Oh, oh good, Charlie helped that. her. Yes, nice. Thank you, Charlie. Well, we he gave her one, but she's still, I think, now. I think she's still going to be missing a few edges. Um, oh, so, and here's Melissa again. So yeah, there can see people are already really making great progress. Yeah. So there's a nice gentle hubbub going on. There's, there's, yeah. And there's quite around the sides yeah. we've got people watching. Presumably mm-hmm. they're people who are going to be, well, they're either here supporting the people playing today or mm-hmm. they're going to be in the pairs tomorrow. Oh, yeah. there's oh, Sarah just from the United few. Kingdom. I remember, I believe Sarah was here last year too. I should look that up and see how she did last year. But yeah. Yeah, so the people around the side are people that are going to be competing tomorrow, perhaps in pairs. Oh, yeah. Or they're joining mm-hmm. in, in, in the teams. Do most people play, if you are a very good individual mm-hmm. uh, puzzler, mm-hmm. Does it mean that you'll automatically be a good pair puzzler and a good team puzzler, or there are some people that are better in teams? Or yeah. Doesn't really, if you're a puzzler, you're a puzzler. You've either got the gift <laughs> or you haven't. What do That's you think, Dion? Dion, come on. Um, and do you play solo, pair, and team yourself? Yes, you do. Yes, um, I'm not this year, um, but yes, I've done individual so, pairs. I find teams really difficult. Do you? Um, because puzzling is a solo hobby yeah. for most people. You puzzle alone. You you put your pieces where you need them. And p- part of puzzling well is memory. So you remember where, you put that where your pieces piece. are. So yeah. you, you've seen a piece with something intricate on it and you haven't quite got a place for that. Mm. But when you find that place, you remember where that pieces yes. so you you your table is yours and you set it up and you remember where your pieces are but when you work in a team those pieces move <laughs> and that can be a bit frustrating yeah, they have move. you ever had a really big argument oh over, no with, with someone that you've been puzzling with no no, no. the puzzle community is just the most wonderful community of people i've ever met oh. i haven't I said it last night at dinner, I've not met a puzzler I didn't like. There's something about puzzlers, they're wonderful people, and I couldn't have an argument with a puzzler. They're too nice. (laughs) I would say, I mean, I I puzzle more with a team, um, and we, I mean, if we argue, it's all in fun. You know, it's usually about strategy. We love to talk about, you know, is it smart to sort? Is it, you know, better not to sort? And to just kind of pick up the pieces you need and work on your section and kind of all take a job, so to speak, or, you know, work more cooperatively. So 
you know, we've tried different things with different puzzles too. So you kind of mm. have to have a different approach mm. for every puzzle, just depending mm. upon what the image is. But yeah. I enjoy working with teams and pairs mm. more. I, I don't like the pressure of the solo contest. Uh. I, I feel just like, oh no, this is terrible. I just, I, I like having a cooperative thing because then I don't feel bad, as bad if I, you know, don't perform well. It um, takes a lot of communication. Yes, it does. A lot of Mm -hmm. open verbal communication yeah um, and I would because yeah. everyone puzzles differently so. right mm -hmm. and I would say our group you know we have an advantage having puzzled together for 20 years so when we go to a you competition for 20 years. yeah we've wow. been doing puzzling competitions since about you know 2001 or right, right around that time wow. so yeah I mean we have a shorthand it's just easy for yeah. us to to pick it up after even not puzzling together all year and then we go to the annual kind of you know, contests that we like to do and, and it just kind of all flows back together. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're a group of friends who just started puzzling together because we thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. um, here, what you're going to see at Worlds is more um, teams of really solid individual puzzlers who mm -hmm. have gotten together and formed what I like to call a mega team or a, a super team where they, they're just coming in with like four really good people already and then you compound all of that together and they have amazingly fast times. I'm just observing, I don't think I've seen anybody mm -hmm. doing the flowers first. No, I think we no, were right, everyone, everybody everyone. started with the horizon in the sky because yeah. it was pretty, mm. pretty straightforward uh, that that was going to be how that went. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's also, interesting is the ones, some have started with the edge, some have now not got many. the bottom edge, but there's a lot just and we just spotted um, earlier, we, we spotted a few puzzlers working from the box. Yes. Yeah. Would you yes. Like holding, when you say working from keeping the box, pieces you mean, in the box. Rather than oh, tipping them all see. on the table mm -hmm. and sorting, mm -hmm. yeah. they keep some of it. So their puzzle space is very neat. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they, they take the pieces from the box. And to me, that makes more sense when you don't have a lot of space. Last mm. year, we were all sharing these tables. So you had two puzzlers on each of these That's tables, right. one on each end, and that made it more difficult because you couldn't spread out as much. So you saw a lot more people using trays and boxes and things like that. For, to the, kind of, for the individual. Yeah, for the oh, individual, so hard. keeping things more contained. But because we have all these divisions this year, everybody's able to have their own table pretty much. I haven't seen anybody doubled up. I think that there is, were maybe a few divisions where there could have been. Yeah. But That'd be quite surprising for a lot of the people who attended previous yeah, years because, yeah. yes, they've not had a table right. to themselves before. So look, yeah. everybody's got their own table. So mm -hmm. that will be a refreshing surprise mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Some people would yeah. be very happy with that. And it gives you just way more yeah, room to mm. spread out. And the tablecloths have changed this year. <laughs> well, <laughs> watch, they used to be red. Well, yeah. That would have been, I would have thought, red's quite distracting. Um, I do think oh, this look is at these. a little, you know, nice. These yeah. three are neck and neck right yeah. now. Right. So Kathy's so, down at the bottom there and then Kristen. Wow, they're almost so we've got puzzling Amelia, identically. Amelia from Finland, yeah. Kristen from Norway, and, and Kathy, Kathy from USA, who look, yeah, pretty much neck and neck. Is that the puzzling term? No. They yes, are, sure. 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 They you are neck. That? neck. What do you say? <laughs> neck and neck. I can't believe how similar they are <laughs> with where they're at. Yeah, they are very and similar. And now last year, oh, Kristen... Oh, still got that piece missing. Yeah. Wow. Last I year, more on the floor. Kristen puzzled from the box last year. Yeah, she did. So she's changed her she style changed for this up. year. Yeah, we... So um, the USA hosted its first ever national championship in 2022, and we did a Q&A with Alejandro for that, Clemente, and he... And Kristen now are friends, you yeah. know, after last year and him coming in first and her coming in second at Worlds, they've, you know, become friends. And he had told us, you know, um, that she was changing her techniques, shall we say, and using both hands and dumping everything out of the box. Uh, I think, you know, as a response to what she saw here at Worlds, because she hadn't really competed prior to that. So she was a real dark horse last year and that yeah nobody I knew who she was yes. and then all of a sudden she was coming in second and you know really just blowing everybody oh, wow yeah, look at this delia from the netherlands is she, also doing really well yeah, i'd say she's uh, a bit further ahead than the three yeah, you just talked delia. about actually. wow do you do you recognize delia from last year or is she a 
the no, new with the puzzle earrings. Yeah. Oh yes, she's got a lovely, lovely yeah, look pair at that. of dangly I earrings. I love now, all look, the this, oh, this, this yeah. lady here. She has two obviously she's lucky got her, yes, unicorns. Her lucky on unicorns. Her table. <laughs> and some other lucky something else. Oh, do you, that's do, do, you, do you have a mascot? Do you have a do you have a lucky pair of <laughs> something? Oh, well, that you excuse wear? me. <laughs> <laughs> you I, I don't. I actually wear these as oh. my little lucky charm. So, so got, here, oh, that's we, nice. we're not on screen yeah, now, yeah. but. Um, Diane's got a lovely kind of copper coloured jigsaw piece yeah, nice. and a timer because it's all about with puzzle the time. pieces inside oh, it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah this was a gift to me from one of our teammates, Jason oh, from yeah, Australia. That's really cute. He gave me that as a gift. So I, I wear these to every competition, but I, I don't bring anything and I, I don't wear anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come here, that is one fun thing is seeing all the puzzle <laughs> stuff. Yes. Um, because, you know, this is probably the biggest confluence of puzzle nerds you're going to get um, in any one place. <laughs> and I love it because yesterday we saw puzzle dresses and, you know, I'm wearing puzzle shoes. Oh, yeah. You can't when, see when them. The, yes. At when some the, point, I'll have will. to We're you know, get, just get them out. <laughs> on the table. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take them off. That'd maybe, probably be the easiest. But yeah. So, yeah, it is fun to see that everybody yeah. has, like, you know, custom t-shirts and... Um, so Alyssa Zackler, so you can kind of see her now down on the corner of the screen. She's another really good puzzler from the U.S. to keep an eye on. And from the looks of it, she's doing pretty well. It looks like she has that whole top half done as well. Yeah. Do you know, I have a feeling we're going to have a really close finish. I was I, just going to say that. Yeah, yeah, it's looking like a lot of puzzlers from this uh, group A are going to finish really close to each other mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. I, I feel for the, the judges <laughs> yes, I and, do. and the volunteers who are recording mm -hmm. the times, but mm -hmm. I think this is going to be a really exciting finish. Mm -hmm. We've just gone past the 30 minute mark. Yep. Yeah, well I was just so, about to say, because last year's mm -hmm. record with Alejandro was 32 yeah. something. I wouldn't yeah. doubt we'll, we'll see then, a winner before 40 or right Kristen, around that I would think. Mm. Kristen was 37 um, last year. Yeah. Oh, look, that's this, very neat. That's yeah, so neat. very neat. It's almost, uh, she's doing it line by line yeah, here. Yeah, looks like Jana from Jana Germany. From Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do think this puzzle's a little harder than the puzzle, some of the puzzles we had last year for the qualifier. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because this what, grass part is... What was the puzzle is, last year? Can you remember? Oh, well, we, had, we had multiple different qualifiers, but none of them really had this level of like all like a big space with kind of a similar thing going on and they were more jumbled I would say or kind of collage designs where it was just a little easier to pick out small sections and do them and then put them all kind of together yeah so I yeah this is definitely more challenging I know there's some people who opened this and just went oh no flowers, <laughs> they flowers would have been. and grass this is I, I Lisa get, from yeah, France She's I would doing bet well. they all loved the sky but I think she's made so the best much. progress I've seen on the flowers so far, the pink flowers. And she's got that, that kind of pale strand of flowers in the middle done. But now's where it's going to get difficult. And it's, I know before we started, there mm -hmm. was um, <clears throat> Charlie when he announced and said, we were very pleased that there was going to be no cellophane this year mm -hmm. over the puzzle. Because yeah. I can imagine that must be quite frustrating but sometimes those packets are so difficult to open yeah. well to be honest that's the only save, part saves a few mm -hmm. seconds which that, is all yeah. important, isn't yep. it? that's the only part of a puzzle race that you kind of can control you know mm -hmm. you're going to have to unwrap it the rest is a mystery <laughs> so we took away the one thing they knew about so <laughs> well it's it's Okay, and this happened recently, so um, we work with Ravensburger all the time in, in America as well, yeah. and we had a contest where they had the packaging sealed similar to this one. So with this one, they had two stickers on the sides instead of the cellophane wrapping around the outside, yeah. and we didn't know that. So everybody opened the puzzle bag and pulled out this puzzle, but they could not get apart <laughs> yeah. because we don't allow any kind of tools or instruments. And you couldn't use oh. your fingernails because it was a really thick sticker on the sides. So what ended up happening is everybody just destroyed the boxes. So we had all these torn up boxes all over the place <laughs> and we felt terrible. So 
Alfonso and I actually had a conversation about that and I said maybe you should allow dull tools in case this happens again um, because Ravensburger I think is in the process of sort of transitioning to that model yes. of packaging mm -hmm. to kind of save on the plastic. Cool. Yeah. So they're getting rid of the cellophane wrappings, they're going to go to more of that like sticker type of closure. Um, and that presents a problem for puzzlers because if you're not allowed tools, it's really hard to open. So no, I believe today yeah. though they helped them in advance by opening those Getting so that, that they could get it open. Now it was interesting, yeah. we just had the, the, the trio on the screen mm -hmm. there who are obviously I think walking around, they're the ones that mm -hmm. are, seem to be the front runners now. And it was it was Delia. Look well, at them. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Kristen back in. Yeah. But there was uh, that lady from yeah, Delia is doing really Delia well. Delia from so Netherlands and Kathy from well. America. Do you know what I love about mm -hmm. puzzle races? And I'm just looking at these three ladies now. Mm -hmm. Not one of them knows how well they're doing compared right. to everybody else. That's right. true. They yep. they're doing outstanding. I'm I'm getting quite excited for Delia yeah. at the moment. And De you, no, Delia she's, is she's oblivious to how well she's doing. She is. And I love that about puzzle races. Everyone's <laughs> in the same boat. They have no idea yeah. who yeah. who's doing well on the other side of the and room. And as you get closer and closer to the finish, the anxiety level yeah. in your body <laughs> just slowly rises until you're just like, am I going to be putting in the last two pieces and somebody else yells done? Yeah. Which is the worst thing. You just want to get it done first. So yeah, it gets really tense because yeah, Darren's 100% right. They have no idea. The only way they might know though is if a big group of people are hovering around the table yeah. right next to them. They get then an they idea. Know, uh -oh. um, and if the cameras are on you a lot, usually oh, that's a good indicator. Pieces are that, still missing. That you're going to. Um, oh wow, it's a chunk of four pieces that are missing. That's that really had strange. to. Have, really strange. Oh, I really hope it wasn't just like a you know a duff puzzle defect. Yeah. yeah I mean. I mean what happens if that is, you know, I mean, where can the pieces have gone, really? I mean, it'll probably just be yeah, looking under the clothes. table and then... I'm hoping they're under her, clothes, under the box. Right, me too. <clears throat> I really I hope like so. I feel she's looked under the box and in the box, but, you know... Under well, a name tag. I, I admire that she's just kind of keeping going and... You have to. Yeah, you, you do. You have, have to. to. You, you yeah. can't stop for one... Right. puzzle piece you've got to keep going now there was a mercedes there from hungary who was doing very well is that her there i'm not sure this that's hungary isn't it mm. i think yeah so she seems to be yeah. doing very well also doing really well yeah <laughs> all the family and friends on the yes. sideline watching yeah. it's it i'm quite impressed this year there's a lot of spouses and mm -hmm. families coming along with the puzzlers it's wonderful mm -hmm. it is and it's fun to just see an audience. You know, yeah. most puzzle competitions that I do, there's not much of an audience. <laughs> it's the people that are participating and uh, oh, usually wow. that are there. But Lisa? this is great. Yeah, is Lisa Lisa's France? doing. Yeah, she's doing really well. Now she's, she's definitely gotten further down mm. to a narrower. Oh, well, there. Yeah, yeah there's Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes from Hungary again. Yeah, you're right. That's how you say her name. She's doing Mercedes. really well. Mercedes. Yeah, that's how you Mercedes. say it in. In Spanish certainly but from Hungary I don't yeah. know how you would say that name oh this is exciting six to three like you said Diarn, I don't uh, envy those volunteers that are going to be writing times down because it could come down to a few seconds between people. I think so I mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a whole load of celebrations yes. all at the same all time the same I, I don't time. think we've had this before at a world championship no it's not been this close i don't feel like now lisa hit look how calm she looks yeah I'm, and she's listening to, to well and music like last year you had alejandro finishing you know minutes ahead of everybody else and but you know again these are qualifiers so we're getting a lot more competitors and a lot of new people so mm. So as they said, new fast people. 60 competitors from Group A are going through, and there's 100 competitors, and 60 of them are going mm -hmm. to qualify for um, semi-finals. Semi mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's good odds. I don't know if that's right, actually, if it was 60 out of 100. Yeah, I think, well, it was the first it, 30... Because then it's breaking it down 30 countries. Because if we've got 60 coming from each, that's going to be too many, isn't it? I don't know. Well, oh, I can look in it up. In the opening, they said that. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, well, I hope 60, 60 are going through. Yeah, yeah. It's the best 60. participant from each country up to 30, and then Ooh. the rest of the participants up to 60 in order of classification. Okay. Yeah. So the semi-finals, 
There's quite a lot of people then yeah, going to be in the semi Yeah, there's multiple rounds then. in the semis, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you were right. I was <laughs> <laughs> it's I okay, it's a lot to keep track of. I, when I heard it in the opening ceremony, I, I yeah. actually got quite excited. I thought 60 out of 100. I, I like those odds. Yeah. Yeah, I'd mm-hmm. be excited in that division. Yeah. That's our cheeky little Aussies down there <laughs> waving at the camera. The Aussie squad has more than doubled this year. So the first year we had about seven participants and this year we've got 16. So our Aussie squad is growing and we love it. The excitement around competitive you, puzzling is growing. All, are you all from the same part of Australia? No, we're from all over the country. Really? So yeah. where, do you, where do you do your, where do you hold your so national championships? So we've only had one national and it was in Victoria. The reason we chose Victoria was because that was where the majority of our members were. This year we're having it in Sydney. Right. Next year we'll wait and see. Um, but yes, because we're such a, a big country, it is yeah. tricky to know where to have the national. I don't know where Victoria is, I have to confess. Is it On the east coast? East coast. Okay. Uh, lower east coast. Yeah. Um, I'm from the west coast, so right. we, we just we yeah. come from near and far. <laughs> But it's mm-hmm. worth it. The getting yeah. the puzzle community together yeah. is very exciting. And, and then the worlds where we are today, just we all get together on a whole nother level. Mm-hmm. Like I get excited seeing Val every year. <laughs> I know. I know. It is. It's fun. You meet people from all over the yeah. world. It's just fantastic. So just that shot we've got there, can I just do a shout out to all the Mm -hmm. volunteers that are Mm -hmm. here today? Um, To run an event like this takes uh, an enormous number of volunteers Mm -hmm. and they are volunteers giving up their time for free to make this event successful. Mm -hmm. And especially at the World Championships, they're so um, professional. They are are all so dedicated to what they're doing and they do a fabulous job. So... um, on behalf of everybody, I just want to say thank you to all the yes. volunteers that are here today. I agree. I mean, this is like the model for how you run a jigsaw puzzle yeah. competition. I yeah. mean, I know when we came here, um, it was before the U.S. had done our first nationals. And we would basically came here and we just said, okay, so we're going to just do it like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is how we're going to run everything. And it works wonderfully. They've, they've got to figure it out. And it, it really is well well run. They've got a great so, team over here. Yeah, shout out here. to Alfonso and just everybody here. And it gets a little more elaborate. I feel like this year, you can tell, it's bigger, <laughs> it's better. Uh, we have a giant screen in here for everybody to watch. There's um, merchandise. There's, yeah, there's more <laughs> merchandise. We have a place here that's just literally doing custom sweatshirts and t-shirts and everything, which is amazing. They just print it right in front of you, which is kind of cool. Now, ladies, there seems to be in the center yeah, of the somebody at the moment. A, a, a must an not have made table. it. Yeah, oh, somebody okay. must not have made it here today. Hopefully they didn't oversleep due to jet lag. Now, this is Amelia Person. from Finland that mm-hmm. we're looking at here. She's Oh, she's leaving, well. she's avoiding those pink flowers. Yeah, the pink flowers, oh boy, it's challenging. Yeah, so a lot of people in the comments are talking about Kristen's missing pieces, stressing oh, out my about goodness. that for her. <clears throat> It really we is agree. A it's oh. really unfortunate that she's missing those four pieces. I've got a knot in my stomach for Kristen right yeah. now. Somebody said, I thought they would have brand new puzzles. They are brand new puzzles. But and this happens sometimes, yeah. you know, like sometimes just, you know, I, I rarely have anything like that happen with the Robinsberger. So I would be really surprised. But when there's a group of four like that, it might have been it that something happened in the factory. Mm. Oh my gosh, we're, we're so close. Mercedes from Hungary is like literally down to, see and now that's interesting, she's got pieces on top of the puzzle which I rarely do because it makes it harder to see the pieces but she is so close. I think we're going to see her as our first place finisher, no doubt. Um, everybody's hovering. It's now her completion of the puzzle should go quite fast now. She's, yes, she's on that exactly. home stretch. When you've only got, <gasps> well, but I, really at the same time I'm like, you know, kind of amazed. If I were her, my hands would just so be shaking she, at this point. So you've not seen her before, Mercedes? I don't remember her from last year. Do you, Dion? I don't know. No, she? but there's a lot of people I to remember. True. Oh, she's my so goodness. She's she's, I think she's, she's done it. Yeah, she's done it. She's going to get first 45 in minutes. Woo! Oh, bless her. Oh, she looks like she's going to cry. I know. It's going to make oh. me cry. That's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Wow, well, 
Congratulations, Mercedes. Wonderful performance. Outstanding. That outstanding. Yeah. And that's so, what it means so to people. That's what it means to yeah. come to an event this big and mm -hmm. finish your puzzle first is, is a beautiful feeling. Well done, Mercedes. Yes. Wonderful job. 63. That was impressive. I mean, Kristen's close. I think, you know, maybe we're looking at Kristen in second place. Yes, we but... haven't seen Kathy for a while. Um, and some of the other folks that were also pretty close. Kathy but it, and does, her... it does seem like Mercedes really flew through that. Like, it didn't seem like she got stuck at all. But 45, that's interesting, because I was thinking maybe closer to 40, so I was wrong. Yeah, it was just, it was about 44 or something yeah. she finished. Well, and Kathy's really looking like she's gotten stuck. And um, and she hasn't progressed very much since the last time we saw Same her. Same with Delia. Yeah. Delia was flying and has yeah. sort of yeah. hit a, a block with the flowers yeah, along with Kathy. Yeah. yeah, I know, you know, it's, it's happened to me, not that I'm a great individual puzzler, but... And when you get stuff like that, it just is a sort of sinking feeling where you're like, oh, you know, you kind of, the motivation starts to slide a little bit you know, when you oh. feel like it's just taking you forever to get that next yeah. piece in. Um, but, but what you've got to tell yourself is what going. you're experiencing in yes. the puzzle. There are definitely other people in the room experiencing exactly. the same thing. Yes, exactly. And I, mean, I guess I, flowers were Mercedes thing. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, no, Australian. That's Just hilarious. getting an update on our little Australian, Melissa. She's doing very, yeah, very well. Good. She's down to the, she's got the oh, pink flowers guys, left. getting there. She's only got... For the Australians oh. wondering how Melissa's going, she, she is, just has the pink flowers left. She's doing really well. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a lot of pressure on Kristen. There's about three yeah. cameras around her yep. at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So I think... I, a lot of people are asking, how is this going to happen with Kristen? By the way, notice that she's back to her original style of the, the one hand, kind of her head resting on the one hand, and then. But I, I am curious to see if they're going to just have to do the 10 second rule to add that to her time, um, or how they're going to handle this. All I, I can Kristen's say is, thank I would imagine they'll do the 10 second rule. She'll, she'll yeah. get these last ones in. They'll take down the time and then add if she can't. I just keep wondering about under the the box or you know, but it does really she's checked there, that. Yeah. She's standing up, she's looking. I'm worried it or must like have some, been in the bag or if it, it could be a manufacturing thing. I'm glad unlikely. this happened yeah. in the qualifier, yep. not the final. Yes. Right. This is the round for that exactly. to happen if it's ever going to happen. Yes. And unfortunately it does happen. That That's the yep. world of jigsaw puzzles and I'm just glad it's the qualifying round. Yes, she's still qualified. Exactly. And she still came in yeah. second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no worries. But yeah. So, you know, Kristen performing really well as I think we all would have expected. So that's fantastic. Congratulations to Kristen. I love that at the end she kind of went back to just her usual form. So Delia's uh, very nearly yes. finishing now as well. Look at that. And you've not seen Delia before. No, she's I don't new, recognize it. I mean, again, she might have been here before. Oh, I need to look, kind of there. to brush up on who, up. who participated 17. last. Yes. Delia. We're going to have our third place finisher right here. Yep, she's there. Dup, 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 dup. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Delia! From Congratulations to Delia. Yes. Actually, think she's one to watch today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the final. Yeah. Uh, Delia is definitely and Delia, one to watch. there she is wearing her wonderful jigsaw puzzle earrings. I wonder if she made those herself. We'll yeah. have to find out. <laughs> we get a chance to speak to her, maybe we can yeah. find out. Well, and I believe, yeah, I believe we are going to have some time where Charlie is going to interview some folks.
Valerie mm -hmm. stealing my pencil. Oh, everybody. I'm sorry. Just saying. <laughs> we have a bit of a we have a bit of a we pen gotta get used to things. Yes, we have to get used to things. So, so we've got this is exciting. First, second, and mm -hmm. third place in the first round of the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to all of those ladies. Mm -hmm. um, they did extremely well, and especially Kristen mm -hmm. under stressful circumstances. Yes. yes. Yeah, that had to be really qualifies. hovering over her the entire time, I would think, because you're just kind of wondering what's happening. Um, okay, and this uh, Lisa from France, we've been keeping an eye on her throughout. She's very still, calm, very still cool. doing well, yeah. Uh, there's your Kathy, USA Kathy. Yeah. Okay, she's. I think she's gotten past her her difficult patch. Yeah, her yes. difficult patch because now Lisa she's really from, starting to fill it in. Lisa from France looking very good now. Mm -hmm. I think the feedback is going to be those flowers were so hard. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. I'm just going to talk about the weather mm -hmm. for a bit now because I'm English. I'm allowed mm -hmm. to talk about the weather because it's something that, as everybody knows, the weather in England mm -hmm. is not good in general. <laughs> and I arrived here yesterday in Valladolid and it was beautiful sunshine, very warm, mm -hmm. lovely sunny day. And today it was just rainy and actually quite like being yeah. in England. <laughs> Although I will oh, say that Melissa. it's a lovely temperature in here compared to... Um, in the past, oh look at this. Oh, Can I draw yeah. your attention here to Melissa? Yes. Yes. Her little hands shake. Mm -hmm. oh, she yes. did in her final in Australia, and look at those little hands shaking. She's so, <laughs> so into she this. Be our fourth. I think she might be our fourth. The camera's not leaving her, so that makes me think she's. Oh, I'm be so our proud of her. Oh, yeah. She's look done so, so well. Just right away. Those last pieces are flying in. Look, mm -hmm. 52 minutes. Yeah, oh, fine. Melissa. Oh, yeah. oh, I've got a little tingle down my spine. So Melissa Townsend from Mel Australia. Whereabouts oh. is she from? Run away Queensland. Queensland. Look at that Queensland. smile, Melissa. Oh, yes. We're so she proud of you. So happy. proud. That's great. Very happy. Big oh, cheer from the Australian now. See, she got participants. stuck there for a little bit, and now I feel like she's just flying again. And she might end up being our fifth. But I think Lisa from France is maybe in there. Oh, here we go. They're going to start posting our results board. This is something that everybody likes to be able to see. And we have a few monitors here in the arena where people can go and look at during the oh, day that Sarah kind of rotates out the... Oh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah just Jane. finished. Yes, we missed Sarah Jane finishing in fifth. I haven't seen, we haven't seen Sarah Jane at all. All right, we? so it looks like it's between these. Oh, Lisa, look at that. She might be our sixth place. As calm as you like. Yep, look at that. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Little wave to the camera. <laughs> très bien, très bien. <laughs> très bien, Lisa. Super. Wonderful. I don't know why we didn't have a cheer for Sarah Jane. Though. Well, I think we just didn't get her on camera. She snuck in there. Yeah. Sometimes she's that in, happens. If she's yeah. in the center of the center of the room and the spectators and can't see her. Oh, Kathy's just finished. <laughs> Kathy, do we know whereabouts she's from in America? I think she's from Washington State, if I got that right. correctly, hopefully, yeah. Little speedy hands, Kathy. Yes, Kathy. And her twin sister, Jean, is here as well, and they're the pairs team to watch out for. Um, we're really hopeful they that they're going to Identical finish. twins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yep. That's going to be... Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's our first American to finish, so congratulations to Kathy. Well we're done, Kathy. We're getting really rounded, you know? Yeah. What's interesting is no Spain. Folks have finished yet, yeah, which surprises yeah, me. That is true. They can tend to dominate things because of just how many more of them are here. And they have had this kind of apparatus in place for so long that they have a really deep bench of very fast puzzlers. So I'm actually surprised we haven't had any Spain participants or Spanish participants in the top in the top six. 
So, uh, what are some of the comments that we've got coming in there on, on, the, on the chat? I mean, a lot of congratulations, a lot of, you know, people really enjoying just kind of seeing how everybody's doing. A yeah. lot of people asking about, you know, social media influencers that they enjoy watching on YouTube and things like that. A lot of people asking, where's Karen from oh. Karen Puzzles? She's competing later today. Oh, yeah. we have another finisher. Our first male Jesus. competitor. Oh, great. Like he's from Hungary too. Looking at the flag on the table. Yeah, I can't see the name tag there. Well done. You can't see the number. Yeah. You can't see the. And There's the first a piece. And the first spare piece. Maybe he's got Kristen's oh, piece. Oh, maybe he's got some. Nice. He got an extra piece. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that can happen too. That can happen, can it? Yeah. Well, yeah, and it could have been one that got picked up from another table and set on yes. this table. That often happens. Yeah. A volunteer sees it by your table, thinks it's yours, puts it on your table, and it turns out it's from somebody two tables over. Yeah. So, yeah. rule number one, keep all your pieces on your yeah, table. Exactly. <laughs> Don't wear baggy clothing. Exactly. Don't wear a t-shirt that's going to drape on the table. Have you ever found Don't wear a, sleeves. Have you ever found a jigsaw piece tucked away somewhere? That you... Oh my goodness. Puzzle pieces turn up in the strangest I mean, yeah, of places. The <laughs> oh, in the hoover? In the washing machine. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I've i never, ever, ever blamed oh, a no, puzzle yeah, company for a piece well. missing because pieces showing up in All the strangest the of places that they, they mm -hmm. could be in your driveway have you, have you, mm -hmm. have you managed to wash a piece in the yes. washing machine yes oh, yeah. many More times once, yep. yeah puzzles yeah. don't do well in washing machines <laughs> no All the color comes off so we've got Amelia from Finland here who's oh and Michaela from the US is getting close she's doing Michaela's well Michaela's a top competitor in the US as well is she mm -hmm. so that's Oh, Amelia, oh, yeah. and you're I nearly right there. thinking that right. these puzzles then haven't actually been released to the market yet. You wouldn't be able to buy this puzzle anywhere. Um, it depends upon the round that you're in. In these semi, in these beginning qualifying rounds, they, they most of these puzzles are out there and available. in the finals. Oh, she's looking yeah. for a missing piece. The finals. Um, yeah. the missing piece. So this is where the 10 and seconds. It could be from another table. Um, the gentleman who just had yeah, the maybe. extra piece that I think oh, that. Oh, she's saying I think I dropped it. Oh, look, oh no. One of the They'll figure it out. Yep. That missing piece, that extra Where piece, that I think piece might gone? belong to that puzzle. Oh, Here we are. We're watching Her hands it are really moving. Kayla's shaking as well. <laughs> the volunteer a... is running back. Yes. <laughs> is it going to be the missing piece? I bet. Somebody found one on the floor and didn't know where it went and put it at the front. Oh, and here we go. Michaela is all of this. Well done. I've lost track now of how many people. I think we probably and there's maybe been a few under the radar finishers as well. Yeah. So we're maybe we around eight or nine the, um, or something. Yep. We need to see the, the board, don't Yeah, we? the board. Um, mm -hmm. So, well, everyone who's finished so far has all finished under an hour, which is yeah. really impressive. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah I think, got you know, your top, yeah, top puzzlers, I mean, I think going into something like this, they're hoping they're going to finish around 40. Nobody did that today. So, no. um, so, it was so yes, getting in under an hour. It was about 44 yeah. minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, getting under an hour, always good. I think if you're a person at home and you're wondering, am I fast? Um, if you're doing 500 piece puzzles consistently under an hour, yeah, you're pretty oh, fast. Oh, under an hour? You're you're a champion <laughs> exactly. puzzler if you're doing them under an hour. Yeah. Dion, yeah. what's your fastest time? My fastest time was actually done at the USA National Competitions mm -hmm. and it was one hour and nine minutes. Right. That's my fastest. So if I could break the hour mark, I'd be so excited. So that was a 500 piece? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember you know, when we first started as an organization and people were just kind of getting into speed puzzling, um, they would be like, okay, if I can get under an hour, that's great. And then it was, if I can get under 55 minutes, that'll be great. If I can get under, and it just kind of kept going. And then pretty soon people were like, well, now I'm aiming for under 40. And I would just be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? You're, you're aiming for under 40 consistently? But there are people that, you know, of course, it's a usually an easier puzzle than something like this, but that that's their kind of standard or that they're aiming for all the time, which just amazes me. I, I've never finished an under... My record, I think, is 54. 54. Wow. Yeah. You've done the, the yeah. hour. And, I, and it's like my curse. I, I can do 
I've got like 10 puzzles I've done right around 54. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ever get under that. Yeah, yeah. It just seems I, like that's as fast as my hands are going to go. I tend to think... So we've passed the hour mark now. Yep, just passed it. For people who are watching and can, have not competed in a puzzle before, mm -hmm. I think anyone who finishes a puzzle in an hour and a half Yes. or less should really oh, be entering comp I mean for sure. even under two hours enter a competition you'll love it yeah. but an hour and a half you're a, you're a fast yeah. puzzler oh yeah. yeah just coming into worlds knowing that they only give you an hour and a half um, most competitions in the states at least you know you get at least a two hour time period and, and we actually don't host a lot of solo individual puzzle mm. competitions it's way more common in America to do mm. teams and pairs um, I think it's just, you know, not as many people are willing to take on the challenge of doing a puzzle on their own in under two hours. Yeah. I'm just watching Andrea here from Switzerland. Mm -hmm. She's really stumped with these flowers. Yeah. She's had a lot of moments where she's just staring at the pieces <laughs> and saying, I don't know where you go. <laughs> <laughs> we have a saying, uh, a few of us, where, you know, are your hands moving? <laughs> if, we're, if we're staring, we feel like, okay, something's wrong. Yeah. Um, but, you know, some people are more nervous. Some people are more frantic. You know, they just like to kind of pick up pieces and try it in 20 different places until it finally goes in. Um, and, yeah, so everybody has their own style. Mm. It's fascinating. I feel like when you watch Kristen, you, you see very little of that of the picking up a piece and trying it in many places. I feel like when she picks up a piece, she knows where it's going. Her pieces are very yeah. intentional. But when you watch Alejandro, he's moving at 100 miles an hour, and he is trying a piece in multiple places and, and still managing mm. to get these things in time. So, yeah, everybody just does That's why different. last year, mm -hmm. watching Kristen, she actually moved very slowly. Mm -hmm. She worked with one hand yeah. and she moved slowly, but every piece just goes in. Kristen picked up went in the place it was meant right. to go. So I almost feel like she's got some innate ability to just be looking at a space and then look over and know which piece goes there um, versus picking up a piece and trying to figure out where it goes. Um, so yeah, she no. definitely has natural talent. Elizabeth, you can. I think Elizabeth has gone yeah. to sorting by shape there. Yep. That's um, EB. She goes by EB, and she's on one of our top teams and is a really competitive puzzler as well. Mm. <clears throat> she's the only one I've seen who has resorted to shape for this puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is interesting that more people Sorry, haven't what, done that. What do you mean by that? Can you see EB has her puzzles lined up oh, in rows? I see. Mm -hmm. They will be lined up in matching puzzle shapes. So. The spaces. I say, you know, where there's a, a, yeah. a, a section that's sticking out or sticking in. Yeah. Sure, is it a technical term for those bits? Oh, I mean, the, this the, is the, a the, common the kind of topography debate. of the jigsaw. <laughs> that's a great question to ask because everybody has their own. Innies and outies. She's, she's, she's letting you know. Yeah, she's innies and outies. Knobs. I mean, so I call Andrea them from Switzerland is, she's got a hand up. Yep. She's solved the she's flowers. Yeah. She's done it. Yay. Yay. Nice. And the reason she's doing the hand up is they tell you to do that to get somebody's attention yes. and make sure somebody's there. She had somebody sitting right <laughs> next to her that whole time and I don't even think she She knew. wasn't aware. She was um, in the she zone. She wasn't aware somebody was there. Um, so she wouldn't have had to have her hand up because they were already watching. But yeah, I, I think, um, you know, I call them like knobs. So, so like if you I'm sorting, yeah, yeah, so if I'm sorting my shape, I would sort, you know, no knobs, one knobs, two knobs, <laughs> three knobs, four um, knobs. So and I put the, them the, in kind of rows like that. And then if I see a thing and it's like, okay, that has two knobs, I can yeah. look through those pieces and fill it in. I mean, in general, a jigsaw mm -hmm. piece is There's another finisher. Kind of square. So it's really Yes, nice. well done. Who's this? So and a main. So it's a square. Number seven. Well done. The so mascots brought her luck. Anami from Switzerland. Congratulations. Wow, that's great. She's like, an Anami from Switzerland is actually panting like she's just finished oh, a marathon. <laughs> yeah. So her, her lucky unicorns helped her. It worked. Mm -hmm. What people don't realize, um, competitive puzzling is a bit of an endurance race. It, it is actually a physical test on the body. Yeah. Um, it's a mental test. It's yeah. a physical test. Do you end up with very tense shoulders? 
Where do you take? Where does the me personally? It's my lower back. Your my back, back aches. Yeah. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the competitors are sitting down mm -hmm. in general, but you do see some people standing, don't you? Or is that as it's getting near the end, so that you can you've got a better sort of view of? The it seems to be more people sitting now. There in are. the beginning, there were quite a few people standing. I suppose up. when you're sorting yeah. the pieces. So yeah, everyone's you've got a kind different. Of a better overview, haven't you? You can see the colours and the shapes of it. Some people clear, will so. stand the entire time. Um, our other Australian competitor in this division, Annika Thompson, she has a really unique um, stance. We called it the Annika Stance, um, nicknamed the Annika Dance. Um, she's very athletic and has a very athletic stance the entire time she puzzles. Hopefully she'll come um, on the screen and I, I can point Annika out to you. It, it's impressive. Really? So And that her she bends her knees and that's actually to take pressure off her back. Which is good because as we mm. know we're supposed to bend But most of us properly. cannot keep our knees bent doing a puzzle for that long. That long. But Annika can. She's, she's got strong legs. She's a CrossFit trainer. Is she? Wow. <laughs> But yes, it's it's actually an exhausting activity to do when you do it non-stop. It's, it's an imagine. endurance race of the brain and the body. Yeah. And something that started out as a nice, relaxing way to pass the time is but now the... elevated to a world <laughs> championship. And am I right in thinking, I mean, um, Al Alfonso and the, the Federation are very much trying to get it to be considered as an Olympic sport. 100%. And so know, it should be. I don't know be. how he's, I don't know how he's uh, getting on with the campaigning for that. Yeah, I don't even know how you do that. Because as you say, I mean, it's <laughs> but an it endurance test in the way yeah. of a marathon, which, which tests you. Oh, no, Sorry, Clara to... from USA is nearly ready to finish. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. we now are going to have eSports in the Olympics. We've mm -hmm. had chess in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I say puzzling fits right in there. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a fair too. sport that can be gauged and ranked. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, actually, I was going to mention that earlier uh, when one of the Americans finished, is we do have... Well done, Clara. Well done, Clara. She looks quite young, I'd say. Well, we yeah. know I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So she's not you have to be at least 16 to okay, compete. Okay, that's the, the minimum um, age. That's she exciting. looks young. Yeah. Well, that, that's something to talk about as well, yes, the diversity exactly. of the puzzlers. Yeah. People ask, you know, what, what type of person goes to a puzzle competition? Mm -hmm. You will see over this weekend, there is no type of person. No. And that's, that's part of what makes this community so wonderful. There was a young girl here last night uh, who was eight. Anne-Marie, is it? Or Anne, uh, what's she called? I think she was American. Oh, where, for where? She was doing a puzzle and she was only eight years old. Hmm. And Alma. Alma, that's ah. it, Alma. And she was doing a 100 piece puzzle. And uh, she she uh, she actually didn't, she was doing it with a, I don't know whether it was her mother or. Who's the oh, sign? Yes. She was doing it against EB, right. who's yes. on the screen yes. now. Yes. Oh, great job, EB. EB. Won. So excited for you. It was very excited. Yeah. Well done, Evie. I'm thrilled. We've got so many good American turnouts already. It's fantastic. Yes. <clears throat> we do have a ranking system for the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association. So we have a, a process of determining the difficulty level of a puzzle in a competition and then um, kind of assigning that and, and figuring out how people kind of stack up against one another. Um, yeah, and, and so is that, some is, of that, the, is that your own way of ranking, or is that something that is encouraged throughout the international? It's something we developed as an organization. I think some people do it different mm -hmm. ways. You know, everybody has their kind of own standard. Um, we have you know information on our website about that. But EB, who just finished, is currently ranked 15th in the U.S. So, and it's also based on certain competitions. So it's ones where they have at least five members participating, and um, and that it's in person. Typically, we do have a few uh, virtual competitions that we've used, though, for uh, that have been sanctioned to contribute to the results and the ranking. 
So yeah, that's another thing that's really exploded is virtual competitions. So if anybody's mm. listening here and you're thinking, well, I can't get to Spain or, you know, there's nothing in my area, you don't have to have somebody hosting them in your exactly. area. You can go to websites like speedpuzzling.com and you can sign up to do virtual competitions via, um, you know, a lot of different organizations. Yeah. And again, I guess that's something that also would have, one of the very good things, as we know, that's come out of the pandemic mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. the world, really, is the ability to do everything online yeah. so that we can meet yeah. virtually, which is, uh, is a wonderful thing. And that's something that really did come about, like you said, during COVID. Yeah. Uh, virtual competitions didn't exist prior to COVID, but it just came up as something you realize, well, why haven't we been doing this forever? Because it's quite easy and it makes it accessible for so many more people. You can just, basically you sign up, they ship you a puzzle, you keep it in the packaging until the competition, and then everybody opens them together and just like here, everybody competes mm -hmm. via Zoom and you have people monitoring the, the, you know, the, the different rooms, the camera, and seeing how people are doing. And it's a great way to get introduced to the sport to practice um, and just try it out for yourself and see if it's something you like. We just saw Kyle from America. He's very close to finish, finishing. He's doing really, really well. So we've got uh, just under 20 minutes there, left. There now. he is on the screen now. Kyle in the top left. He's There's just Kyle. about to finish. Well yeah, done, Kyle. That. Good job. He's got a know big cheer from? squad. Yeah, he's from Utah. Mm -hmm. Utah. Mm -hmm. Big wide open spaces of Utah. Yeah. Well, and Kyle has been really a motivated puzzler just in like the last year. Like he's competing with a team where he's actually traveled, you know, to Minnesota to practice oh, with wow. them. And yeah, so he's very motivated, very into the sport and fairly new to it. So it's exciting to see him doing so well. So this is Agnès from France who just had a big <laughs> exhalation of air. She's obviously, she knows she's nearly there. She's trying to keep her cool for the last few pieces. Mm -hmm. Doing very well. This is where you're at, the just one at a time. Yeah. yeah. One at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Do the next piece and then the yeah. next piece. You just have to get one mm -hmm. in. And when it's in, I just need yeah. to get one in. My favorite so, part of the puzzle is when you've got those like last 30 or so pieces because yeah. they just kind of fly in and it's a lot of fun. What were you going to say? I was going to ask, mm -hmm. um, for all of the competitors that are here, have they mm -hmm. had to go through any qualifying rounds in their own countries no, to get to get question. through, to, to be able to participate in the World Championships? No, you don't have to do any kind of qualifying. You can basically just sign up. It's open. Yeah, yeah it's just open. Which is why you have so many competitors. That's why, <laughs> That's why you sorry. have so many competitors yes. this year. You have, you know, so. because... Which is nearly there. Yeah, there we go. Another finish in Another France. France. Yes. Another France. Fantastic. And <laughs> the relief uh, on their faces. Super, très bien. She was listening to something as well. Yeah. Yep. And that was Agnes Roche. Roche? Roche? Yes. I'm terrible with French. Julia. Agnes. Okay, Agnès, I'll say Agnes, you must speak so French. So That's so awesome, Julia. I lived in Paris for oh, a year when okay. I was 20, in my 20s. Well, I'll let you pronounce those names. <laughs> so Clara is still standing up for, okay. to finish her puzzle. That's She's in the we zone. Was Clara, about. Is was this... Clara here last year? You don't know. I'm not sure. No. Now here's a Martina from Poland looking... Yeah, I'm torn between near. looking at stats and digging around in my, my you know, vast folder here of, of all these results and just watching. I'm, I'm yeah. more enjoying the watching. I think, I think the watching's um, fun. Yeah, I just like to see how everybody's doing. It's great. There's going to be some tight finishes here. These guys are like We've got neck two and poles. neck. We've got two poles against each other. Yes. So Martina. Alexandra. Alexandra. Alexandra and Martina. Hmm. Somebody just said on the live stream, a lot of people are going to finish in this next 15 minutes, and I think they are correct. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of people getting in just under the wire. Yeah. So I mentioned before, if you're finishing a puzzle in an hour and a half, you mm -hmm. should be competing. Mm -hmm. These people are fantastic puzzlers, and they're going to be finishing in an hour and a half. So, yeah. it, you know, even the two-hour mark, you'd be doing good for this puzzle. Yeah, I think that's true. 
So this is Alexandra. With a very cool Pokemon tattoo. <laughs> she's done it, she's done it, she's done it. She's done it. Oh my gosh, oh. look at this. It's just right neck and, right neck. Neck and neck. Peace and peace. Oh, she's shaking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is she finished? Yay. Oh, oh, we're next to each other. <laughs> yeah. I think there was two pieces between the two of them there. Yes, man. that's correct. Yeah. incredible. And I've been again, the relief. There's where people finish at almost the exact same time, and that is so stressful. Yeah, so what happens then in that case? If you do get people that are finishing at the side, I, suppose, I mean, a bit, yeah, that I mean, it, it can be a tie. If, if the time written down on the sheet is like, identical for them, then it's a tie, you know, for yeah. that placement. And that's happened here before. I feel like last year there were a few that finished and had the exact same time. Not in the top six. But when you get further down and more people are finishing. So Clara, Clara from Czech Republic is yes. just about to finish. There she is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I will say, Dion, I don't know. I feel like you can already tell there's a bigger crowd here than, than yes. last year. Yeah. Yes. Watching the buzz and the cheers are a little louder. Jana, Jana, yeah. Jana from Germany is just about to finish. Oh. Yes. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Yana. Remember, Zeg Zeg remember when we were watching her earlier and she seemed like she was in the lead for oh, a wow. while there. Those flowers have really yes. mixed up the order yes. of people finishing. The flowers. Um, yeah, there's a real a buzz in the air. There's a lot of people yeah. coming to watch oh, yeah. and cheer. And yeah. I'd, I'd say there's a lot of people who are in the later divisions watching this division if they've never been yes. at the Worlds to before. To try to get a sense of how it all works mm. and what it's going to be like. <laughs> I love the cat ears. That's fantastic. So we're, she's probably at about 18th place, according to the board that we just saw a minute ago. Yeah, yeah 18. Yeah, look at that. We're at 18 finishers. And we're an hour and 15 minutes in, and we're at 18 finishers. So for those of you who have never seen this before, when we hit the hour and a half mark, they do stop the timers. They do a countdown totally stressful if you're like still puzzling and they're going 10, 9. So they do a countdown to the final moment. Then they stop, the, you know, stop everything in an hour and a half. Everybody has to do their hands off the puzzle. And then they send volunteers around to take photos of each puzzle table to get a sense of like, here's where they were at. And then they count the pieces that are remaining. So that's how they determine then placement from them. Oh, I see. And yeah. it's how many have been completed. And so then they also go by if you have three pieces together but they're not connected to the larger puzzle, those still count. Okay. So we're at 117 minutes now and only 20 have finished. Mm. Do you think we're going to have 40 people finish in less know. than 15 minutes? I mean, here comes another one from the UK. So Sarah in the UK is about to finish. But I think you're right. We could end up where piece count comes into play to yeah. determine the so, top 60 players. Okay, so we are still get, getting the top 60. So even though people haven't completed their puzzle, mm. it's then just how yeah. many pieces are yeah. left and like you were saying, whether they're connected or... So as a puzzler, I believe when we stop at a minute and a half, and the puzzlers have not finished. There'll be a lot who just believe they didn't qualify right. because they didn't finish. So I hope they keep going. That they will qualify. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's going to be important for people to, you know, just don't let this get them down. That all these other people are, are, you know, done and completed. You just need to keep going as fast as you can, right up until the end. Look at how he has so many different little He's, spots there. Yeah, and all and he has some in the box. All right, finishers are coming in hot yeah. now. There's yes. a lot of people so finishing now. I do think this last 12 minutes, we might we might get there. With See Annika in the shot with oh, her yes. yep. dance? Mm -hmm. Oh, so, so earlier I was going to mention that's a big thing too, standing or sitting. You know, like yeah, I'm a stander has, for racing. I am too. I if like I to sit, stand. I know I've switched off and dropped down a gear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. I feel like if I sit, so here we've I, got, I become more relaxed. We've got two French now yeah. against each other, Patrice, and I can't see number 66, Fishy. However, it's not great on the back. And Natsuko no. from Japan. Japan are entering oh, for the first time yeah, this year. Yeah, this is exciting. And she's doing very, yes, very she well. Is. Look at that. Natsuko Moriwaki. And she's wearing a rubber. Well oh, done. Nice work. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Oh, she looks stressed. <laughs> so Natsuko from Japan. Yeah. Yes. That's fantastic. Her finishing there on the live stream. That's what you're seeing now. Yeah. Oh, she does yeah. look a bit as happy there. Yes. Well Did done. Did you say Japan entering for the first time? Yes. Japan have not entered the World Jigsaw Championships before. So I believe there are two Japanese um, competitors. And Natsuko is one of them has just proven to be quite the puzzler. Yeah. Somebody just said in the comments, I love this, the correct term for puzzler is dissectologist. And that's true. They are right. look it up. <laughs> dissectologist is the correct term for a jigsaw puzzler. Puzzler rolls off my tongue easier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a little easier to say. A but dissectologist sounds like something you do in a laboratory. Great, right, great. Right. part a mouse or something. <laughs> dissect yeah. them. And it's also but dissect. I love it. sounds like taking apart. Yeah, it does kind of. I, I, I had never really heard people talk about solving a puzzle mm. until I got involved with this. And then people will say, like, oh, I solved this one in, you know, an hour and 15 minutes or something well, like that. And I'm like, oh, that's an interesting thing to say. I, that hadn't occurred to me, but it's correct. I've heard the term play a puzzle. Play a puzzle, yeah. yeah. So that was uh, Patrice from France. There he is. He's just yes. finished. Well done. Very happy. I think he, bet, he beat his uh, other competitor from France, Mayenne from Cannes in the mm -hmm. south of France. So somebody asked, do you have to finish if you're like one of the few representatives from your country and they're doing the top, you know, 30 from different countries, do you have to finish the puzzle? I don't believe that's the case in this first qualifying round, but in the semi-final and yeah, then it, then it matters if you finish the puzzle I believe I'd have to like really look over the rules again but we had that question before um, you know prior to this event I believe that's correct mm. coast to I coast think puzzles, there's also, great it's shirt. also likely that the tables might be doubling up for the semi-final I think they will um, later down the track if we're if we're pulling 60 from each of these 60, six divisions today, that would be 360 puzzlers in the semi-final, which makes me think there's going to be a few tables that are, are doubling up for those. I wish I could just walk over and tell these girls they've got eight minutes left. I know. <laughs> well, and I, of course, you know, I know Alyssa there. Um, they do Dr. Have, Zackler. There is, there's a great big screen at the front of the room here with the time counting down so they can see that but when you're in the zone, yeah. you do not waste your time looking up at the clock. I know it sounds simple yeah. to look mm -hmm. check on the time, mm -hmm. but you, so you, you just, lose time by yes. looking for a clock. Yeah. It, it, it oh. doesn't make any difference either. Right. So, oh, there she goes. Mayenna from France. Well done. Mayenna from France. Looks like she's going to be finishing. Oh, no, yes. no, no. She was beaten by... Who's this? Oh, oh, the excitement! Oh, yeah. that's great. Just a second or two. We're getting a lot of the finishers on camera, which is delightful. I know we missed a few, which is a bummer. I feel bad for those I met folks, this gorgeous young lady yesterday, great, yes. and I also met her in the UK at their uh, competition. Oh, she's so proud of herself. Well done. Somebody had just Cassia. asked, too, how much time before Cassia the next round starts? Cassia from the UK. Starts. Her first Cassia time at the, the Worlds. UK. Oh, really? oh, look how delighted oh, look she she's is. She's so excited. That's fantastic. <laughs> so, yeah, we're only going to have 30 minutes before the next round starts after this one, which for those volunteers, if they're going to be counting a lot of pieces, oh, my goodness. we are going to be running really right up to the wire to get the tables set and ready again for the next round. Yes. So we will see how this goes. I would imagine that Alfonso and the Ravensburger team did not expect this puzzle maybe to take as long as it's taking. My you guess is not. that they wouldn't have, you know, maybe chosen this difficult of a puzzle. Do we know if it's, is, is it Ravensburger that say these are the puzzles that we're going to be giving for each of the rounds? They'll work with the organizers to try to, yeah. you know, figure out what's going to, what's going to work best. So Alyssa and Susanna are neck and neck. Mm -hmm. And Melinda there at the bottom of the screen. She's another American. Player. Oh, there we go. Finish. Yeah. They just so finished close. almost exactly Susanna. the same Susanna time. Susanna, yeah, from Stockholm. It's a nice work, Susanna. She's been given her. There she Ooh. is. Oh, Charlie's 
here in the auditorium. Charlie's kind of prepping on stage for when they're going to do that countdown in about five minutes from now. Oh, and Alyssa finished off camera. Well, congratulations, Alyssa. <laughs> I love that expression people have yes. when they finish a puzzle race. Oh, a few people in the comments when we were talking about what they call it. Some people do say solving. A lot of people just say, I did a puzzle or I do yeah. a puzzle. Or I work a puzzle, yeah. somebody mentioned. Completed a puzzle. Oh, that's going to put the, the fear into folks when he announces there's five minutes left. I just found out I think five Belinda's minutes. got this. I think she can get that done in five minutes. I'm confident. Really? Here. Yeah, I think she can do it. It's going to get easier. Every piece that goes in is going to make it a little easier. That's and true. And she's a veteran. She was here last year. All right. I'm watching her. Num number 14 at the bottom of the screen. I'm watching to see if she can get that done in five minutes. Yeah. So just, it's fun to see this kind of overhead view of a lot of teams. I mean, clearly that bottom section just really presented a challenge for people. There's a lot of folks that have barely made a dent in that bottom section. Yeah. That's got to be frustrating. Luckily, the lighting in this venue is very good. Yes. Um, because on a puzzle like this, with those dark, intricate pieces, the yeah. lighting could be yes. a deal breaker for some that people. That is the beauty of this venue. The lighting is mm. amazing. Yeah. It tends to be really kind of nice, flat light. You don't get a lot of glare. And it's even for all the tables. Exactly. You can't be uh, saying, well, my table had cruddy yeah. lighting compared to everybody else. That's true. <laughs> There's no hiding uh, in that excuse. Yes. <laughs> so you Taylor, all. Taylor's doing very well now. Mm -hmm. um, well done, Taylor. You've got this. Three and a half minutes to go, just under. Yeah. How many people have finished so far? Jenny's asking. Jenny's a competitor, I think. Hmm. I think she's a competitor from England. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well done. Uh, nice work. Everybody that gets done at this point, you just want to be like, oh, good oh, job, good because job. I'm sure they were feeling the pressure. That, that relief you see, you will never really understand that until you do a puzzle race. <laughs> yeah, that was, oh, she's oh, she's from the U.S., Taylor McCants. Yeah. Okay. So, and then we've got, uh, this is Therese from Sweden, who's doing very well as mm -hmm. probably only This is going to be close. Nine or ten pieces left. Mm -hmm. Less than three minutes now. Somebody said my whole body would be shaking. That's, they're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, Joni, in answer to your question, how many people have finished? I think we must be getting on for about 20, 20 over 22, 20, something 20. maybe like that. Yeah, 20. Um, there have been a few off camera Mid finishes, I think. I think but yeah. I know, I want to see the leaderboard again. I think it'll come up as we wrap things up here. But yeah, I hope people who are watching and enjoying this, and you know, it looks like we have about 1,700 watching. Which actually is surprising to me, considering the time difference for a lot of our English-speaking countries. <laughs> oh, nice! That's job. great. That's great. Well so, you know, done. It's, uh, getting near 11:30 a.m. here, but a lot earlier in some places. So it's fun to see this many people. A lot of family and friends are tuning yes. in to support their their puzzlers representing their countries. And we, oh. yes, Karen Puzzles is in Group B, so that she will be in the next qualifying round mm -hmm. that starts here at midday, so in about half an hour yeah. from now, Karen, um, Karen Puzzles will be in Group B, and she's actually going to be joining us from 2 o'clock to come and chat with us while we're presenting and commentating, so she would be really lovely to... To have her here. I've seen her walking around actually. Yeah, she's been here the whole time. In fact, there she is, she's over there. Yeah. And she's wearing a t shirt. And yeah. I think it says something like, This is Karen that puzzles or something like <laughs> no. that. No. Well, her Insta handle and her As YouTube anyone, handle is She's Karen obviously. Puzzles. Oh, yeah. look. Judging by a Well done. From Sweden. From Sweden. 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 Yeah. Just in the nick of time. Well done. So, Pontus Anderson. Number 11. Oh, and Melinda, I told you. Melinda! I was right. Melinda's going to do it. She's going to get oh in just into the wire. Oh, my goodness! Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Good job, Melinda. Is it just me? 
did you do it? All the cheers getting louder 30, and louder now. 30 seconds to spare. I cannot believe that. So I think you owe me a drink or something. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I'll give you that. that I am yeah, so impressed. Less than 15. We're going to count. It's going to be counting down soon. We're going to go 10, shall we? 10. Eight, Charlie Kendall, we've just seen there, mm -hmm. who um, lives here in Valladolid, I believe, mm -hmm. and uh, is very useful for <laughs> helping us to, to understand everything in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he he will be going around, I think, won't he, in the uh, semi finals and finals, actually mm -hmm. on the floor, mm -hmm. speaking to people as they're finishing. Well, he doesn't talk to them until after they're finished, obviously. He doesn't well, no, want to interrupt no, them while exactly. they're puzzling. Yeah. We got oh, we got 34 30. finishes. Melinda, yeah, 34 finishes. Melinda was finishes. the last one. I can't believe Melinda. <laughs> I'm so it? impressed. Are we off? Are we off? No, I'm off. I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't think we're off. We're Sorry. off. We're still on. <laughs> Just play me. Charlie. Oh, Naughty Charlie. So Melinda, who I truly believed had too many pieces to finish in that amount of time, was the last one to finish. Yep. With
Así se trabajaba el vino el siglo pasado. Así era la fisonomía de muchos de nuestros pueblos, con sus bodegas centenarias incrustadas bajo la tierra. Con V de vino, con V de vida.
From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know La cúpula del milenio para dar inicio a la segunda ronda de clasificación dentro de la categoría individual. So welcome all of you to the second heat um, to go through the semifinals of the World Jigs Tour Puzzle Championship in individuals. En esta segunda ronda de nuevo tenemos 100 personas participantes de las que pasarán 60 a una de las semifinales. So 60 of you are going to go through to the semi-finals, which will take place on Friday. Esas 60 personas que serán eh, clasificadas de la siguiente manera. Los mejores o mejores clasificados y clasificadas de cada país hasta un máximo de 30. Y el resto por orden de clasificación. So the first, um, the first classified in each country will go through up to 30. And then the then 30 fastest, faster, 30 fastest from there on in. Tenéis por delante un total de 90 minutos para completar lo más rápidamente posible el puzzle, un puzzle de 500 piezas. And you've got a total of 90 minutes to put together a 500 piece puzzle. Nadie puede tocar nada hasta que iniciemos el tiempo que vamos a hacerlo dentro de tan solo unos pocos segundos. So please don't touch your puzzles until we give you the countdown and the go ahead. Deciros también a todas las personas que nos acompañan en la Cúpula del Milenio que a partir de ahora se pone ya a la venta, podéis adquirirlo en la parte del fondo de la Cúpula del Milenio, el puzzle con el que se va a participar en esta segunda ronda de clasificación. So all the puzzles which are being used in today's heats will be available. So the first puzzle, the puzzle which was um, the first group, um, is already available to be bought at the back in the tent of the Caja Rural. Y la organización nos da el puzzle ya abierto. En cuanto pongamos el crono en marcha, abrirán esas bolsas y el puzzle ya está perfectamente abierto. So as soon as we give the go ahead, we'll give you a quick countdown, um, then you'll be able to open your bags and get puzzling. Tenemos 90 minutos por delante que van a comenzar en 5 segundos, así que Charlie, vamos con la cuenta atrás. 5 segundos, we'll start in. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, adelante. And we're off. Welcome to the second qualifying round, Group B, in the individual. Uh, competition at the 2023 World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships and um, I know that a lot of people are very excited that uh, Karen Puzzles is, is going to be competing yeah, in this round yeah. 
And uh, yeah, just we should introduce ourselves we probably too. We should introduce too. ourselves yeah. again. So if you are just joining us for the first time, my name is Julia and I have never been to something like this before. I'm not a puzzler myself, yep. I have to say, but uh, <laughs> I'm joined by the very wonderful Valerie Coit from the USA, who is uh, mm -hmm. an old hand yes. and uh, uh, yeah. played puzzles, uh, not played puzzles. Well, you can call it played, played puzzles. puzzles. Yeah. Solved yeah. puzzles, we were talking yeah. about this earlier. Mm -hmm. Solved puzzles, worked puzzles, mm -hmm. and um, you are a, 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 an American Olympic almost. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Not anymore. I used to be more competitive, but now I focus on the organizing aspect. So I'm with the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association and I work with um, that group in organizing contests and different activities around jigsaw puzzling. Not just speed puzzling. We do all kinds of different types of activities, swaps and socials and all that good stuff. Lots of people are out there like to puzzle, but don't necessarily like to speed puzzle. I know I've met people that just are like, are you crazy? Like, <laughs> why would you take something relaxing and then turn it into something stressful? <laughs> so yes, um, just to confirm, there's some mm -hmm. questions coming up in the comments. Yes, mm -hmm. Karen is number four. Mm -hmm. So she's here at the front. She's and, in the front uh, row. And I imagine you'll see her a fair amount. Not, not just because she's a social media influencer and very popular on YouTube with her Karen Puzzles channel, but because she's also very speedy. Um, they tend to try to put the folks that have a lot of speed and are, are top ranked towards the front of the room so that they can more easily keep an eye on them. It's exciting. I'm, you know, right now the number one puzzler in the U.S. right now. She won the national championships for the U.S. Yvonne uh, Foyt. She's right here in front of our commentator table. So that's kind of nice for me. And we're going to be joined by a New Zealand puzzler. Donna Louise Gregg is here with us. She just hopped down at the table with us here. Donna Thank Louise, you so yeah. much for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, glad well, you could be here. So, so yeah, you've just just competed in the, in yes. the first round. How, yes. How was it for you, Donna? Louise? For me, the Nature Edition puzzles are are very difficult. I had practiced some, and I knew I couldn't finish within the 90 minutes. And I thought it was so difficult that it would be more a pairs preliminary, so I was shocked to see it in the individual. So I just right away said, have fun, just enjoy it. Yeah. And then I saw the puzzle that came out just now, yes. which I did twice last night. Oh my gosh. So, I so bet you you're just wishing yeah. this was your puzzle. Yes. Yeah, we haven't really shown the puzzle too much yet. Hopefully you're able to see it a little bit there in the live stream. Mm -hmm. But this is a puzzle actually really similar to a qualifier last year, but it had the Eiffel Tower in yeah, the Yeah, London postcard, yeah, right? Yeah, that was London postcard. This is, uh, I, was I think a it's presume New American York postcard, or New York maybe. postcard. It has the Statue of Liberty in the center followed or there you can see it really clearly on screen there yeah go. there we Zimba, go yes and so you can see like yeah lots of nice bits of color so Donna Louise how would you approach this puzzle um for that one the way we did it last night we did a full flip so we spread out mm -hmm. the pieces flipped it up and just grabbed the big chunks of color so like that bright purple and the dots focusing on the dots like everything that has the green dots or the orange dots we, yeah, it's really yeah. nice to have the little kind of patterns behind yeah. the color. Yeah, really makes it easily to easy to identify sections to work on. Mm -hmm. I would expect some really fast times. I think so. so. Do you think this one is definitely easier than the oh. one? Oh, hands down. Yeah, really? yeah hands yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. I would imagine after that yeah. last round, and you know, those of you who saw that, it was a big kind of nature scene, and it was a lot yeah. of plants in the foreground, similar looking flowers, uh, grass. So that. It had a lot of same yeah. kind of pieces. Repeat same patterns. Picture, repeat patterns, yeah. yeah. I would imagine folks opening this were greatly relieved. Yes. Because yes. this is going to really fly together. Yeah. You know, last year, you know, a very similar puzzle was in a qualifying division and had some really quick yeah. times for that one. And I believe mm -hmm. a friend of mine, um, Jeanette, who's going to be in the next um, group, Group C, she did both the London postcard and this New York one, and she thought the New York was easier than the London postcard mm -hmm. from last year. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking we might see some really, like, 30 minutes. Oh, you know? wow. Really? That would be, uh, that I don't would know. be amazing. We have some really strong puzzlers out there yes. on the floor right yes. now. So This is a very competitive division yeah. with, like, the top U.S. puzzler. Um, Karen Puzzles is in there, and she's at the top as well. We have... Um, 
uh, Teresa from uh, Prague is here from oh, Czech Republic. Yeah. She's a past champion, so she's also very good. So yeah, yeah, you just have some really incredible competitors in there right now. So I think you're right. I, I don't know about 30. I, I would be amazed. I would love it to see 30. I think 35 is Oh yeah, probably, I meant like in the yeah, 30s. In, that 30s. in the 30 yeah. to 40 range. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. No, I would have loved to have had this puzzle. Yes, but. I know. I, I'm, I'm excited for the folks that I know that are competing in there mm. today getting this one because I think they're going to have a lot of fun with it. I know what last year, you know, you didn't, you don't get to do all of them when you're here competing because you're, you know, you're just doing your division. But I literally swapped one of mine out to get the, the Paris yeah. postcard one. Oh, okay. Because I just love this. It's mm -hmm. such a great design and so fun to put together. Somebody here in comments is thinking that Karen's going to do this in 25 minutes. 25. Whoa. So that means she's only I, got 19 uh, minutes to go and she's going to do it that quickly. <laughs> I don't know if we'll see any that fast. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen I don't seen know if you can physically fast. move yeah. your hands. and. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like more of a pair's time for yeah. me. Yeah. I think if you were a pair looking at yeah. this, yeah. We could I think be wrong. 25 minutes. We could be wrong. Prove us wrong. Exactly. But, um, um, yeah, no, so that's exciting. yeah, that's that's a lot. Right. Especially, it is pretty busy at first when you spread out all mm -hmm. the pieces. There's lots of colors. It's to focus your eyes on those little distinguishing features. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. pulling out those pieces, so yeah. you can see how they all pulled out a lot of people that dark purple corner, yeah. like I mentioned. Yeah. And yeah. you see the green the dots yeah. that yeah. they're yeah. on the side. For yeah. me, it's always interesting to see the different techniques that mm. people employ. Uh, so like this lady here is obviously going for the, for the edge piece, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, as we start to see around the room. Do you have a particular technique? I Donald, do, or and or it's... Or does it depend on the, on the puzzle it itself? It de mostly depends on the puzzle itself, but I do a technique that most people do not enjoy. I called it my build as I sort. Mm. I like to sort pieces and try to build as much as possible as I'm sorting. Yeah. So I typically take the time almost to go piece by piece. Mm -hmm. It's perhaps a slower method at the start, mm -hmm. Um, it speeds up and it's better for a really busy puzzle that mm -hmm. is very difficult to mm -hmm. sort mm -hmm. um, And yeah, that's what I prefer to do. I'm not the fastest puzzler. I know mm -hmm. that I just enjoy doing it It's lots mm -hmm. of fun yeah. mm -hmm. But for this particular one though because we just did it last night and we mm -hmm. did do a full flip yeah. And then I was able to focus and pull out certain yeah. colors and certain sections I would probably have done the same thing I did last night with it. Is it something that you uh, do you, do you need to get yourself in training when you're doing oh, puzzles? Is it like any other competitive sport where you know yeah. you, you definitely get faster the more practice you have and you're just getting your brain yeah. tuned in in the right way? The only difference is that each time the puzzle is different. Mm. So it's kind of, if you run on a track, most likely the track the will same. be the same, but mm -hmm. each puzzle is different. So not only do you have to practice speed puzzling, you have to practice photographs versus illustrations yeah. or nature scenes which I did not practice a lot <laughs> um, and, and things like that mm -hmm. and practicing focusing and concentrating mm -hmm. for 90 minutes mm -hmm. and some people stand up and it really hurts your back yes what do you do do you sit do you stand um, I knew I wasn't gonna finish so I sat most of it yeah. but often I like to stand it depends on the lighting too mm -hmm. sometimes I need to stand to hunch over to see the pieces better yeah. but I felt the lighting was really really good here yes oh, it great. does seem to be you were saying mm -hmm. that weren't you Val? yeah mm -hmm. that it's very even the light yes mm -hmm. which so is I really yeah good. so um but just being able to focus and concentrate mm -hmm. non-stop yeah and in of course in this environment there's the adrenaline and the excitement mm -hmm. Yeah. It is gone quiet. Well, when you mentioned, it's so there interesting. So there was a lot more chit-chat yeah. in the first round, yeah. but maybe yeah. everyone's now. Well, oh, okay. yeah, I think at the beginning, everybody's oh, just, you know, exciting. yeah, they're mm -hmm. really, really watching intently because beginning can reveal a lot about a person's strategy is how, how they're going yeah. to approach it. So people yeah. are probably really paying attention to that, especially to the winners. As a competitor myself, you want to see how people like Yvonne yeah. and, and yes. Karen and the folks that are known for being fast, you want to see their approach to it to kind of get a sense of, oh, maybe that's why they're so fast at it. Maybe yeah. they're doing it a certain way and I should you know, be watching that. So it is fun as a competitor myself on occasion to just be able to watch people and their different approach. 
Uh, somebody had co commented earlier, um, Ali Krazy, she's one of the other, uh, my fellow board member with the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association. She was like, well, I've done a puzzle in 26 minutes, oh. but I did it 60 times. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have in America, we have a speed run puzzle. It's a designated puzzle yeah. and people purchase it and then they can post every time they oh, do it and you I can see. see their improvement over yeah. time. So it's kind of like a speed run for a video game where people just yeah. try to keep doing it yeah. over until and over. they can get it as fast as yeah. possible. So, you know, she's gotten it down to that, but that I, I would say anything under 30 would be pretty oh, amazing. That would be, sh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would be shocking. <laughs> I do think it's interesting that you mentioned you'd done this puzzle yes. twice already. Because it's a newer 2023 yeah. release. Yep. And so we brought it with us to practice mm -hmm. and we did it last night. And the funny thing is we're four on our team. Mm -hmm. Three of us did it and one of them didn't have time to do it. And she's uh, Justine oh, no. from Australia. <laughs> she's the one doing the puzzle right now. Oh, so I Justine. feel bad because she didn't get a chance to actually yes. do it. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. But so, yeah, Karen's number four. Mm -hmm. And I think there four, was yeah. also um, some interest. The lady, somebody in saying on the comments about, can we see the, the person in green again? Um, um, is that Australia? Australia? No, I think that was oh. Teresa they were. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. From, 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 from the Prague? Czech Republic. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what so. she's, I don't see her up in, so don't know what she, oh yeah, no, there she yeah. is right in front. She is wearing green. Somebody commenting actually also about their backs. You yeah. worry about their backs. Oh, it as well. is. It is. It <laughs> is a lot. Standing over like that. Yeah. That's really not. Yeah, good. she's hunched over. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is tiring on You've your got back. To stick your bottom out, everybody. <laughs> Bend your knees and pivot forward. You do forward. get used to it, though. I you think, do. I, you know, Alejandro likes like to stand. Yeah. And I think you just, if you do it enough, you you kind of build those muscles you need to, mm -hmm. to make that work. I mean, you might yeah. still have a sore back at the end of the day. Oh but yeah. You can make it. I've um, sped run a thousand piece puzzle mm -hmm. and um, standing for a thousand piece puzzle most of the time really does do your back in. Yes. So, yeah. you know. Unless you're with a yeah. team, in which yeah. case you're not standing as long, but yeah, it's single. That's mm -hmm. difficult. And you'll notice that there's no thousand piece puzzles in the individual divisions. No, here at it's World. too, I feel it's too much for an yeah. individual. Yeah. It's just too much. Yep. And in fact, when we come on to the pairs tomorrow, they also do a 500 it's piece puzzle. It's 500 during the preliminary, the yeah. but preliminary the final, the final is, a is a thousand. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, goodness. And then of course okay, the teams, so as we know, mm. two yes. puzzles in the, yeah. in the finals. And um, in the preliminary oh, as well, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and two 1,000 piece puzzles. Yeah. At least there you're given mm. four puzzles and you can choose the two. Exactly, so for yeah. example, if they would have given me New York postcard or that nature edition one, yeah, I would have chosen. Are you competing in the teams? <laughs> yeah, we have a, I have a pairs and then a teams as well. We're world pieces. So I'm from New Zealand and then my teammate Justine is Australia. Right. And then Vicky's from the UK and Jeanette's from Slovenia. So we're right. just a hodgepodge of, uh, How you know. How did you guys meet? We all have YouTube channels. Right. And we just wanted to support one another, so we started this battle of the YouTube puzzlers, right. where we actually speed puzzle a puzzle oh, against okay. one another. And then, you know, people watching can also get the puzzle yeah. and speed puzzle along with us. And we do that twice a year, and it's okay. lots of fun, yeah. I'm sorry, can you pronounce your name again? Because I think I've been saying it wrong. Donna it's just Donna Louise. Donna mm -hmm. Louise. Okay. All one word, nice and long. Just okay, <laughs> So yeah, just if you're joining us now, we've got Donna Louise from uh, New Zealand, but you're originally an American, aren't you? No, I'm Canadian. Canadian, oh, I do beg of a That's Donna okay. Bragg. Yeah, but I'm married to an American, so. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I've lived in the US. I know the accent is a little all over the place. So but, how yeah. come you ended up down under? Well, um, we just decided we wanted a change of pace of life. Mm -hmm. We moved to New Zealand and we loved it, fell in love with it. Are you on the North Island or the South, South Island? Island? South of the South Island. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, down in Dunedin. Shout out to Dunedin. Hey. <laughs> Little Dunedin hey. down there. Hello. I, I watch the comments. Maybe we have a Dunedin listener. So oh, somebody just my asked. husband should be watching. Somebody but Charlie said where are watching from Wellington. Oh Wellington, okay. <laughs> Actually, yeah. my husband's probably asleep. I feel bad. It's it's <laughs> ten hours difference, so it's quite late yeah. there. Thank you, yeah. Charlie, for staying up. Yeah. Somebody saying go Ukraine. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So we have Ooh, here we have... competitor number forty-one, Alexandra Haida. Oh yeah. From Lviv. I think oh, that's, that's awesome. The only that Ukrainian might be the only Ukrainian. I think so. So how many people are in this round? One hundred. Oh wow. So okay. It's the same as the previous mm -hmm. qualifying round mm -hmm. and uh, yeah so hopefully we'll find out where Alexandra is so she's doing, where was she sitting 41 table 41 
Oh, that's a nice pan of the... Yeah, this is great. This is really great. We're 15 minutes in. 15 minutes. Seeing a lot of borders done. Mm -hmm. I think that was a popular approach, getting the border. And, you know, people are kind of coming at it from different angles, it kind of yeah. seems like. But, but doing little bunches at a time. Oh, like there's can, uh, oh, Table yeah. 2. Yeah, there's, yep, there's Teresa. Teresa former from the champion. Czech Republic. Yeah. And there she is. She's, She's got a, a champion, did you yeah, say? Yeah, 2019. Yeah, she 2019? was the individual champion. Somebody saying, watching from Blenheim, New Zealand. Oh, Blenheim. Oh, goodness. Someone oh. watching from France. Bonjour. Bonjour, <laughs> tout le monde. À la France. Vive la France. <laughs> and all of that. The fashion is great this year. Oh, yeah. And did you see the, the, the guy on the previous round who had his hair dyed? Red, yes. white, blue. Oh, blue. yes. And lots of... little flag, which yeah. is lovely. Lots so, of colors. And um, our competitor who came through from New Zealand, um, who did so well, his name, I can't remember right. Maybe Australia. Delia. Australia. Delia. Mm -hmm. She had the jigsaw puzzle earrings. Oh, okay. So I think we need to keep an eye on the jigsaw puzzle fashion. Quite right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love that you have a booth where people can get shirts made mm -hmm. yeah yeah so that's that really great. nice with all the team names and then individuals mm -hmm. and yeah yeah so Teresa I just looked it up she was third last year oh so it was third, Alejandro yeah. Clemente Leon and Kristen, Kristen. Tuve and then Teresa oh yep. look all the countries are coming through now yes of course Belgium Sweden oh, Germany wonderful. Poland South Africa. Italy Yes. Buongiorno, come stai? I'm from Australia, go Karen, but she's not from Australia. Taipei, this is fantastic. Scotland, we've got Bonnie from Scotland, <laughs> hello there. Any Canadians? Any Canadians? Any Watching? Canadians up yep, my home one country? from Canada, yep. Watching from Argentina. Somebody said wasn't sure they were going to get up this early, but yeah. they're on from Canada. So Going yeah. all the way, Denmark, we love you. Russia, Philippines. Yes, watching from the Philippines. This is great. Ah, oh, yeah. Denmark. It really That's is sweet, a world actually. event. It is. It really it is. is. That's what's so lovely. Wow, and it's so exciting this year to have an English live stream. Yes. I know I've watched yes. the Spanish live streams in the past when I don't speak Spanish <laughs> because you're just so excited to just see what's happening. Yeah. Any but Mexicans? yeah, I'm really glad oh, we, we had we'll this. See. And Mongolia. Someone's watching from wow. Mongolia. Wow. Oh, fantastic. Cyprus. And Mr. Popicek from Ukraine, Croatia, Colombia. Thank you so My much word. to all of you in the chat. This is great. Newfoundland. Oh, Newfoundland. Is that, Newfoundland. Is that yes. Yeah, Newfoundland. Newfoundland. So that's yeah, Canadian. yeah. yeah. Canada, it's one of the Atlantic provinces. Ah, well. Woohoo, oh, another God. Atlantic province there. I'm originally uh, from New Brunswick. It's close. <laughs> yeah. Great. This is great. Oh, that's so, so wonderful. We've here we've got, we're watching now Susanna. So Slovakia. Susanna. Slovakia. Yeah. Susanna. Now the one thing with the full flip, and maybe it's why it's what not do you my mean usually by the full flip? you dump all the pieces and you flip them all over. So they're right. Oh, so they're all there. Yeah. My issue is, and maybe it's my eyesight, it's to try to focus on the pieces and make sure you don't have the pieces all in your work area. You yeah. need to make sure that you're not cluttering yourself. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes when people do the full flip, they like to do the border because it gives you a designated area yeah. to work mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody was asking how Kristen did in the last round. She oh. came second, but we don't mm -hmm. yet know, do we, how yeah. much time was taken off if or added on rather. Sorry. Well, I think just 10 seconds. Ten but she seconds. still did she came miss a in piece? second. Yeah, yeah, she had actually a there chunk a of pieces section. missing, like four pieces at the top, oh. which was really frustrating. Yeah. I could tell it was bothering her that while she was trying yeah. To, yeah. to go along. And it was in the sky, so it was very noticeable. It was obvious. Yeah, it was yeah. like the, along the edge. But uh, it didn't affect her placement. She still no. got second place, so that's great. Oh, someone from Barcelona here says they followed Donna Louise. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Arashu, ah, I can't say your name. Arashikawai. Sorry, I said that really wrong, <laughs> but there we go. Yasmin, Vivon, España, absolutely. <laughs> Serbia, Czech, yeah. everyone's joining us. It's fantastic. Well, yeah. And we have, what, 60 countries represented? Yeah, yeah. I think it is about that. Yeah. Something like that? I haven't checked for a while. I know for a while it was like 56 or something. So, yeah, yeah. right around 60. Oh. Mm -hmm. So here's. This oh, that, that Andrea. person's making some Andrea good progress. Andrea from the USA. Yeah, from she's US. got quite an interesting technique there where she. Just she's not doing the whole going, edge. Yeah, yeah, she's just kind of doing going in sections. Flow. She's going, yeah. she's choosing the colors. Yep. Yeah, she's, she's kind of pulled out some of the colors yep. and working and then yep. looking for more. Yep. The and other just, thing I, I find. Don't worry about her back though. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, trust, yes. Oh, 
Well, and just looking over, I can see Yvonne's table from here. She's doing a very similar strategy. So just kind of oh, going yeah. by the colors, doing each section. There's and that's nice, the way I yeah. like to do it too. It's it's easy. Then you kind of do a sweep across, picking up all those pieces that are what you want to work on at that moment, mm -hmm. and then throwing them in a little pile and trying to get them in there. Oh, so, this person from Spain is doing really well. Number sixteen. That's Christina Suarez. So she is, yeah, really zooming along there. From Barcelona. Mm-hmm. So last night we went did the. When we did this puzzle, we actually did it as a pair, Jeanette and I, mm -hmm. and we did it in 36 minutes mm -hmm. as a pair, but our individual times are not comparable to like Kristen mm -hmm. or Alejandro. Mm -hmm. So I could see them potentially doing this puzzle in a similar yeah. time frame as us as we did pairs. Right. But like um, under that 40 minute mark. Yeah, under yeah. the 40 minutes. I would think that too. But I do think there's an extra element of nervousness or mm -hmm. excitement mm -hmm. being here than mm -hmm. puzzling at home in your conditions that you're familiar with. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Oh, no, we went away oh. again. <laughs> I was about to say hello to everyone so that everyone can well, see the lovely Donna Louise yeah. and Valerie. But um, they've taken us away again. So. And we're thank you so floor. much for yes. commentating. Oh, you're welcome. We really oh, there, appreciate as, as the viewers and the fans, <laughs> mm -hmm. because I did watch all the live streams last year, and mm -hmm. I know some Spanish, but this is great to have mm -hmm. English commentary, because so oh. many people will absolutely enjoy watching yeah, well, this. Alfonso made it possible. So, oh, yes. Yeah, thanks to Alfonso. He's, we are super excited to be yeah. here and doing this. Such a lovely gentleman, yeah. Yes. But yes, I told him the puzzle was too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> he said, how did you go, Don Luis? I said, Alfonso, the puzzle was too difficult. It should have been Paris preliminary. He gets a lot of that. Yeah, I know, but I know. He's like, oh, it's he, okay, it's no, okay, you did well. he takes it in good, in good fun. Yeah, yeah. It is quite um, controversial, though, because quite a lot of people in the comments are picking up that this is obviously an easier puzzle than the yeah. first mm -hmm. round. But, yeah. I mean, there's only so many puzzles you can choose, right? right exactly. Right. And yep. it's the same number of people who advance. Yep. And obviously the times are going to be very different because only, what was it, 32, 34 people 34. managed to finish yeah, the puzzle last round. The last round. Where yeah, I'm willing to bet finishers. many more people will finish the puzzle yes. this round. Yes, but agree. as a competitor who just did it, yeah, I would have loved mm -hmm. to have had this puzzle. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, you yeah. know. Yeah. It's, it's okay. It yeah. happens. Yeah. And... Um, well, yeah. and that's part of the fun of it. If you're a competitive puzzler, it's fun to try to guess yes. what might be put well, in front of you. Exactly. That's why we yeah. brought that puzzle. And what's funny is I don't know if I would have thought that they would pick this one yeah. because of the fact that a very similar one was done. A very similar one was done last year, so I think I would have thought, well, they're not going to do one so similar. They probably wouldn't pick this one. But that's exactly why yes. I thought they would pick it. Oh, because really? they did London Postcard last year, I thought, chances <laughs> are they'll do the yeah. New York Postcard yeah. this year. I was right, just in the you wrong were. group. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, Ter Teresa. Teresa is doing very well. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. She is really fun. And once through. you get going on the Statue of Liberty, I feel like, it, it, yeah. you know, we had left the Statue of Liberty to the end. But actually, and it's those not pieces. that difficult. No, I, I thought it would be yeah. difficult, but it actually came together quite nicely. Having done the, the one last year that featured the Eiffel Tower in the middle, I yeah. remember doing the same thing. I kind of left that towards the end, and then once I put it oh. together, I was like, oh, it's actually quite easy. Is it? Is it? The Eiffel Tower or is in Big the, Ben, isn't it? Oh, London? no, you're, you're correct. Okay, it's sorry. Big Ben. It was London Postcard. Oh, no, I you're thought right. I was no, like, no. oh, I got the wrong puzzle. Eiffel Tower is on everything, so yeah. I just assumed. But yeah, you're right. It was Do you a, think next year ben. they'll make a Paris, like a, a France postcard? <laughs> I feel and like be, it must exist. They must. They must. Yes. There you go, uh, Ravensburger. <laughs> We're just giving you an idea for yes. the next postcard puzzle. Well, and I feel like there's so many... Eiffel Tower puzzles out there. It's yeah. like mushed up in my brain. But yeah, no, I do remember putting together the Big Ben part was yeah. not that challenging. Mm -hmm. You think, oh, it's in black and white, it's gonna, but yeah. you've got such, the long, so much edge yeah. that and you can just kind of go with what's along the edges and yeah. then it fills in fairly easily. Mm -hmm. And the Statue of Liberty is fairly thin. Yeah. So if they just go around the edge, you're not gonna have very many pieces left filling in that middle section. What I had difficulty with this postcard, the splotches, anything that doesn't have a definite direction like animal mm, fur yes. so the splotches were the area that I found mm -hmm. a bit more tricky I couldn't mm -hmm. determine the orientation of the splotches mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so Christina, Christina from Barcelona is still doing. I'd say she's, she's in oh, it with yeah. Teresa. I would say yeah. they're 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 similar. And did you say Teresa won it in 2019? Or third place in She got third, third, third place. place last year. Oh, third place last year. But I thought yeah. she won it in 2019. I believe so. I just quick the first check year. on that. Yeah, that yeah. was the first year. I think it was the first year, and then it was canceled for two COVID. years mm -hmm. at least, and then 2022, and now 2023. So oh, so from well, maybe. So we I uh, know she didn't win in 2019. She took third in 2019. Oh, okay. Um it was Yana from Czech Republic oh, that okay. took first in 2019. So there were two from Czech Republic in the top mm. 3 in the 2019 competition. So I was getting Yana and Teresa confused. But Teresa consistently in the top. So I yes, expect she yes, will, strong competitor. Yeah, I expect she'll perform well today as well. Now, did Kristen's mom, or is Kristen's mom competing individually? Kristen from Norway, because I know they do pairs and they're on a team this Actually, year too. Yeah, I, but I was wondering if she was doing individuals. I wasn't I sure what group she was in. That. Yeah, because I always wonder when a pair does well together. You know, mm -hmm, if the individuals mm -hmm. are at very similar right levels. Right. right, we're looking at Karen now and Christina from Spain. I'd say that Christina's actually ahead of Karen. Would yeah, you say? but I feel Karen has sorted out a good, like she has a good chunk of color that she's going to work out next. Okay. Christina, mm -hmm. well, there is a lot of white in that area. I was yeah. hoping to have a better look, but mm -hmm. um, well, we'll come back to that. Yeah, shall we? yeah. but th that orangey reddish color—it looks a bit daunting, mm -hmm. but that section mm -hmm. I found wasn't too bad. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. she's so that's what she's did. She scanned the puzzle, picked out those pieces, and she'll work on that section. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. Sasha gonna win. Sasha gonna win. <laughs> Sasha is the best. <laughs> so Sasha, so Sasha, I, Sasha, I need to know: is that a nickname for Alexandra Haider, who's ah, obviously I a don't Ukrainian, know. Ukrainian competitor? Not Mr. sure. Mr. Pochipek. Please to answer that question because I don't. I mean, that's what we see a lot in the comments. Oh, there's Faith. She's oh, a fellow. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's right over to our yeah. left here. Yeah, she is. And Where she's is a USA look. JK board member. Oh, yeah, Oh, uh, yeah. you see, oh, okay. I think. She's going to be. I, uh, it's going to be know. close. It's, boy, Five look at that. Left. At 27 minutes, you guys. I mean, she she's going to be close to that 30 yeah. something yeah. mark. Yeah. But yeah, Faith is doing quite well too. She's a USA yep. JPA board member with me and a really tough competitor as well. A really good, is this solid team. Yeah. Oh, she's, just she's, she's, she's right just there, just there on our left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah I didn't well. mind the cameras mm -hmm. because I have a YouTube channel, so, so I'm yeah, on cameras. I'm yeah, kind of used yeah. to, although it's just me and my camera at home. But I do wonder, like the competitors with the cameras moving around and people, people kind of, mm -hmm. I didn't expect that they're coming up close. They're zooming in on your, your table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just wonder how a, a person who's not used to the cameras, mm -hmm. if that, you know, yeah. how that approaches them, you know. Right. It's exciting though. It's, look at this. This is amazing. Yeah, it I, is. I'm so happy to be here this year. Oh, Does wow. it feel, the room feel a lot fuller than it has done in previous years? Yes, yes, it really, because really does. So many more it really does. And I know, like, some people ask me, they're like, oh, but I don't speed puzzle, I'm not fast enough. But I feel a lot of people here that have come to be part of the experience yeah. and yeah. to have fun yes. and to get the puzzles and to see the unreleased puzzles in the finals. So if anyone's thinking, oh, I'd like to go, but I'm not fast enough, come for the experience. We've met yes. so many amazing people. Yeah. We've had so much fun. And where else do you go that when you go out in the evening or during the day mm -hmm. and you go to the big plazas and there's all the outdoor tables, you see people puzzling at them. Yes. <laughs> we went to lunch yesterday and it was like the whole Norwegian crew was oh. like puzzling at tables and then we sat down and we puzzled yeah. and it just kind of is all over the city yeah. it feels like. So it is really a celebration of jigsaw puzzling. Mm -hmm. So I agree. Yeah. If, even if you're... You know, if you have the means, you can come to Spain. I suggest yeah. do it. It's so much fun. Yes. I'm and already... Everybody, yeah, everybody's so encouraging yes. as well. Yes, everyone. So when I realized that I wasn't going to finish, oh and I gosh. told myself, just have fun, uh -huh. I tried to clap for everybody as they finished. Oh, nice. And someone said, don't do that. You're wasting time. <laughs> I said, it's okay. I know I'm not going to finish. I want to clap. So here she yeah, is. She yeah, is. There she is. I mean, look at She's just flying. Liberty. Oh, but she's is. not even doing the border. She's just kind of filling in the white now. Yeah. Yeah. I she, guess there is. She that did little, it. Um, you know. This is pretty much what we had left 
Jeanette and I as pairs, mm -hmm. that little middle mm -hmm. part, what we had left at the end. I mean, I yeah. think it's going to be under 34 Christina for Christina doing for very well. She, she has very, th those She's last few pieces much. I felt yeah. went in quite nicely. Yeah, she doesn't have much left. But it just goes to show also how the puzzle. Oh, look at that. It's a lot faster than the first puzzle. Yeah. What was the f finishing time of for the first it was about person? About forty-four. Minutes. Forty-four. Oh, that is still amazing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Because yeah. with that puzzle, I'd be happy if I could finish under two hours. To be honest, that's how difficult it is for me. Oh, and I know Mercedes some people Mercedes. would love that image, but it's a difficult Sorry. image for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mercedes. Oh look! First in the last one, and I think you're right. I think it was right around there. I don't. I thought I'd written down mm. the times, but. We'll oh. have all that soon. Yeah, it was but, oh, there she oh my And gosh. The, the puzzle dust. It's you can see the Robinsburger yeah. Blue puzzle dust on the table. Oh, puzzle dust. Tell me about puzzle dust. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it gets under it? your face. It's just ah, the it's residue like the from yeah. the cardboard backing. Back oh, here yeah, we go. you see on her table yeah. right there? Look at there. Oh, I t first. Oh, my gosh. Near 30 minutes. Oh, oh That is an incredible time. And that was just over 30 minutes. Oh, I called it. I knew you it. Did. I knew you it. Did. I just minutes. had a feeling. That is just incredible. That that's that amazing. That's amazing. Under, under 31. That's, oh, that's right. I, I don't think I, I've ever seen that. I, I, <laughs> I you know, I, I don't run. So I understand people run fast, but I puzzle. And mm. I don't understand how someone can put a puzzle together no, that quickly. I, don't I, I physically, <laughs> if I try, I can't. It's amazing to me. It is absolutely amazing that she did yeah, that that quickly. Yeah. That's wonderful. And it's so exciting to see that on something like that. I've never seen a puzzle go together that fast oh. in, in right around 30 minutes. Yeah. So I see a lot in the comments. People are like, wow, and they yeah. are correct. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That was just Teresa. incredible. Teresa got a photographic memory. Is that right? Did you think that? So her it time could was, help. It was yeah, 30 for sure. minutes. Oh, 30, 30 minutes and 38, 38 seconds. seconds. Wow. That's got to be... I a feel record like that's of something. Be a record. That's, yeah. got, that's amazing. Yes, because um, Alejandra from last year was 30. Yeah, it was like 34. That was in the final. And we that, thought was, that was just I think incredible. the final was as fast as was. Yeah, it? I think so. I can't so, remember yeah, now. My goodness. Yeah. But yeah, oh, to well, see Karen and where she's at, because Karen is incredibly fast. Yeah. And look at how much she has left, mm -hmm. and Therese is done. That's, like, that's just incredible. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, we will admit, obviously, the puzzle is a release yeah. puzzle, so there is a chance Teresa could have done, done it, it multiple times. And that's, yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't want to say it. I, I would suspect yeah. maybe that's the case. You know, she's yeah. maybe well, done a lot of Or she's of the just puzzles. super fast. Or she's just incredibly fast. Or if she's done the, the one that's very similar. Yes, could, yes, because I think... The London postcard is similar, but yeah. I think all of us here that mm -hmm. came to puzzle and wanting to compete, yeah, we've all gone out and tried to get all the puzzles, oh, for sure. all yeah. the ones we think could be eligible and options. So, yeah, somebody said that was savage. <laughs> <laughs> that it is, and a lot of that's insane. It's a new record, holy cannoli. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's that was really incredible. I'll, I'll be, I mean, I know Charlie is going to try to interview people, you know, along the way, and, um, and we'll be including that with live stream coverage as well. So I will be very curious to hear if she'd ever done the puzzle if before, done it before or yeah. if that was her first go And also, go that somebody commented that she, she has a photographic memory. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. must help, surely. Oh, oh absolutely. Of you yeah. have that way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And if it is a puzzle you've done before. There is a kind of memory muscle. Yes, there? yes. Yeah, so and also, I have difficulty, for example, yellows to greens. Like, just when there's a lot of different colors that blend, you'll see how the colors blend in, you know. Yeah. And, and some people that's more difficult, some people that's easier to distinguish the shades. Mm -hmm. So that's a factor as well. I guess if you're colorblind, oh, jigsaw puzzle no. must be a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but people do it. You know, we've yeah, had yeah. people compete in our contests who tell us later, oh, yeah, I'm colorblind. And I'm just like, that's fantastic yeah. i don't yeah. i can't imagine having it just, that I don't, I don't you know, know it kind of makes everything a bit browner and a bit gray yeah but maybe, you know some it, people but... really go by shape so yeah. it's not as big of an issue um but i think that's kind of everybody's go-to is to go yeah. by the color so we've got another i feel like Spanish we've got a Demelza. lot of people kind of in the same oh demelza is very Demelza's good from, yes yeah yeah from spain yes is uh yes. very good she has She's a reputation country. definitely for being very speedy. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things I feel like once you get close to the end, 
it just seems to boom, 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 all come together. Mm -hmm. I love that you can see uh, Andrea in the lower part of the screen there is just like she's kind around. of dancing, yeah. dancing around a little yeah, bit. She's having a... I can't tell if she has ear pods in, but I'm guessing. Yeah, no, she <laughs> has. She's a little bit of an ear pod. It's then. behind her hair, but yeah. No, but that's great. Do, uh, someone said to me, I said, should I wear my headphones and listen to the music that I listen to when I puzzle? And they said, yes. Yeah, just do whatever do what you normally works do. best for you. Yeah. And look at that. Now, Demelza has oh, look, already. Color... In, in here, look, we have someone mm -hmm. who's a colorblind puzzler. Yeah. Oh. There we go. I would love Give to know. a random str cut puzzle. What does a random <laughs> oh, cut puzzle mean? That is a great Oh, a random yes. cut yeah, puzzle. Please. So, yeah, Donald Tell us about is going so cut like a standard grid cut puzzle, mm -hmm. you have your standard pieces, your mm -hmm. your standard two prong pieces, mm -hmm. two prong adjacent, one prong, prong four prong. prong. You say we, prong. I prong prong. What's, what's knobs. The opposite of a prong? I don't ca call it anything. Yeah. I just count the number of prongs. Yeah, so, yeah. I would say a no prong piece. A yeah. no prong piece. Mm -hmm. Or a four prong. But that's my terminology. I said knob. Knob. Or a knob. Knob can be a. Yeah, I, I try Please to be. Tell yeah. us what are the words for those yeah. sticky outy bits? And yeah, the I, bits. I use we prong. I yeah. use prong, but prong. I don't bother yeah. uh, for a term for the other one. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. a random cut piece is a shape that is wonky donkey yeah. and just can look like almost anything. That sounds so like the New Zealand yeah. term for it, wonky, wonky donkey. donkey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's more about fitting the shapes yes. together yes. rather yes. than matching yeah. the colors yes. and the patterns. Yeah, and because a, a standard grid cut puzzle the pieces can go only one of two ways right but with a random, random cut mm -hmm. it's almost 360 degrees you yeah, really right. have to look at the piece shapes more yeah and I've been doing more and more random cut puzzles and I enjoy them but speed puzzling a random cut would be interesting yeah. I think so it's more about finishing the puzzle with yeah a random cut rather than doing mm -hmm. it as a speed do you think it would be well it's... there are competitions that do use puzzles that have a random yeah cut. we do yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and it, it just depends it it's just, different manufacturers yeah so Robinsberger is known for having what's called the ribbon cut oh which ribbon is, that's what yeah, or is it grid cut. what's grid cut is it the same kind of thing ribbon cut know, grid it could cut? be a similar thing yeah. I've always heard it called ribbon cut. Oh, okay so you've got the you know kind of standard pieces um, but mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of other companies that do the randoms and we'll do both for competitions um, Just depending on who's sponsoring now, or who yeah. we're working have with. Have you it. noticed time difference between? Yeah. yeah, I would say I would say times are a little faster on ribbon cuts. Okay, maybe. yeah um, And I, I do think for some people that's a bigger strength than for others But I mean we have puzzlers here who would would choose random cut all day long. Oh, if they yeah just do that. Yeah, so it really donkey. depends on personal preference. Wonky donkey. donkey. But yeah, I, I had more. to. I had to slide it in there. If, if people follow my YouTube channel for the Is love that of your puzzles, own, then wonky donkey. no, no. There's a book, the Wonky Donkey book. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's about a wonky donkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, it's so nothing it's to a do kid's, with jigsaw. No, puzzles. it's yeah. a kid's book. It's okay. a kid's book. It's called Wonky Donkey. Is it a Canadian book? No, actually, I. Oh, I shouldn't misspeak here. Is it a New Zealand artist? I don't know. Okay. Someone in the comments could probably tell us. Somebody, but a um, lot of people, oh, by the way, are saying innies and outies. Innies and outies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think of belly buttons. Uh, but that's, yeah. that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Belly exactly. Buttons. But um, we'll come on to belly buttons later, Val. <laughs> so what hap I think what that. happens when I couldn't find the word for random cut. Mm -hmm. And when a shape, when the pieces are shaped funny, I say, "Oh, they're wonky donkey pieces," <laughs> and it just always comes out. It comes out. And mm -hmm. so I, I told people, "I'm gonna try ooh, to." Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, oh, 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 oh! I don't know. We need the table out. number. I think that might be Kelly Walter. Maybe in front of 29, maybe 19. Who's at no, table 19? I think no, she's in. Oh, 19. Yeah, yeah, I was Kelly. Say, I think that's Kelly Walter from oh, the Oh, look, US. look, yeah. look, Andrea. Yeah, Andrea's Andrea. Just finish. So two Andrea. Andrea. Wow, this is so exciting for me. I, of course, I'm a you know tiny so bit biased, three? but I'm very that's excited three. to that's see three. two Americans that's finish in the top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's what, and right under 40 38. minutes. We're still under 40 minutes. Yeah. We're at 39 minutes. So three people under 40 minutes. That's amazing. And we could have some more. I don't. Who's this? So Australia. Katrina, from Katrina. Australia. Looks like yeah. she's very near. Very close. Just that last. I wonder if she sees that piece that's sitting on the puzzle. There's a piece on the puzzle. Where? Where <laughs> right there, the down by the. 
yes, yeah. bit that's backwards. I yeah, mean, yeah. Flipped over. That's one rule we have. Maybe Don't leave pieces deliberate. on the puzzle. If you, yeah. you can accidentally miss. Oh, she grabbed it. Good. Oh, oh good. that was worrying. Yeah. So Kelly, who finished in second there from the states, uh, she's currently ranked fourth. Oh, on wow. the USA JPA rankings, and yeah. she took Look. fourth oh, at our cha- national away. championships. Oh, they went right they away. They went away. She just, just finished. She finishing. Oh, no. There, there, she got it. She was not. Oh, okay. Katrina. Table three. Katrina. 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 Oh, finished. Oh, and then someone else. Yeah. I don't know who, who that was. I don't know either. We didn't get that on camera. Someone over there, front, table six. Table oh, six. So that's six. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra from, from Holland. From, yep, from the Netherlands. Oh, and look, look, Dem- is that Demelza? Christ- no, no, Christina. No, Demelza. Christina, sorry. Demelza hasn't finished yet. Christina yeah. from Spain. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's, she's, she a was. lot of people Gosh, have Demelza left the close. Statue of Liberty yep, to the end, to the like end. we did. Mm-hmm. That's so interesting. There she goes. Yeah. <laughs> Christina from Spain, just finishing that. Amazing. From Barcelona. Felicitation. Well done. Wow. Very congratulations in Spanish. I oh, think so. Felic- uh, Felicitation. Well. Karen, Karen is Karen going to get in the top 10? I think she is. We've still got a few spots left there. I think we're at six finishers thus far. Yeah. The more you hear people finish, I think the more nerve wracking it can yes. get. Oh, someone else just oh, finished. Oh, no, she finished I don't know. Nope, that was oh. Sandra. Oh, that, that was. was. Sandra. Okay. And where's what Karen? This is Demelza. Demelza. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's just about to finish. Oh, this is it exciting. Is tight, oh, she, people. oh, there. Oh. There, she right. finished. Demelza's finished. Very good. And I've got to think Karen's right there. Oh, Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne is finished. Yvonne finished. Oh, oh, wow. There were lots of people rooting for Yvonne. Oh, my goodness. They're all, yes. they're all finishing oh, one. Know. Same time. I know, I know. Karen's got to be getting close to... She my goodness a few pieces left. yeah this is gonna be we're gonna see a lot of finishes oh. we can't even keep track someone no. else should, oh there oh Demelz is picking up her picking puzzle up. Yeah. <laughs> i'd be so worried to do that <laughs> oh the robin's burgers hold together quite well it's quite, quite well. easy to pick them up like that yep you fold it over yeah or roll it fold yeah. it or roll it and get it off the table yeah. oh here we go oh she still could be in the Top ten here. If she finishes soon, unless I've missed I a few. Oh, yeah, like oh, yep, there's another one. Don't know who that was. I'm not oh, even sure who that was. I can't go see. Away from Karen. There's so many people finishing. Yeah. I don't know where that one was at. It is a big space for those of you at home who's just being like, "Well, why aren't they showing it?" It's a very oh, there, big space. Karen just Karen finished. Forty-two thirty. Well done, Karen. Lots of people rooting yeah. for you here. Lots of people yes. under the 45 minute mark. Oh, yes. She looks happy. She looks, <laughs> yeah. happy. she looks happy. I think she's happy. Yeah, yeah. that's a great time. I, I mean, mean, yes. I'm, this is amazing. These are great yeah. times. And yeah. I mean, to come anywhere near the top 10 oh. In, in, oh. In, at this level is just crazy. Oh, oh there's the other Reuter between, sister. Between. Yeah, yes. she Jean. does look so like her sister. Yes. yes. Well, the, there, there is there. one key difference. Jean has bangs. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you can tell. They're going to come and pe- pairs together, yes, correct? correct? Yeah, they're quite yeah. a quite a they're team. Pair, yeah. Oh, there she's finished. Oh, oh and from good Spain. Job, Jean. Another we don't know yet job. about Karen, whether she's in the top 10. We're going to have to wait for yeah, the Yeah, we have uh, to see the, the board. I, I think there's a few we might have missed, but I think close to the top 10. Yeah. yeah. So many people finished yeah. back to back to back. I, I lost track. Great job, Jean. Oh, that's so, I'm happy for her. This is her first world as well as for her sister. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And here's Andrea Kyle from the U.S. Andrea's getting close. Andrea is another. Oh yeah, this is another Christina from Spain. Yep, she's ranked tenth in the U.S. I think Christina's also oh, a volunteer. Yeah. I've seen her walking yeah, around I think you're with right. one of the high vis jackets. Oh uh, yes. So she's obviously a very passionate Doing double puzzler. duty. Yeah. Did she not partner with Alejandro last year? Maybe. Yeah, I'd I have thought. To look, yeah. There we go, another oh. complete. <laughs> yeah. She's relieved. Well done. Well done. Well done. I am just blown away how many people are finishing yes. under 45 yes. minutes. It would still take me just over an hour on my own to do this puzzle. Yeah. I'm sure. 
Oh, there! Oh, another finisher. Great! Didn't see where he was from. Mm -hmm. so no. Can we see the number, please? Yeah. Show, all. Oh. oh, we missed it. Yes, it's just... That was a loud whoop. Is that for... Oh, yeah, someone else <laughs> finished. Somebody else well finished. Done. This yeah, just goes to show the difference in the puzzle from the first round Spain. and the second round. Yeah, yeah. Raquel from Spain. From Spain. Oh. Oh, Faith, Faith. Is getting close. Yeah, I really want to. I'm excited to see the leaderboard eventually yes. here because I suspect we've missed quite a few finishes. We we may have. Yeah. Oh, she's close. Very close. Yeah. yeah. Those white and she's got just the white pieces left. The I'm white, and there's the some pink, and it's yeah. like a light peach mm -hmm. in that corner. Oh, it's so exciting. Yeah, and we're only halfway through, mm -hmm. so we are going to yeah. have almost everybody, I would guess, finishing and getting this puzzle so done really before that. So they're really going to be half. selecting then, possibly, from the 60 actual people that have come, mm -hmm. you know, the people yeah. that do, come, yep. do finish the puzzle. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, that was the splotchy bit that I had trouble with, but she's working on there. Oh, I'm so glad you've done this puzzle yes. before, Donna Louise. It's nice yeah. that, that you can kind of talk us through what but, that's like. But part of me is like, are you kidding me? First, the, pu the exact type of puzzle I didn't want to do, and then yep. right after the a puzzle I did twice last night. Oh, that's goodness. The, the, I know. The way the puzzle the, the, things go. The way the puzzle up. dust falls. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's a great well, expression. You, I yeah. have to use that yeah. one. Yeah. I decided for good luck. I took the bottom of my box when I was done because obviously I didn't finish in the hour oh, and a half. Another, oh, Andrea's oh. looking for a piece. Oh, she oh, found it. She found it on the floor. And yeah, Andrea. Yeah, yeah Andrea she's done. I took the box with the puzzle dust and I threw it over my left shoulder for good luck. <laughs> That's a good tradition. I like that. Everybody starts Long throwing their puzzle right dust everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I checked. No one was behind me. <laughs> I do think the floor gets a little puzzle dusty yes, because yes. they shake those mats out after yeah. each competition before the next one starts. It's so funny, but I've been puzzling so much. So and my nails, I'm like, how are my nails getting so dirty and blue? And it's the puzzle dust getting sure, under your nails. Sure. So oh, look, number there. 15. Yay. Yeah, right there. That's Faith. Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Georgia in America, not Georgia yeah. the country. Yeah. I don't know. Where oh, there. From Poland. Oh, nice. Alina from Poland. Oh, oh, wow. There you go. I'm done. <laughs> she doesn't even take a photo. No. She just is like Did done. Did they even give her the official piece of paper? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's oh, like, that's oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, no. We saw it. We saw it. She yeah, finished. Yeah. Somebody mm -hmm. saying here that many people practice this one because it's similar to the London yeah. one from last yeah, year. Yeah, I but think. But 30 minutes is crazy. Oh, it is. It oh, absolutely. It is. Yeah. Even though I did it twice in pairs, if I went and did it on my own, I don't think I could break an hour on yeah, it. Yeah. And, and that's having done it, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, it's some people are just, time, there's just so incredible. fast. And I don't think I've ever seen a puzzle that fast in competition. Yeah. That's really outstanding. Just amazing. I actually wondered if I had the pieces all properly laid out oh, and I just tried to connect them mm -hmm. I don't think I could do it in 30 minutes <laughs> like even if they were all properly laid yeah. out in order yeah just moving your hands so quickly yeah. because Sarah, I mean it takes a different the, level of your kind of Sarah mental Rowe? acuity to yeah. just be able to react that quickly and my hands just yeah just, yeah fear from Sweden it's, it is uh, very doing impressive. very well yeah mm -hmm. and look how calm very calm. Yeah, and maybe that's that's also a good thing. I think some people, like Kristen, tends to be quite calm when she, she does. Yes, yeah, she is quite calm. Yeah, and other people are yeah more frantic. Yeah. I'm a mess. Not that being frantic is bad. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm also frantic. Yeah. I I think I'd love to try to make it over for the USA championships. Yes, join us. I'm going Come to on. the Australian ones in in November. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's so big. None of this was going on. I know. Y you know, yeah. so many other 
you know, groups have joined the Federation and... Well, when we do our championships, we kind of treat it like a convention too, because yeah. we do have people that come that don't speed puzzles, so they, yeah. you know, collaboratively work on a large puzzle. We have breakout sessions, so there's a lot oh, of stuff Oh, there he on. goes. Oh, there he goes. Number 31 from... Who was that? 31 from is... Kia? Kia. Kia. Nice. Oh, that's I'm awesome. Sweet. Very happy. Very... Look, very... Oh. I'm jealous. These are amazing times. Yes, I'm these are just... really good times. To have this many people, I think we're oh. probably close to 20 people. If not in more. Under 50 minutes. Yes. That's really incredible. Oh, look, she's. Oh, somebody asked yes, you they get to keep the puzzles. Yes, they do. Yes. <laughs> we get to keep the puzzles, and what's really nice, I don't know if they did it last year, but once the puzzle is revealed and done, that at the back there's a shop and you can go and buy the puzzle. Yeah. Yep. So that means for the final puzzles, there we go. Another Sarah Rowe. Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. Congratulations to Sarah. What's interesting is that the un I'm hoping we can buy the copies of the unreleased puzzles used during the finals. Oh yeah. yeah. No, that's a great point. Because sadly in New Zealand, I can't get most of the 2023 release puzzles yet. Oh, they're not there yeah. yet. Yeah. The, how we got the New York postcard mm -hmm. is my friend Vicky from the UK, she brought it over. And then okay. that's how we practiced it. Well, and too, I know what happens is, you know, we've got six divisions today. There's going to be a lot of swapping going on yes. later today. Yes, yeah. Um, because people, <laughs> I would they like... don't just puzzle when they come in here. They're no. puzzling in their hotel rooms, we, at cafes. Yeah. It's kind of practicing all four days. We commandeered the um, extra restaurant area in our hotel, and we've been puzzling there till 1130 at night till they turn off the lights <laughs> on us. And it's yeah. been great. It's been so much fun. Yeah, I and love you need it. puzzles for that. So oh, everybody's yeah. going to be swapping, swapping these out so they can do them and then see how they compare to the times that get posted now, today. It looks like we've got coming up now uh, a third one of the oh, Italian so oh. yes, Michaela. Michaela yep. Yes, like pieces left. Oh, wait, finish. from Spain. Number 30 maybe? Oh, and then that's that was Michaela. Uh, that yeah, was Luis. they yeah, fixed ba back to back. 50, 51, 51 minutes. Great times. Germany. Germany. Like now that's interesting. I've seen this before too, where people hold pieces in their yes. hand like that. I tend to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just so they're kind of right in front right of you there and you're to see. Yeah. When I do pairs, if my partner is working on a specific area, I'll say, I'll, I'll say, and I want to give them specific pieces they're working on. Kind of I try them. to tell them, oh, this is, uh, you know, the lantern. This is the toad you're working mm -hmm. on, and I'll put them flat right up on their hand. Oh, you know, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good strategy. People are sharing strategies, and it's like, <laughs> oh, that's oh, why here you we tune go. Into the live stream, so you can hear the strategies. Yeah. 20 people finished 50 minutes and, and under okay, or so. so we're That's at amazing. Yeah, we're at 21, 21. finishers so far. And what's the clock? 52 minutes, just over 52 minutes. Top 10, a difference 30 minutes to 41 so minutes. So Karen didn't make the top 10. We were wondering about that. She's well, 11th. Yep. She's 11th. And then 12th. Oh, I'm so happy. A lot to of see Americans in the top 20, of though. Americans. Yeah, yeah. How many Impressive. Americans came over? So many this time. I it think was nice. We had, but you know, somewhere around a hundred. Oh think, wow! That are here for the, oh okay. For the weekend. Yeah. And of course, I think Spanish is the from Spain yeah. the biggest right contingent. I think we're the second biggest yes. representation right now. Well, it's shocking because last year we had twenty five, so yeah. we've like quadrupled the number of people that are here this year. Well, it just goes to show, like a lot of people came to me like from New Zealand said, "This is a thing, speed puzzling." I didn't mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and they've. I've met people who puzzle and didn't yeah. realize they're fast and they're loving it. Right. They're loving well, it. Well, and that's what's so exciting this weekend is we are going to see people who we've not seen before, yeah. maybe anywhere, yeah. because they don't necessarily know they're fast. Then they find out about it and turns out, oh, wow, well, maybe I am I'm good at this. I'm actually good at this. Yeah. Um, that's kind of how it worked for me. The first competition I did, we came in second. And oh, we were wow. just like, nice. wait a second. This is something we're good so, at. So I, then you're addicted after yeah, that. Yeah. I have to ask, what's your fastest time, 500 piece time? Oh, for my is individual? individual, 54. Oh, wow. It's like 54.21 yeah. and I can't get past that. I'm, I'm at an hour, like 39 seconds and yeah. I just can't break Wanna the break hour mark. Hour. Oh, yeah. goodness. But I do much better as a pair or as yes. a team. Oh, I agree. Oh, there we go. Mark. Mark. Congratulations to Mark. Under yeah. an hour. He's under the 54 mark. Oh, so wow. He's, he's ahead of me. <laughs> Seriously, this I'm just amazed. Absolutely amazed. So just, just for the people on, on live stream, just to clarify, this is a qualifying round. It's qualifying mm -hmm. round group B. 
There was a question also about when the semi-finals are oh, for the yeah. individuals, and that's tomorrow, Friday the 22nd, from 5 o'clock uh, our time here, CST. Uh, is it uh, cen yeah, Central, Central, Euro Sorry, Central European, European, European time. Summer Time or something mm -hmm. like that? So, yeah. this is just, I am having the time of my life here. Like, <laughs> well, we're glad you joined oh, us. So, thank so you for having me commentate. commentate. I could fantastic. sit here all day and chat with you. You'll be like, okay, Don Luis, you got to <laughs> let someone else chat. We're going to try to have somebody, you know, different people yes. for each division today. And then I'm sure yeah. we'll have people visiting throughout the next you're, four days. You're actually going to be commentating with two of my teammates, with Vicky oh, and with Jeanette today. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. And she she might say, Donna Louise and I did that New York postcard <laughs> and we didn't get it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we need somebody else to talk because Julie and I have got, you know, we're on the hook for quite we're a few here. hours this yes. weekend. Yes, thank time. you so much. <laughs> I think they said it could be like 30 hours of live stream. This is great. Yeah, no, we're excited to do it. And it's so fun to see all mm -hmm. the comments. Yeah. Really, really fun. Yeah. But yeah, we've got four days of puzzling ahead. This is just the beginning. Oh, folks. it's so just starting, in, folks. Yeah, just you're starting. Keep an eye on things oh. throughout the weekend. From France, Cécile. Oh, nice. Cécile from France. Oh, there you go. Good job. Under Wonderful. Under 30. Very good. Right oh, that's, that's great just time. amazing. I often wonder if people have it turned up so loud they can't even tell if people are winning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> or someone else? Oh, yep. Yeah. Not sure who. Th oh, I can't see the table number. I'm not sure who this is. Number 17. Number 17, 17 is, is Joyce, Joyce from Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. Oh, and here from Poland. Almost done. A few pieces left. I like their shirts. They have just yeah. a nice, simple. It's helpful for us as we're yes. right on it. Polish yeah. team. We can just tell immediately oh. where they're from. Martha from Whoa. Germany. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> oh, and then oh, gosh, from Poland. Look at these. She just finished. Oh, she's finished. Finished. Her shoes are just she just got it. In. <laughs> 84 from yeah. Poland. And just a question here, there'll be 60 people from this group that will go through to the semi-finals tomorrow yes, evening. Mm -hmm. And there'll be two, two lots of semi-finals. First group will be groups A, B and C, or semi-finals for the individuals. And then at uh, 7 o'clock, the semi-final for the individuals, groups D, E and F. Yep. So we're just finishing here the qualifying round for group B. Yeah. Yep. And I do believe already online they've posted the qualifiers from Group A. So oh, I think, did. yeah. So okay. I think pretty quickly online on the website you will be able to see the rankings soon enough for Group B as yeah. well. But they have to kind of wait till everyone finishes. Sure. Yeah. Well, and it complicated things a little in that last round because you had to go by the piece counts. Yes. Due to so many yeah. people not getting a chance to yeah. finish. Oh, here, number 49. Oh, yes. someone finished. I'm not sure who. And then yep. number 49 here from Spain. He's still under an hour. Great yep. time. Coral. Oh, look at that. Ah. Oh. Nice work. This is amazing how many people are finishing yes. under an hour. It really I'm just. Is. Oh. Yeah, I, I just wish more people knew about this because yes. I do think, you know, when I talk to people ahead of time of coming here and they're just like, you're going to do what now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're going to live stream Jigsaw Puzzle <laughs> for 30 plus hours. And I'm like, yeah, you'd be surprised how compelling it is to watch people puzzle. It's amazing. And I think that's true. I think people, they go to watch it and they think, well, I'll check it out. And then, you know, five hours later, yeah. they're like, I can't believe I'm still watching. This. Because ex I, especially this round, it's so exciting, you know. Yeah. Oh, there we got another finisher. Maybe from. Can't I'm not sure. We can't see the number. We can't see the third, thirty something. Maybe thirty. Yeah. Thirty. Yeah. I imagine a lot of people are just like, please yeah. get under an hour. Please get under an hour. Now. They want to make that cut Yeah. Off. Even though they have an hour and a half, they have it's exciting if you're if you're working on an own your own personal record. Yes, I think a lot of people mm -hmm. want to try to do a personal best. Or yes, my goal was to try to finish the puzzle. I I didn't make it the first round, but that's mm, that's yeah. okay. That's okay with I'll, that puzzle. I'll, that's Louise, okay. You have nothing to be yeah. ashamed of yeah. out there. I I, I think difficult. I would have done this one in the hour and a half, yes, but um, I think you yeah, that's okay. I'm I'm all right with that. <laughs> 
Oh, there we go, number 47. 47. Oh, she's yeah. missing a piece. Take the 10 seconds, just take the 10 seconds. Because I think yes, you, I would it, take take, the, yeah. it takes oh, you longer. It. it takes you longer sometimes <laughs> to find the piece, but it, it's nice to have the finished puzzle, so yeah, yeah. The oh, volunteer, number volunteer 14 gave a, from gave Finland. A little head, heads up there. Susan Heikkinen. There we go. Helsinki. Nice. Love the hat. Yeah. Very happy, very happy <laughs> to finish. They were on the tour. We did a walking tour of Valle de Lille oh, yesterday. And they were there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, from oh, Germany. Oh my gosh. It's How just going to be steady applause from here on out. I know. Out. Just finish one after the other. How many people? Oh, oh, someone else. Someone number else. 24, 24, I think. That is Anna. Anna. There's a few Annas from Spain. Yeah. Well, and as you can see here on the live stream, there's a lot of cameras. I mean, yes. I don't know exactly how many are on the floor, maybe four or something like that. But, you know, it is hard work for them as well. Yeah. They are running. I know somebody in the live stream earlier comments said, you know, I wish they had a camera on every table. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but that's yeah. not really possible to no. monitor that either. But. You know, the ones that are on the floor, they are running to get from yes. table to table to try to catch as many finishes as possible for you to be able to watch on the live stream. We have number nine, table nine, almost about ready to finish here. So we just passed the hour. So that's late. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> from Norway. Yeah. Yep. Leaf. Leaf. <laughs> Leaf. Leaf, what relief, Leaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Leaf must be relieved. <laughs> He's done. I love the Spice Girls shirt. It's interesting to see how many people left the same item to the yes, end. Yeah. It's like just identical yeah. across the board, what everybody has left, yeah. that little strip of white and right around the statue mm -hmm. kind of. I mean, I puzzle. There's Juby. She's one okay, of my teammates. She's kind of teammates. worked her way over, it looks like. Yes. From one, one side, side to the, the other. other. Yeah. She's doing great. Yeah. Because the funny thing was, we had the puzzle, and we said, Juby, do you want to try to do it last night? She goes, no, I won't have time. So she oh, she did no. not end up doing it. She's so one of my she teammates. Done it last she night. She could have done it last night, but oh, she didn't. Oh, oh, oh. But I see she's doing amazing. Yeah. Yeah, she is. She might end up with a personal best oh, here. Oh, that'd be fantastic. And that's 68. That's 68 from Spain. That oh, and here. Miriam. And 54 Fernando. from Spain. Oh, and Juby, Juby actually, she's oh. kicking butt. She has a lot done. Oh, yeah. sorry, am I allowed to say no, butt? Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> wonky donkey, it's all coming out, sorry. Wonky donkey. Yeah, wonky, I believe it, that's oh, a yeah. new now term. Now that she's connected to that other side, it's like there's barely any left. This is amazing. This might be a personal best. I told her, you got to lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Oh, I'm so proud for Juby. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. This is amazing. <laughs> oh. Chewing gum frantically. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, Juby. Juby. Oh, fantastic. Just over an hour. Oh, there goes Donna Louise. Donna Louise You're going to see her on camera. Up. Oh, maybe she left up to go give her a hug. <laughs> We've lost one of our commentators just momentarily. Sorry, sorry. I had to. <laughs> Very excited. That I was so okay. excited. That's Chile. amazing. Chile. So Gonzalo from Chile. It's like he's very near the end. Oh, I love yeah, that just shirt. The, Look at that great shirt. What did it say? Puzzleros? Oh. Puzzleros. Yeah. <laughs> Puzzleros. That's great. From I think Norway, that's 36. Oh, amazing. This is Katrine. Katrine. Oh, nice Norway. work. She's very like nonchalant. Yeah. Like, yep, there it is. Done. Yeah. No problem. Well done, Katrine. <laughs> yeah, yeah he'll be shirt. done that's soon. That is a good Puzzleros, shirt. Puzzleros, Chile. Yeah. Puzzleros. Puzzleros. Oh. Somebody just asked in the comments how many puzzlers are in a group if it's a team. It's four, four person teams. And how many of each group qualify for the semis? I don't have it right in oh. front of me, but there's two rounds and there's a hundred in the semifinals. So there'll be, I would suppose, 50 from each group yeah. that would proceed. Yeah. Is it the top two teams of each country qualify? I think so. so. Yeah. Oh my goodness, everyone, oh look gosh. at this. So many finishes finishing. Right next to each other, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to everybody. Oh, and they're number 69 yep. from Norway, Norway as well. Norway has quite a few representatives yes. this yeah, the year. Scandinavians and they're doing well. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. Argentina. Argentina. Number 11. Also, so, I, 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 from Argentina. Yeah. 
it's it was also great the puzzling table is very nice the setup even the board it's like a little slippery but not too slippery mm -hmm. not too much resistance yeah we talked about that in the last live stream how they really have it down yes it just seems like they know exactly what puzzlers need yes and what's going to work well for puzzlers and it's great it's wonderful to come to an event like this and just everything runs so smoothly and it needs to because it's yeah. a lot to, to keep going and get everybody done so no. they are for people on the live stream they are updating the website all the time with these uh, times yeah. for the, com the competitors who are finishing yeah so and if people somebody, just google yes. world jigsaw puzzle championship yeah. you'll find the website yeah. it's the top result and uh, you can yeah. you can go and, there and, and just see to results. say again it was Teresa from Prague who uh, came first in this qualifying round mm -hmm. and her time was 30 minutes I think I've got 30 38 yeah, yeah. 30 and some odd seconds yeah. It's hard for us to get the exact time right in front of us, yeah. but yeah. And, and maybe there might be a delay on what we see on the screen and what they officially record. Exactly, but yes. The, the, the times for this round may take a bit longer to go up just because so many people exactly. are finishing yeah. to figure out who's qualifying. Lots of happy faces oh, around the room. I would mm -hmm. be so... Oh, yes. This is amazing. I love these hats. Did you see these hats? The yes, tricone. Yes, yeah. Is it a tricone? It was a German. It was a, a bicorn? Uh, from Austria, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 The, I'm a big with fan the of big hats, uh, so puzzle and the, mm -hmm. the ship piece it's, on it's, it. Again, it's part this of is the, interesting, though. She's got that little green bit left. Yes. And not a lot of people have had the, that left to go. The splotchies bits. Yeah. The splotchy bits. Yeah. The, the color. It, yeah. Oh, I'm very good with my technical terms, as you can tell. <laughs> Wonky donkey, splotchy bits. No, you've given us some great new terms. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna be using those for the prongs. next few days. Yeah, prongs. I don't know. Yeah, I just thought prong was. Yeah, yeah. You know, I and I count I the number yeah. count the number of prongs. But what I do, mm -hmm. if it's a standard piece where the prongs are opposite, I just call that a standard. Oh. But if the prongs are next to one another, I call that an adjacent piece. Oh, interesting. And then That's the three fun. prong piece kind of looks like a castle so a lot of people call it a castle yeah, yeah. and then the four prong or no prong so or one prong yeah there's a question on the live stream mm -hmm. karen's actual surname karen puzzle's actual surname is karen cavett k-e k-a-v-e-t-t -E -T. yeah if you can't find it on the website so it's karen cavett is her yeah. actual name yeah she doesn't go by karen puzzles in the results no, so no. Correct. yeah, yeah. It's good to people that. are like her last name is not actually puzzles. <laughs> yeah, and so this is the second oh, yeah. there we go. Oh, there. qualifying round. That's so funny. The person was missing the piece. He, that was it was right, right on there, the, and that's why you so try not to leave pieces yes. on the puzzle yeah, because I was you might. Say, that's one of my strategies. Yeah. Don't leave pieces on top of the puzzle because it's easy to not see them. Yeah. But I have seen people doing that on purpose. So you know, everybody yeah. has their own way of doing it. Are you? I'm just seeing how many tapes yeah. are coming out now. We've there's a big monitor in front of us, so we can't see the floor. Well, right how now. many? There's a hundred participants. Yeah, this. I reckon there's about thirty people still going. Would you say? At yeah, least. I was trying to at least thirty. Well. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, here we go from Romania. Oh, missing. Oh, it's on the it's on the puzzle. It's on the puzzle right there. I see. It. Yes, I knew. Yeah. <laughs> I thought if I was commentating, I figured I'd say like, You're, the piece is over there, the piece is over there. <laughs> I know, it's hard not to interfere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Denise from Vienna. This is almost just as exciting, commenting, sitting here and watching again, because I loved watching the live streams last year, so I'm, I'm loving being right front row center and watching all this. This is fun to watch. Puzzle Pirates, somebody said with the yeah. person with the hat. That's Puzzle great. Pirate. One from Austria and one from Germany. So we're at about 2,300 people South watching Africa. right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. South Africa, Kenna. There's a lot more noise in the room now that so many people have yeah. finished. Yes, exactly. It does get a little louder as you go on. getting very exciting. Oh. Oh, from Canada. So I did pull up the website. You can see the results as they're being filled in here if you go to the results for 2023. And right now there's about half have finished, it looks like. Mm -hmm. 
And that at was, least half wow. have been entered, so we're at about 48 yeah, finishers. Mm -hmm. And we're only at an hour, eight minutes. We still have 21 yeah. minutes to go. So a lot more could finish in that time. Here we got, she's raising her hand. Uh, yep. Can get, get someone's attention over there. Oh, there you go. Lovely, lovely. Well done. She looks young. Yeah, yeah. she does. Yeah. Mena from, uh, from South Africa. Yeah. yeah. Um, you got to wonder sometimes if age has any advantage, you know, if you're a younger person, are you faster? Maybe. You know, just because you're... If you're older, you have the experience, don't you? Right, you, uh, right. the muscle memory. Mm -hmm. Oh. Maybe, I don't know. But I don't... Then, but then you also have the failing eyesight going for you. <laughs> and a bad bar. I don't think it's helping me any with my age, no. Yeah. These younger competitors are yeah. are kicking this my butt. Lady, yeah. Jenna, maybe Jenna? Ah, yeah, from Latvia. Yana? Uh, Yana, Riga. probably, yep. From yeah. Riga. She's doing very, very close. Well. She's getting close, yeah. Oh, Brazil. <clears throat> no, I do know some folks from the, from America who have puzzled in past years and did really well. And, you know, now it's like, oh, all these young whippersnappers no. coming up and they beat us. <laughs> and why do they, why, we need a senior division, <laughs> you know, because yep. it is harder. I, yes. I do think there's yes. something to that. I think, you know, I need glasses now yeah. and that can't be helping, you know. Back I wear contacts. You know, yeah. It's probably a little easier, so. It would be nice to have a senior division. <laughs> She has a piece down oh, on the I know, lower part. Down, yeah, that's. I'm hoping she sees it. I there. hope you see it. Yeah. You, that's where you, you you see people. They rub their hand over the puzzle yes. up towards the end. They're looking for those missing pieces. Oh boy, she's just like. Oh God, just she doesn't left. see it. Oh, she doesn't see oh, it. There, there you is. go. There it is. Well done. Yay. Nice work. Oh, so hour Yana and ten minutes. From Riga in Latvia. Oh, good job. Looking a big sigh of relief. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> she's <laughs> delighted. Oh, she's yeah. right there. We can see she's very say, happy. I wonder if it's a personal best, perhaps. Maybe yeah. it is. I have a feeling there might be a couple of personal bests with this puzzle. Yeah, I do think you puzzle faster when you're at an in-person competition. <laughs> There's just something about the yeah. adrenaline in the room. It, it the keeps excitement. you lifted and keeps you going. So yeah, and just there was a question about how many people go through to the semi-finals. So it'd be 60 participants from each qualifying round. Mm -hmm. So 60 from Group A, which we had earlier, and now Group B. 20 minutes left, just under 20 minutes left. Yeah, and it, just in those last few minutes, we've had six more finishes. Yeah, so, it's you know, it seems like every minute or so we get another four or five finishers. You can really see the cameras yeah. rushing to get to everybody. So yeah, everyone's working very hard. I'm excited to see the younger um, uh, Spanish brothers. Their last names yes. I can't pronounce. The T U R C U. Yes, who, who recently yes. placed very highly yes. in some of their regional championships, mm. and I think one of them was only 12 years old, yes. and he he came in right behind Alejandro, yeah. the world champion. So, so like Rita, Rita yeah. from Spain looks like she's just about to finish. She's from Africa. Yeah, there, yeah. There she is. Oh, and then number 44 from Norway. from Norway. And then number 51 from Spain is about to finish. 44, yeah. yeah. It's here, Ruth. it's here from Spain. And then 44, Ruth from Norway. This is, it's here. Somebody asked about Karen's finish time. Oh. <laughs> 42 26. 42 26? Yeah, that was 11th place. Hard to believe. 11th place oh, well, and can, in 42 it's, minutes. It's a she's, tough. She's right. joining us, isn't she, for the next section? Yeah. For the yeah. next qualifying round. Oh, I mean. she's yeah. commentating with yep. the next she's section. If you're a fan yeah. of Karen Puzzle, stick around because she'll be with us the next division. Yeah. And we can ask her her thoughts. Her on thoughts, that yeah. I wonder if she's done it before or. What, if she would change her approach, how she did it. What she was doing. Well done, it's yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, oh, and two people finishing at the same time. She's Big so happy sections. she left the table. She... Oh, look at that. <laughs> we can't keep track of who's all finishing. I it's... know, it's just happening yeah. so quickly. Yeah. 
some people who won't be able to finish the puzzle in the yeah. nine minutes. And that's, oh, I that's mean, still admirable. Because that's still just coming just, here yes, and, and participating and trying, mm-hmm. yes. you know, is, is a feat in itself. 100%. I love some of the names of the, uh, the, the, the teams. Oh, I just saw yeah. that, that Brazilian competitor there. She's obviously in a group, mm-hmm. and it was called Puzzle VIPs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, what's your what's your team called? Uh, well, it's you know we were uh, featured in the documentary Wicker Kittens. Yes. And so ever since that, uh, we call ourselves the Wicker Kittens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Donna Louise, what's your World pieces. World pieces. Oh, and, and you can see my logo on the back oh, of my yes. shirt. Oh, it's to represent the four countries that we come from. Oh, lovely. You know, a Those kiwi bird, so a koala, yeah, a lion, yeah. and a dragon. Love it. Yeah. A kiwi bird. Yeah. yeah. The koala oh, for Australia, the kiwi from New Zealand, yeah. the lion for um, the UK, okay. and then the dragon is Slovenia. Okay. And you'll, yeah. Yeah, I love that you have an international team. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Oh, from, oh China, from China, number 25. Oh, yay. When? <laughs> she looks excited. When? When? <laughs> when? Oh, she looks very she happy. She looks so yes. happy. She well should be. That's when. amazing. Yes. That's a great time. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I mean, you know, people finishing under an hour, that's oh. incredible. But I mean, honestly, yeah, an hour and 14 is also a great time. Like, these are that's my really average. impressive speeds. That, yeah. that tends to be my average. I feel I'm like a 110 to 120 on average. Yeah. And then I get the odd, really close one to an hour, but I still have not gotten under an hour. Oh, from Turkey. Here. Thank you, Mr. Volunteer, who just put that sign yes. so that we can actually see that. Yeah. <laughs> So now we've got 60 finishers. If you do oh, refresh wow. that results page consistently, it's constantly being updated. So yeah, we've, we've had 60 finishers and we're at the hour 15 mark. So we've got 15 minutes left. It's yeah, close. From the UK. Mm. Oh, is that our first UK person we're seeing first person right now? I've seen. I'm a Brit. Oh, Julia, Jules the Brit here. <laughs> do you go by Jules? Jules, yeah. My name is Jules, Julia. <laughs> This is great. I love all of you in the comments that are helping out answering people's questions. Yes. We can't get to everybody. It seems like every time I look up at the comments, there's 20 new ones. So mm-hmm. those of you who are weighing in, giving people links, telling where they can find info, we really appreciate that. We want people to get as much information as they need or want to know about. Um, I'm wondering if there's more activity in the chat this year compared to last year. I do think overall more people well, are watching. If yeah. there are more people competing, yeah. Yeah, then right. they've got more fans, more yes. followers, more yeah. friends yeah. who are going to be tuning exactly. in to sort of be here in the room, as it were. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you really do feel like you're right here, up close, puzzling with them. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I think it'll just grow throughout the weekend, yeah. probably. You know, we'll get more and more people watching. But yeah, we're at 2,200 right now. It's kind of fluctuated oh, up and wow. down. Oh, wow, that's yep. amazing. And the nice thing is, I believe the live streams will be available after the fact to watch yes. as videos. So yeah. for like a lot of people that's who didn't really want to stay point. up till midnight <laughs> or one in the morning to watch, they can watch after the fact, which is great. Mm-hmm. You know? No, and that's a really good oh. point. Thanks for bringing that up, Donna Louise, because yeah. yeah, people can... Come back and watch stuff. It'll be on the channel after the live stream's over. So you your your Brit just finished number oh, sixty. Oh, Turkish James, and then from Turkey. Emin. Right. Yeah. So nice. James finished, and then from Turkey. Emin. Emin from oh, Turkey. Oh, and now from the USA, number forty-eight, nearly done. A few pieces left. Yep, that's Felisa. That Somebody's just put in the comment there that there were only two qualifying rounds last year. Yes, there's an yeah. added one. Yeah. yeah. They oh, did a well, semifinals. I think there were three qualifying three rounds qualifying for the I think individuals. They, yeah, yeah, there was okay. three individual rounds and then a final. Yeah. But this year's exactly. there's six preliminaries, yeah. two semifinals, and, and then a final. Because yeah. there's so it's many just, more people. Exactly. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? How it's just grown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, it's doubles oh, basically still this year. Working hard mm-hmm. yes. the room, trying to finish off the puzzles. I'm going to be very interested to speak to Karen about this puzzle then, and, and, and obviously yeah. everyone feels that it is perhaps an easier puzzle than the previous puzzle, but mm-hmm. 
it's still a test, I suppose, and it's the same. Everyone's having the same test yeah. in each yeah. group. That's, yeah. that's oh, the yeah, it they're all on the, the same place, yeah. level yeah. field. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't catch who that was. No, I'm not sure. I didn't see the table. What I also love is that there's all sorts of age ranges represented and, and genders and people from all over the world. Like it is a, a melting pot here and it's mm -hmm. it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I do realize the minimum age for individuals is 16. Ah, I yes. here yeah. she is. Oh, this Are is Ukrainian. No, she's gonna do it within 41. one and a half hours. Oh, I think she is. She's gonna do it in the next like minutes. Under. She's, she's close, got, very close. Oh yeah, she's, she's, gonna gonna finish. she's, left. she's gonna finish, no problem. Fantastic. But that's interesting, she has the darker green part left. Yes, the d with the dots, with the it's dots. interesting. So she didn't do the, she no. did the Statue of Liberty earlier. Maybe he doesn't like the dots. <laughs> go Not Ukraine, go Ukraine, yes. come on. She's gonna do it. There we go, yay. 119.40, maybe 119.40. Nice. But um, well, thank you so much for your comments that you're happy with our English commentary. Oh, wonderful. We're doing our best. <laughs> well, and something to think about, I know I'm sure a lot of people are like, oh, okay, so they're automatically moving on if they're in this top 60, but not necessarily. No. Because we do want to have as broad of kind of uh, representation in the semifinals. So in this first qualifier, it does matter um, if you're one of the few representatives from your country, you might yeah. finish a little further down but you still qualify to go into the next round because yeah. they pick 30 from 30 different countries to advance first. And then from that point, it's 30, um, you know, based on the time. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if you're looking at it and going, oh, okay, so 60 have finished, those are all moving. Not no. necessarily. Um, that information will be posted later. Yeah. Is it a big Q next to the person's name that denotes that they're qualified? Oh, maybe? actually, yes. You're right. They are saying on here qualified. So if there's the Q, but right now they're saying the top. It's it's showing that for the top 60, but I didn't think that was necessarily the well, case. Well, they may already know if there's enough different oh, countries right. represented. That could be. Yeah. You're yeah, they right. may already know. That perhaps that is what it is. Yep. Lots of people very happy for for our Ukrainian competitor. Yes. Who's just finished? A one minute or so ago. Yeah, like 119, I believe. Yeah, 119. Alexander, so that was great that she finished within the 90 minutes. I was chatting with, was it her earlier? I believe so. There's a few Ukrainians. How many are competing in total? Maybe a couple from the country over over the course of the week. So I just saw one of the competitors there, Mark Feldman from the U.S. He's great. He's mostly here to support his daughter, Hannah. Oh, okay. <laughs> who's participating. I don't think he's much of a competitive puzzler, but he kind of wanted to do it um, just, you know, as a bonding experience and Aww. to participate while he's here. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh, the splotchy pieces remaining. Yeah. The splotchy pieces. Splotchy. Yeah. It's like pink, light pink splattered on a white. Yeah background and I'm gonna uh, yeah I feel your pain it's okay I don't know what it is with me but I'm drawn to pink so I probably would have ended up doing that yeah. section pretty early whenever I do a puzzle I, I want to do the pink stuff first yeah. and I have to tell myself wow oh, that's not always a smart way to do it mm -hmm. definitely wouldn't have been the way to go on the last puzzle oh, I did had all the pink flowers at the bottom yeah I did the the transition between the ground and the sky and I did the sky first yeah. and then the bottom border and I tried to do as much as the bottom but Knowing that I wasn't going to finish, I kind of said, just enjoy the moment. Don't yeah. stress out. Yeah. So Leticia. Oh, she's so close. Yeah. She left. She's oh, she so close. Yeah. So close. She's you like, I've got three pieces and none of them go in. Yeah. That's usually how that ah, works. She's going to have, there you <laughs> go. And there's some of that notorious puzzle dust. Yeah. Yes, I yes. I saw one of the comments earlier said that somebody said, I love having puzzle dust on my cereal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. Puzzle dust what else for can breakfast. You do with puzzle dust? Well, I threw it over my left shoulder for good luck. Good so, luck. so I hope oh, it yeah. helped. Watch, people are going to start doing that now. Puzzle dust flying everywhere. 
I suppose it's a bit like newsprint, you know, when you sometimes yeah, get but on this newspaper. this is like physical dust. Dust. Yeah. This of dust, you can see it. Like you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mm -hmm. use people use little vacuums, like tabletop vacuums, really? to vacuum yeah. it up. Yeah. 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 Some people open the bag, dump the puzzle in like a spaghetti, like a strainer. Yeah. And shake it, it to get strain out yeah. of the puzzle dust. Ah, so I've never is... been bothered by it myself, but yeah, I know some people it really bugs them. Abidor here from Israel. Israel. Yeah. He's looking like he's... Oh, he missed oh, a piece. Oh, no. Just take oh, the 10 seconds. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> white on the white <laughs> table. Oh, wow. And 52 right from France other. also finished. Yep. So that's Chloe from Toulon. De la Sud de la France. Canadian, nearly. Oh. We should have a French live stream, and you can just do that as well. No, no, no. I'm really not that bilingual, but... I I'm, I'm bilingual, but I don't get to speak it much anymore. Oh, I'm French Canadian. Oh, okay. Yeah, originally. That's the the Louise in my name, the oh, Donna yeah, Louise yeah, yeah. after my grandfather Louis. And this is yeah, from, from Canada, Canada here. Uh, the name is Isabel Perado from Canada that we're looking at right there. Uh, somebody here saying, I'm a journalist and a puzzler, and puzzle dust is worse than newsprint. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. So, yeah. so, journalist, from wherever you are, I don't know what country, Jan Rea, are you going to be commentating in your own country? Are you ah. going to be writing big articles about the World Jigsaw yes. Puzzle Help Championships us get the word and out. the Federation? Yeah, because exactly. there is a, a movement, I think we should call it, to make this an Olympic oh, sport, yes. which would be amazing. So we've got five minutes left. Yeah. Lovely Charlie on the podium is just announcing that yeah. now. You can hear. Honestly, if it was an Olympic sport, I, I would seriously train. I'd, I'd love to represent New Zealand. Wait, Donna okay. Louise, you're not seriously training already. What I is am, that? I am, I am. Trust me, don't even get me, I am. And I was doing early morning, afternoon, late night to see like different lighting conditions if I was tired. And, yeah. and I should have maybe trained more of those nature editions. I did train one. I think my fastest time was, like I said, an hour, 50 minutes. So they're so tough, but yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's another thing. I mean, you talk to a competitive puzzler, you have about a million things to talk to right off of the bat. It's like, what's your sort strategy? Yeah. What's your practice yeah. regimen? You know, uh, what what puzzles are you focusing on? You know, do you do all types? You know, and then it becomes a conversation about where do you get your puzzles? Yes. Everybody likes to talk about where they can get new deals and Facebook Marketplace and, and all the different ways they get lots and lots of puzzles to work on. And I, I will admit, in New Zealand, puzzles are expensive. Things in general are more expensive in our little yeah. island nation. But so we tend, it's more economical to almost share and loan or trade mm -hmm. that, because they do cost oh, a lot. For sure. yeah. And so I've had so many people help me out, yeah. send me puzzles to work on. That's like, lovely. And yeah. Just to help prep for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, there so we go. 73 from Canada. Oh, just finishing. Yep. I yeah. love these little like flight suits. Yes, those are. Great. I don't know which country they're from. I don't know either, but they're all it's yeah. Italy. It's oh, is it's Italy? Italy? Oh, okay. Oh, oh yes, you're right. There it is on the sleeve. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It looks like a proper flight suit. It does. They're great. Oh, part of the AE Puzz, probably from Spain, maybe. Yeah. So yeah. Oh my, yeah. My journalist friend that I've been chatting to now on the live stream. Mm -hmm. He is uh, based in Cyprus, but oh. he does write for the British broadsheets. Oh. So come on, Alex, get yes. the big piece into the Times, <laughs> the Telegraph. Yes. Let's do it. Reach out. Let's make it. Um, yeah. Let's make it. This wonderful oh. jigsaw puzzling. I'm event. rooting. An Olympic sport. Yeah. I'm rooting for John here to just get done oh. in under an hour and a half. You've got three minutes. You can do this or two and a half. But then I know the nerves yes. are, are setting in because you're like, I want to finish. I want to finish. I want to finish. And it feels then like no piece is going in anywhere. <laughs> But Peru, 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 yeah. Peru. They've all Nadia, done amazing, though. Nadia from Peru. Nadia, is she? Yes, Nadia from Peru. Oh. Let's just say they've all done a lot better than I did the first round. <laughs> <laughs> well, well yeah. this has been yeah, just interesting. Puzzle, it, it definitely is yeah easier puzzle. We're seeing a lot more finishes. Oh, look, and Alex says those are the papers he writes for, the Times and the Telegraph. Well, oh, there you well, go. Oh, there you go. go. Make it happen, Alex. Come on, you know, <laughs> you, know you want to. Get the commission in. 
Well, I know too. There are you know, peop- there are journalists here in attendance. There's a documentary crew. Mm-hmm. You, yes. know, you know of them? I do. Okay. Of the documentary yes. crew yeah. are following around Vicky. Oh, okay. And and, and us. Vicky yeah. Yes. yeah, Vicky. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. So she'll be. So she's on our team. And so yeah, mm-hmm. they're chatting with her and. Mm-hmm following you around and there's Jeanette I'll wave to Jeanette and Vicky so you'll be commentating with both of them later yeah yeah are they on your team yeah 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 oh, okay. so okay. Vicky from Vicky makes and builds from the UK yeah. Jeanette from Jeanette and her puzzles from Slovenia and then oh. Juby who I ran to hug from oh, Australia yes. is yeah. Jigsaw Juby Jigsaw so, okay. Juby yeah, yeah. Some people know Jigsaw Juby yeah she cut her hair and it looks very different, but I'm it's so always very colorful. For the one in the pink shirt to finish. Oh yeah, John, I just John. mentioned him a little bit ago. So I'm like, close. you can do so this. You're so, so close. close. He's, do it. he's got like four pieces left. I know. Five pieces left. I think he's gonna do it. He's got a minute. Just don't panic. You just can't panic. That's yes. you just. And you try. Ah, and do you know what? He is from Valladolid. Oh, he oh, is. Like the whole okay. of Valladolid oh. is going to it's happening. Yay! Oh. 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 <laughs> colleagues over there very happy to oh he's the wire he's so happy that is really lovely to finish under the before the time is up bravo bravo oh she's close but i don't think it's gonna happen but a A bit of panic yeah Yeah. so close so you've got somebody here wanting to thank you donna louise for your expertise and enthusiasm thank you for joining us this has been fantastic thank you so much thank you for whoever and you just puzzled so you're you're ready for a rest oh yeah three two two, one Hundred competitors will be going through to the semi-final round tomorrow evening at five o'clock. Five o'clock or seven o'clock. So those of you who haven't managed to come please don't put any pieces together. Leave those three in group of three or more pieces which are connected. And then if you could just Okay, we're done.
Así se trabajaba el vino el siglo pasado. Así era la fisonomía de muchos de nuestros pueblos, con sus bodegas centenarias incrustadas bajo la tierra.
From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Solo se puede recordar lo que uno ha vivido. Y mi pasión es vivir. Coleccionar experiencias, almacenar en mi memoria lo que siento allá donde estoy... Busco constantemente lugares, esos que me hacen sentir viva por más veces que los visite. Como tú. Y estabas más cerca de lo que pensaba. Me gusta que me sorprendas. Me gusta cada vez que eres capaz de emocionarme. Me haces sentir en casa sin necesidad de preguntarme quién soy ni de dónde vengo. Llénate de experiencias, llénate de vida. Valladolid es tu destino. From the moment that we met, you're worth the wait. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know.
From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know A warm welcome to all of you participants in the third heat, um, looking to qualify for the semi-finals. Tenemos todavía unos pocos minutos, muy pocos por delante, hasta que pongamos en marcha el crono, y en estos minutos vamos a contaros algunas cosas. Um, just a couple of minutes before um, we start um, this. Um, this uh, classification round. Um, we're just going to just run through it. Just a couple of small little details we'd like you to take note of. Tenemos de nuevo 100 participantes en esta tercera ronda clasificatoria de los que conseguirán pasar a la siguiente fase 60 personas. Os recuerdo que serán los mejores clasificados de cada país hasta un máximo de 30 y hasta 60 por orden de clasificación. So there are 100 of you all together in this test. Um, 60 will go through. Um, the, the first from each country up to 30, and then the next fastest 30 people. Os vamos a pedir que de momento y hasta que iniciemos el crono no toquéis la bolsa en la que está el puzzle, un puzzle de 500 piezas, y sabéis que tenéis un máximo de 90 minutos para tratar de hacerlo de la manera más rápida. So please, yes, don't touch your puzzles just for the moment. Um, the test is a um, uh, 500-piece jigsaw, and you'll have 90 minutes to do it. Y voy a deciros también que para todas las personas que quieran llevarse como recuerdo a casa eh, cualquiera de los puzzles que se están empleando, que son todos diferentes en cada una de las fases de clasificación, en el momento en el que se abran las mochilas, podréis adquirir ese puzzle en la parte de atrás, ahí en esa casita donde pone Caja Rural de Zamora. So as you know, each of the puzzles and each of the rounds um, today, they're all different, but they're all going to be available if you'd like to buy them um, after, obviously, each one has been used for the test, and they'll be available at, in the tent at the back. Y también deciros que para todas las personas que han participado en las dos rondas anteriores, ya tenéis las clasificaciones en la página web y podéis eh, consultarlas y saber ya quién ha pasado a la siguiente fase. And you can see all the results. All the results are now online, um, and you can see how you did 
um, if you're um, wondering how you sized up in the first two. ¿Estáis preparadas? ¿Estáis preparados? Are you ready? Have we got a countdown? Espera, porque creo que tenemos a Alfonso por aquí cerca, porque es el que tiene que poner el crono en marcha. No le veo por aquí, el presidente de la so Federación Internacional. Alfonso. Sí, lo tenemos, equipo preparado, concursantes, participantes ya preparados. Así que, Charlie, si quieres, de 5 a 0. Maybe ready, not yet, we're being told. Ah, que paremos un poquito. Bueno, pues os voy a seguir contando cosas hasta que me digan que podemos... Efectivamente, sabéis que en todas las competiciones y en este Campeonato del Mundo de 2023 también vamos a proceder durante estos días a una rifa de un montón de puzzles. Estáis viendo que nuestro patrocinador principal, Ravensburger, nos ha traído un montón de puzzles diferentes. Se va a proceder también a una rifa y para adquirir los boletos para esa rifa os tenéis que dirigir al mismo punto, a la caseta verde. Well, it looks like we're ready to start. Uh, we'll tell you about the raffle later on. Uh, <laughs> there is a raffle, which we're going to raffle. We, we could do on Saturday, I think, this year, but we'll tell you about that a bit later on. Um, should we do the countdown, then? Are we ready? Creo que está todo el mundo preparado. Let's do Así it. Que cinco, ready to start. Five, cuatro, four, tres, three, dos, two, one. Puzzle! Right. We're back. So we're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the third qualifying round in the individual competition at the 2023 World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships in Valladolid. It's lovely to have you all here. Mm -hmm. And we have a very special <laughs> guest joining us mm -hmm. for this uh, round. Karen Puzzles, who is very known and loved, it seems, internationally <laughs> by the puzzling community. Karen, it's lovely to, join, to have you joining us here today. Thank you. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll just be keeping an eye on mm -hmm. the puzzles and seeing how people are going. And you know, mm -hmm. we'd love to hear your thoughts about the techniques and mm -hmm. so on as we go. So I'm let's, hoping let's they get cracking. Yeah. Well, and okay. we should introduce ourselves, Julia, but for people just joining us, I'm Valerie Coit. Uh, I, I'm with the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association, longtime puzzler. And, and I'm Julia, yeah. and I'm just here presenting this year. And as yeah. I said, I've already introduced our very special guest for this section, Karen Puzzles. Oh, look at all the comments. Karen, 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 Karen. Oh, Karen, Karen. <laughs> so Everybody's loved. saying hello. Hello. Yeah, and here we so, are. Oh, wait, I should be. Yes. That's the camera. The camera. That's all the right. camera there. Yeah. 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 And we're, <laughs> they're showing the so puzzle there. The puzzle. So this is good. Wait, you have it in your hands. Can I, I take do, a look? Of course. Right, Karen, so. take a close look at it and tell us what you think. So you've not seen this puzzle before. No. Um, interesting. I like that there's a little bit of a gradient laid on top so you can at least get the colors separated because there's kind of a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How would I start? I think I would grab the text, this archaeology text, yeah. the living mummy text. Yeah. I'd throw all the purple over here because that's pretty distinct. Because it's kind of purple, there's a section that's purple, then mm -hmm. it's kind of greeny and then... And then red. Red, so you can at least, yellowy blue there. It's not a, a total gradient, but you can do a little bit of color sorting, sort of get everything in the right um, yeah. vertical mm -hmm. area. Do you like to kind of have it all sorted or do you kind of, as you go, you pick up an area and work on it? Or do you like to kind of get it all laid out right at the beginning? I don't know. kind of feels like, or, I mean, it depends on how I'm feeling that day or yeah. what the picture looks like. I think mm -hmm. for this one, since I do like sorting by color, I think I would do a lot of color sorting up front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this one's going to be a little challenging. Yeah, I'm um, just, you know. That's, I always say you have to trust the process. If you do a ton <laughs> of sorting and the person next to you is already putting stuff together, mm -hmm. it like it feels kind of bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you just have to trust that once you start putting them together, you'll have everything you need right there. Yeah, exactly. I do think you're 100% right. When I look at this, the first thing I go to is that archaeology on the on the book. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I this think, dark blue. That's yeah, the only... That dark blue is going to stick out. I bet we're going to see a lot of people starting off with that. Would you do edge first on this, Karen, or would you hold off on that? I think I would do the edge as I do each section. I don't know that I would do the entire edge up front. Mm -hmm. Although on my own puzzle that I just did in mm -hmm. round B, I did do the entire edge up front. Mm -hmm. So... 
I don't know. Again, it depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> well, and we should say congratulations on 11th place oh, finish in you. your qualifying round. That thank was you. fantastic. And there were some crazy fast times. So tell us a little bit about what it was like in your last round and, and how you felt you did. Well, Teresa got uh, 30 minutes and then the next person was 38, <laughs> which was kind of crazy. Yes. I mean, since I was puzzling, I didn't know who was getting those times I just heard the cheering mm -hmm. and so when the first person finished I was like all right this takes off a little bit of pressure now that someone is done mm -hmm. but then it was one right after the other and so as as people kept finishing I was like okay well I guess I'm going further and further down the list <laughs> but you still qualified you still mm -hmm. made it into the next round which yep. I knew you were going to yep. even if you had doubts I was like no you're gonna make it I don't <laughs> think you had doubts so you probably knew right that you're you're gonna I was pretty sure about this round because yeah, yeah. I mean this is just I, I've been saying there are a lot of people who, who are like local or just come do it for fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the people who aren't as competitive um, kind of fill out these early rounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's have a look at the floor now. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Who are, we haven't really got any ideas yet of uh, how people are <laughs> faring or what some of the techniques are. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes this early on, you know, yeah. people are. They're still, they're still I, yeah. It looks like she got all of her around. edges and right. is starting with all of the edges. So Hasn't is... done any color sorting. Yeah, and I know we kind of have a saying, and that, that got started by one of our members, Andrew Bradburn, like just said at a random, you know, casual conversation, I try to always have the edge picked out and everything flipped within four minutes. Mm -hmm. And we were all like, wait, you timed that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've timed myself. I yeah. can usually do it about two and a half minutes wow. or maybe three minutes that's if really you're doing good. the edge at what, the same turn, time. Yeah. Turning yep. all the pieces mm -hmm. over. Yeah, that's called flipping it. Yeah, yeah. flipping. Flipping. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. And but doing, yeah, <laughs> flip an edge sort of is kind of a common, yeah. you know, you flip them all over and while you're doing that, you grab the edge and just kind of set aside. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Especially for those that like to do the edge first, that's, that's a pretty typical mm -hmm. approach. Mm -hmm. But yeah, to even have that kind of timed out and work on getting faster with that, that's mm -hmm. another thing for those of you out there wondering how you get this fast, you practice that. Well, that's what I said in one of my um, videos about preparing for worlds, is you can mm -hmm. literally just time yourself flipping over pieces. You don't necessarily, every time you practice, have to sit down and do an hour-long puzzle. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, what, five minutes out of your day to do it twice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yep, and exactly. is that just, just to get your muscles and your fingers used to mm -hmm. doing that and doing it at speed. Yeah, so you can just learn to recognize like what pieces are flipped over and then mm -hmm. spot them. And yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't know, playing the piano. Your fingers yeah, just have yeah. to move really fast. It's muscle memory. <laughs> yep. Somebody in the chat asked, and we were curious about this as well, Kieran, mm -hmm. so I'm dying to know. And will you tell us, had you done that puzzle before? Because it's it's a released puzzle. Yeah, no, I've seen it before. I haven't done it. Okay. I wish I had. I should have. Well, that was an excellent time. Then if that was a first run through, mm -hmm. you, that was great. Yeah. Was well, it? I had done, mm -hmm. I did the London one that they featured last year. Mm -hmm. I did that in a video. Okay. Um, I should have. I mean, I didn't think they would use one from the exact same series. I, I had the same opinion. Donnie and Louise was like, oh, no, we practiced that one, you know, a couple of times mm -hmm. yesterday because really? we thought there was a good chance they would use that again. Uh -huh. I thought the opposite. Like, oh, well, if they had one similar, they probably wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. So that's interesting. Well, I'm glad that, that I got it because I would not have wanted to do that first one. This mm -hmm. one I'd be fine with. It was a little harder, but that second one was so, you like, so, so much easier. So you thought difficult. The yeah. nature yeah. puzzle. So yeah, yeah, for people that are just join us on the live stream, the first the first puzzle was it was a it was a beautiful sunset mm. and then lots of pink and purple mm -hmm. flowers and it uh, seemed like the sunset was one. fine for most people. Yeah. It was the bottom part where it got very dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that puzzle definitely, I think we had, what was it, 34 finishers yes. in the first division. Definitely more difficult in the last division where we had almost, I think, 80, almost 80 finishers yeah, in the last division. Six yeah, six, yeah. 90 minutes. Yeah, and I, I, with this one, it's hard to say. I think this is going to be in the middle. I think mm -hmm. this is going to be tougher than the one we just witnessed in mm -hmm. Division B, but easier than Division A. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just saw, you know, one of the U.S. competitors, Kim Kenny. She's out there in this division. So with regards to that first puzzle being much harder, mm -hmm. how do you feel about, for the people that are then, you know, in the second round yourself and, your, you know, your other competitors, do you think that's a little bit unfair that your puzzle was considered easier than the, the first one? Or do you think well, it doesn't really matter if everyone's doing the same puzzle? Yeah, I mean, you're not racing against each other between divisions. No. So mm -hmm. as long as everyone has the same puzzle, 
um, it might it might not feel as fair to the people who get the harder puzzle yeah. but in terms of a competition I think it's fair yeah oh yeah it's totally fair because yeah you're not competing against other divisions it's just determining who advances in the one that you're in in the division you're competing in so yeah but I, I'm sure there are people that are like relieved they weren't in division yeah. A um, and you know but everybody has different puzzles they like too there probably are some people out there that would have loved to do the nature puzzle mm -hmm. yeah um, there's one of the one of the comments that's come in here that there's a speed puzzler in uh, Australia who did this puzzle two weeks ago in 51 minutes Ooh, where are so you we'll, <laughs> <laughs> you need to we'll be here 51 minutes which is oh, kind yeah. of what you were saying about it's Maybe between it be a little the, in between, yeah. between the first one and the second mm -hmm. one we're not gonna to see a 30 minute 38 second finish on no, this one I doubt like it. we saw from Teresa in the last I would be very shocked if that were to happen yeah um, but you know what do you think 40 ish somebody yeah, maybe, I'd say gonna maybe just there? over 40 mm -hmm. just over 40 it's fun to predict yeah. I see Should a lot we? of that in the comments <laughs> oh, as well yeah. people speculating on what's gonna happen and that is one of the fun parts when you're watching yes indeed yeah so Karen, I'm I'm very curious. Mm -hmm. I want to know. I don't know anything about your YouTube channel, uh -huh. and um, how did you get into puzzling? I mean, what is it about puzzling that you, you love so much? Um, I've been puzzling pretty much my whole life. My yeah. mom always had jigsaw puzzles out that she would work on. I remember crawling around and obviously not helping, probably just getting in the <laughs> way. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we always had like kids puzzles as well. Yeah. And then uh, when I was around. I honestly can't remember the age. Anywhere from like 8 to 10-ish. Yeah. That's I remember the first time I did a thousand piece puzzle all by myself, all in one day. It took me wow. eight hours. <laughs> Gosh, and you were about eight, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, like somewhere that. in there. And see, wow. a thousand piece puzzle in eight hours is a good time for a speed puzzler. <laughs> I mean, yeah. honestly, a thousand piece puzzle, that's a, it's, it's a much larger commitment than a 500. You wouldn't mm -hmm. think so because it's just double, but it, there's a lot more of a time yeah. commitment in yeah. that. So that's amazing at that age. And you so, were already so, doing them in a day. And did your family recognize that you were obviously a bit of a puzzle prodigy? Yeah, I mean, they have, they supported me. They would always get me puzzles as like gifts and I mm, built yeah. up my collection. Mm -hmm. We used to um, subscribe to the Bits and Pieces catalog, which was huge, like in the 90s. They had so many different brands of puzzles that you just couldn't get a lot of places because it was before the internet was yes. as big as it is. Yeah. So we just had, um, yeah, yeah, like really interesting puzzles around. And then I would say in my college, in my early 20s, I definitely took a little bit of a dip from it, like a little bit of a break. So I was just doing other stuff. Sure. And then um, I got the gradient puzzle from the playgroup, their 1000 colors puzzle. And I was like, oh my gosh, puzzles can be modern. They can be interesting. Like there's so much that you can do with puzzles. And I mm -hmm. got really into it again. Mm. And then uh, I decided to start the YouTube channel because I didn't see anyone talking about puzzles or sharing strategies about puzzles or reviewing puzzles in video form. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I did that. Then COVID hit and people got very interested in puzzles. Yes. And now I do the channel full time. That's yeah. amazing. So it's your, it's your full time job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's grown tremendously. I was looking at my notes from Nationals, which was in 2022. And you had like 194,000 followers or something like mm -hmm. that. And now you have over 250,000. So it's crazy. I think it's about two, 240. Oh, it's I don't 240? think I Okay, sorry. Yet. I thought it was around 250. Yeah, but yeah, somewhere but, around there. But still, I mean, yeah. you've seen almost a 50,000 mm -hmm. per you know, subscriber increase in just like a little over a year. That's yeah. incredible. People love puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a great kind of advocate for puzzling <laughs> and I love watching your videos because I like that you also cover kind of weird puzzles mm -hmm. um, so, and things yeah. I might have never seen before. So, so what, that's what, a fun part. What's a weird puzzle? What kind Ooh, of weird Okay, puzzle? I just did this one that has so many views. People love this puzzle. It's from the 70s or mm. the six, late 60s, 70s. Mm. It is made of foam and it's called a contour puzzle. So it's it's almost like a topographic map oh, really? where it's like raised in certain parts and lower oh. in others so it's according a 3D to the image. Puzzle, really. wow. Sort of, yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. But it's like very satisfying to like push the foam pieces into place. That satisfying <laughs> click. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It doesn't even oh. click, it's more of a squeak. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that video yeah. and yeah, it's like the you know, imagine like styrofoam kind of rubbing <laughs> against it kind of has that like feel and look to it. Yeah. 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 Well, and uh, so, mm -hmm. when you say click, plastic puzzles. There are plastic puzzles mm -hmm. out there. So Have satisfying. you ever done any of those? Yeah, the yeah. Pintu brand is mm -hmm. like a common brand for plastic puzzles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love those. 
I feel like you couldn't speed run those. You just want to sit there slowly, like, do, like feeling the feeling of putting in each piece. Yeah, yeah. every piece just kind of click. Does it? Like it's it's very satisfying. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about those puzzles is taking them apart because they are just like a solid oh, block yeah. when really it's together, to and you have to take it apart one piece at a time, so that can be kind of time consuming. Yeah. But for those of you out there who've never tried one of those, very very fun. So somebody's saying, why isn't Karen puzzling? She's just done her I puzzle. just did a puzzle, oh, guys. I, I just, just did a puzzle. Did yeah. She'll be back, don't worry. But she's yes. done her puzzling for today anyway. Yeah, and she's doing pairs and teams. So you're yep. going to have a busy four days. Yeah, today is the lightest day, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's so many individual rounds. Tomorrow and Saturday, it's multiple events mm -hmm. that I'm in. And then mm -hmm. Sunday is just the yep. team's final. Yep. But it's a longer one. It's three hours long. So are yeah. you a pair puzzler as well? Mm -hmm. You are. Who's your pair? My pair is Evie Karen. Right. Um, she's from Connecticut. She's a great puzzler. Yeah. She got. Uh, she was in Group A, so you guys mm -hmm. would have her time already. Yeah, I can check it. Yeah, Evie did really well, I believe. Yeah. Um, let me see. I'll try to look it up here. Da -da -da. Too so many things have to a look, look at. But you guys go ahead. On the floor here, we've got uh, Anna from Spain. Oh, she did that oh. archaeology book. Oh, she yes, she's right. She was doing what you you'd. Uh, thought she would do. And she's already done a lot of sorting. Look at that. All the colors are sorted. Oh, yes. So that's pretty good going, isn't it? In mm -hmm. 14 minutes, she's got that far. Oh, yeah. That's great. She did quite well. Did she do quite well last year, Anna? Yeah. I, I remember think. I covered her in, in the videos. Yeah. She, she's a pair with another Anna. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And there are some other people that we want to keep an eye on. With it. Um, mm -hmm. I think you want to keep an eye on Chiara from Italy. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And Tiffany from... Yeah. So Tiffany, US. I actually just competed against at a competition in Connecticut, just uh -huh. a, a regional mm -hmm. competition. Mm -hmm. I got uh, third place and she got second place. Ah, so she just yeah. beat me a couple weeks yeah. ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, and that was one of the things I was going to mention is if people at the end of all of this want to see a recap video, Karen does these amazing recaps and you even compile like statistics. And oh, I love the graphs. My sister helps me with all the spreadsheets and the charts. Yeah. Yeah. It's fascinating. You did a really great recap of last year's event, mm -hmm. kind of talking about based on performance, you know, what were the most difficult puzzles of mm -hmm. the of the weekend. Um, so I definitely would suggest to people, if you want to see kind of a good wrap up where yep. it's all done, you're going to and want this, to check out our channel. This year, I actually have a camera person with me, um, mm -hmm. Valentina, who is uh, filming the entire event for my channel. So it's going to be way more high quality. Mm -hmm. I'll like, use the live stream, of course, but mm -hmm. then also we have our own footage that we're shooting. That's great. So I'm going to go home and just be like buried in footage. I was just yeah. going to say, you're going to have so much footage. <laughs> so if yeah. anyone wants a like 12 hour live cut, <laughs> like watching it in real time. <laughs> yeah. And there's Valentina there. She's just coming over. Oh yeah, yeah, there she is. We, we were just Speak talking her, about yeah. you, Valentina. We're just talking about you on the live stream. <laughs> yeah. Valentina, Valentina lives in Los Angeles and she works mm -hmm. as, a, as a director and a cinematographer. So it's going yes. to be a high quality. Oh, yes. it's going to be beautiful. So, so very lucky. So yeah. nobody get used to this quality on yeah. my channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're so how many, do you know how many YouTubers are there here this year, do you think? This one? Sorry, we're just having a tech yeah, technical yeah. interruption yeah, here. No, no by, uh, Sorry, what was the question? So, yeah. How many YouTubers are, are there here that you know oh. or that you I know there's seen? a handful, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't actually know a lot of them personally. Don't you? Um, the thing is, I spend so much time shooting and editing my own puzzle content. Yeah. In the little time I have off, I'm like, I need to look at something that's not puzzles. Yes, <laughs> sure. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm. So Chiara, yeah, Chiara. Oh, she's doing top. great. She's, very well. she's doing really well. Look she at all that green done the in the middle. Archaeology book yet, but no, but she's going. Looks but she's like she's doing more by color. The notebook. Mm -hmm. She's kind of focused on the white. She's trying to get that all connected. Background. Yep. She's trying to do what? She's she trying to get it all connected. That yes. seam in the middle. Yep. Yeah. And actually, that's a good approach. Kind of taking that notebook and anything with that sort of white background that gives you a good starting point. Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen more of the black and white photos. Mm. So it's kind you of think the that would have been people would be doing that bit first. Yeah, that's the only spot where you don't really have color. It's all black and white. Mm, I guess yeah. this guy right here as well. But and with the last puzzle, I think you were 
a lot of the people we saw were finishing off with the Statue mm -hmm. of Liberty as mm -hmm. the last bit, mm -hmm. which is obviously was the more monochrome colours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why here? Is it just because there was I think just it's, this little section in this? Yeah, puzzle? there's just so little, and also it's in a in an outline, so you can build those borders pretty easily. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Kiara, why do you think that you? I know you've got your eye on Kiara. What is it about her that you you just think? You've seen that uh, she's fast? Or yeah, she you... placed well last year. Yeah, she did. did. She? What was yeah. her, her place? Do you know? I can check it quick. Yeah, she she was a top uh, competitor last year. And I think that was like one of her first competitions last year, which was kind of amazing. Um, oh, gosh. Everything. I'm sorry, folks. The Wi-Fi in here is incredibly yeah, slow and, because yeah. you've got all these people in here For trying to look. So every rounds, time I very, try to look something up, yeah. it's like, oh, no. The last two months we've had a very useful printout of all of the yes, different yes. and their names so we can see what country there are but yeah. we've been we, we have a little technical this time, difficulties so. this time around yeah um so focusing here on um brazil and usa and italy it's a little bit neck and neck at the moment so karen mm -hmm. has there been a puzzle that you have found so hard that you've kind of thought, I just can't finish this? Or have you always finished every puzzle that you've ever started? Hmm. I have not finished every puzzle. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> what, just because it was, it just defeated you? Or there was you an, an, bored, inf or? an infamous puzzle on my channel. Oh, really? The Heinz ketchup puzzle. Right. So during the pandemic. Was it an illustration um, or a photograph? Neither. Oh. It was solid red. Right. Um, Heinz, the ketchup company, released a promotional puzzle. Wow. <laughs> and since it was not made by like a real puzzle company, it was just like a promotional thing. There were so many false fits. There was no oh, picture. It was just solid red, but the yeah. pieces were so low quality that yeah. I just couldn't do it. Like it wouldn't mm -hmm. have been worth it. No. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, and I, I think was it was it just um, was it just like a big sort of blob of tomato ketchup? Or no, was it, it, it was literally just um, just yeah. solid red. No picture. Oh, I see. No yeah. picture. Oh my goodness. I've actually, I know that yeah. solid, I mean, solid colors are very difficult. Yeah. To and and I've done a lot of solid colored puzzles, yeah. but that one was just so low quality. I just yeah. didn't want to do yeah. it. I had yeah. that happen at a competition once, and it was just a disaster. Like, teams were trying to just jam the last ones in mm -hmm. because you would get down to three pieces left and then they wouldn't even fit. Yeah. And you were just like, how is this possible? So people were kind of, and the puzzles were like hilly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's one thing there for you. If you're organizing a contest, make sure they're good quality puzzles or you will drive the puzzlers crazy. Because if you have a false fit, which what a false fit technically is in puzzling language, is when a piece goes in and you're like, great. And then you pick it up and put it over here. Oh, it goes there too. Oh, and it goes here too. Um, oh, that's I considered see. false fit. Like yeah, it's just sort it's of confusing. It's hard to yeah, tell what's actually ones. the tight yeah. fit mm -hmm. and what's kind of close. Yeah. Yeah. And we were talking earlier about the um, how we describe jigsaw puzzle pieces, and there was the term of you, you innies, use, outies, innies, outies, prongs, prongs knobs, knobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you call the, the, the um, different sort of elements of the, of the jigsaw puzzle? I don't really have standardized words for them. I call the mm -hmm the regular puzzle piece the like the two outs on the top and the in on the sides i call that a standard puzzle piece okay so that's two mm -hmm. two at the top mm -hmm. like yeah. when you think of a puzzle piece yeah. that's just like the most standard yeah. shape yeah. Yeah. and then i call them like four ins and four outs so mm -hmm. i guess i would call them so ins, it, and it, ins and outs yeah. Yeah. not ins and outies which as we all know is also how you describe them. Yeah. Really yeah. and now <laughs> forever a uh, random cut is going to be wonky donkey thanks yeah, to donna right. louise from new zealand in our last <laughs> chat she was like, oh, you know, there's the standard cut, and then there's wonky donkey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's so delightful. Like, I know. I'm like, yeah, that's good. I like that better yeah. than random cut. Just call it wonky donkey. So you've, you've released some of your own puzzles as well, haven't mm -hmm. you? How mm -hmm. many have you released so far? Um, I've released two with Ravensburger. Right. So there's a 3,000-piece puzzle called Puzzles on Puzzles. Right. And it's um, you've just... Um, puzzle pieces out on top of other puzzle pieces. And that so, is the puzzle. Yeah, luckily we got permission from the playgroup to use their 5,000 piece gradient puzzle. I kind of layered sections of that puzzle with other colorful puzzle pieces and then we photographed it from above. Right. And so it's a puzzle of a puzzle. And it's a 3,000 piece mm -hmm. puzzle. <gasps> I wanted to give people a challenge. Yeah. I yeah, I was going to say, That's Karen amazing. likes the big puzzles because, yeah. yeah, she's. Do and then like the it? other one is a 1,500, correct? So no. Or is it a thousand? It's a thousand. Oh, well, it's technically a thousand. it's a thousand twenty-seven. Oh, okay. Because it has the special cut 
because I really wanted, I had a dream and Ravensburger made this dream happen. I wanted to do a puzzle that was giant puzzle pieces in, and then a regular puzzle piece cut outside of those pieces and having a cutout around each of the giant puzzle pieces. Wow. And so we, we had to do this whole custom die cut and we worked with a 3D artist and I think it came out so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, you're really, when did that one come out? Uh, that was uh, just this year. Really? Yeah. And have you got some more? Planned with you Ravensburger know, or maybe, <laughs> oh, maybe oh, no official no, announcements, no, but maybe it. something. <laughs> but have you got any other designs of puzzles that you'd like to to kind of prototype to try out? Perhaps that um, you know, breaking some mm -hmm. new puzzling ground. With yeah, I have some ideas. It just takes a long time to do something really unique yeah. because you have to get the manufacturing in place. Yes. Yeah. And that's that's not exactly my strong suit. No. <laughs> that's why I worked with Ravensburger so they could handle all of that. So I finally got a few things to load. We've seen Chiara on here a few times. You still can see her there up in the, the left-hand corner from Italy. Last year, she came in fourth. So she is definitely yeah. a top contender, which I think is why we're getting to see her a lot on the live stream. But I am also seeing Anna from Spain there, and they look pretty neck and neck right now, I would say. Kind of seem on equal footing. And then Lindsay is the one in the headband. So Kiara's here in the front row for us, isn't she? She's just the... Yes, yep, in the lavender top. And Anna's next to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the two people that are closest right now are literally next, right next to each other. <gasps> they're not going to really, know what's going on. When you're, when you're on. in the zone, do you just, mm -hmm. like, you're just not focused on other people? Or, or do, you, do you... Yeah, well, this time I did not look around at all. In the past, when I've shared a table with someone, yeah. I've kind of side-eyed over to them to see if we're, like, <laughs> at about the same place. Yeah. But with this one, since you'd have to fully, like, turn and look, I didn't yeah. look at anyone else. So I gather this is the first time where competitors have had their own table to themselves. Yeah, I. Yeah, which the, must be so much easier. I can't yeah. imagine if you're having to squidge because I mean that's quite a lot of space yeah. you've got there. In the semi-final, if you were doing the tables, yeah. was it basically the same cut size in tables, half? So yeah, you, 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 you've got you know half the a space. Lot less space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's doable though. They usually they use a smaller piece of tag board. I felt like mm. last year it was it was doable. It was mm -hmm. a little crowded. You kind of had pieces pile on each other for a mm -hmm. little while. But once it started coming together, it was okay. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, so, I feel like yeah. I never really puzzle in spaces bigger than this anyway. Yeah. I don't really spread out. Yeah. I do most of my puzzles sitting on the couch on a piece of foam board with most of the pieces still like in the box. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have a favorite show you watch or do you not want to like call any show out in particular? <laughs> a lot of people like to kind of have a TV on in mm -hmm. the background while you're I, I do mostly podcasts. Oh, if I want to do a TV show, okay. I do Gilmore Girls every time. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's your comfort show? Yeah. Oh, I can like <laughs> recite the entire show like along with it. <laughs> oh, there's somebody here who's doing your 1,200, your 1,027 piece puzzle right now while Aww. watching the live okay. stream. So there you go. <laughs> Good luck. Today. You got this. <laughs> so. Okay, so yeah. here we have someone who hasn't done the entire edge, nope. just done some colors, some blocks of colors. From Austria. Yeah. So Stefan? Stefan from Austria. Yeah, he's just doing mm -hmm. colors. So a couple of things that changed this year is people were allowed to have box top holders. You don't see too many. Most people are just kind of propping it up like you see there using yes, a water yeah. bottle. Oh, yes. Did you bring a box top holder this I year, did, Karen? Because you I did. Because I started practicing with one and yeah. it worked out so great. I yeah. was like, I can... I can take the time to yep. put the, the box top in the holder. I think the reasoning is let's just allow box top holders because last year I remember there was confusion. We were like, well, can we use a, the water bottle mm -hmm. <laughs> or can't we? So it was sort of like, yeah, let's just make it easier on everybody. You're allowed to have that now. Oh, this is a good thing to do. That's that round magnifying glass. Yeah, you can yes. see that in the corner that there. That's a good this idea. Is, uh, this is the other one. These are probably Spain. some distinctive sections there. Gosh, you know, it kind of seems like a lot of people are in about the same spot right now. Yeah, it looks like Lindsay is at, well, she hasn't done as much purple, right. but over on the other side, right. she's about the same. It's pretty quiet in here. It is, there's <laughs> con lots of concentration. Yeah. There seem to be less people around the side watching now. Could be know. lunchtime, you know, yeah. Spain, two o'clock, you know, it's kind of about the time everybody takes a break. You're also kind of past the novelty of the first event sure. of the day. Yep, that's yeah. true. People might realize that 
watching puzzles in real time isn't always the most exciting. <laughs> what are you talking about, Karen? We're on a live stream watching puzzles in real time, and it's fascinating. <laughs> So no, there's somebody I, here saying that they think we're going to get someone in 40 minutes, so let's see how we how we get on with that. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, somebody just asked who's number one. I will try to look that up again. I'm having some issues, but I'll do my best. Right, who's here. number one of what? Uh, who's on uh, their table number, number one. table oh. number one? Yeah. Um, let's see here if I can get into it. Are you going to go check? Yeah. Um, yeah, somebody thinks it's maybe Kristen Tuve's mom from Norway. Just wondering if that's her. Oh, what's the name? Uh, I can't tell because we don't have the list right oh. now. So we're having technical difficulties behind the scenes and that there's a printer that's not working. Printers, they never yes, work. Yes, printers never work when you want them to work. That is 100% true. Yeah, look at this, like, oh, and then someone here from France. Oh, wow, look at Kiara. She got a lot in the middle filled in. Yeah, Kiara's just zooming through this. She's, it looks faster than most of the other people we've seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think she's in the lead right now. Oh, and here comes Julia is coming back with a report. <laughs> so it's Ole from Norway. Oh, he oh, did well okay. last year as well. Okay, yeah. great. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, she's going pretty fast. Look at I'm how fast her fast. hands move. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Anna and Anna are literally next to each other. On the, on the, on the, on the <laughs> so we've got Anna, Anna, <laughs> Kiara. So. Lots of fast fuzzlers. And so in terms of who we got this time, we've got people from Poland and Slovenia and Czech Republic and Colombia, Brazil, Russia, France, Malta. We haven't had a Malta yet. I got it to pull up. China, Estonia. UK, Spain, Brazil, USA, Germany, Canada, Spain, Chile, France, Lithuania, Slovakia, Switzerland, Australia, Germany, Poland, Bulgaria, Spain, Norway, Brazil, <laughs> Israel. Again. I mean, you could just be listing yeah. every. Country. I know. I was just gonna <laughs> it's just say so it's, it's just so. Oh, wonderful. there's this Tiffany. Is... Oh yeah, there's She's Tiffany. Doing great. Oh, she is really she doing well. She doesn't have the entire edge done. It looks like she built it across the middle yeah. and then yep. maybe filled in some. And she's of the edges. a little further back, but look at how fast she's going too. She's at table twenty six, so she's a little further into the crowd. But oh man, she is just moving. She's going very, so quickly. Very fast. Yeah, look at that. So we've just passed the half hour. Oh, go Tiffany. That's fantastic. Sorry, I'm a little biased. <laughs> being, <laughs> I'm trying not to betray it, but it's it's really fun for me to see these folks that I know so well that have been just really working hard to be here. Yes, someone from Colombia and someone from Chile. Yeah. Brazil, mm -hmm. Poland. We love it. Somebody did ask. Karen, a, you're beautiful. Oh, yeah. Here. You've got so many fans out there. Somebody asked earlier, you know, how do you get here? Anybody can sign up to participate. If you, you know, want to do it, just watch the World Jigsaw Puzzling Championship website. Sign up becomes available. You can get in there. I mean, heck, if you can travel here, you could maybe even still do stuff this weekend. <laughs> I think that people still are signing up. I know some folks are forming teams while they're here. They maybe didn't have a team already ready to go. And if there's space, um, you can still get in on it. Yeah, I think the hardest part is just getting to this town in Spain, especially for all of us who are not from Spain. Yeah, I mean, actually, it's kind of bizarre. I mean, this is a fairly big city. It's like 300,000 people here in Valladolid. But I mean, the train yesterday, you couldn't get a train ticket to town. It was full. Uh -huh. All the trains are full. Oh, I bought mine like a month ago. Yeah. And it's a good thing because yeah. there were people trying like a few weeks ago and they couldn't get a ticket. So buses were full, trains were full, lots of puzzlers coming from all over, a lot flying in from Madrid, Barcelona um, to get here. So Now, Ole from wow. Norway, is uh, he's speeding ahead, isn't he? Well, oh, and yeah. Tiffany there is really, really going fast, and we're only at 30, you know, almost 33 minutes. I think that's, she's going to have a, under an hour, I think, for sure. Yeah, it looks like, let's look at what people haven't done yet. It looks like this corner where those black and white photos are, mm -hmm. people haven't done. Um, 
maybe some of here that's under the book. There's just some mm -hmm. random objects in there. I think that those are the hardest parts where you just have small individual objects because mm -hmm. you can't do a lot of sorting into those. You just have to recognize right. it and place it yep. where it's going to go. Yeah, I would kind of, I refer to these puzzles as like jumbles. Mm -hmm. And to me, my favorite part in the jumble puzzle is when you've got all the big kind of pronounced areas, because then when you pick up a piece, you can almost always tell where it's going to go when mm -hmm. you've maybe got down to about a hundred pieces or so, um, because they are so specific to maybe that object or something mm -hmm. that you're looking for. So I like to call it, you know, I'm at the picking up, putting in phase and I love that because it's just kind of fun. It just feels like it really flies together towards the end. So I think, you know, things will pick up yeah. as they get towards the end here mm -hmm. because yeah. things will be recognizable for them to place in. So for people just joining, we are in the third qualifying round in the individual competition. Mm -hmm. And uh, 30, just over 34 minutes in. And we are thinking that people are going to be finishing around 40 minutes. That's the estimation. So we'll see how, how far off we are from that. Yeah, I think the other tricky part about a puzzle like this, mm -hmm. when, you ha when you're being timed and you've never seen it before, how much time do you spend looking at the box, sort of memorizing where each individ in individual object is going to go? Mm -hmm. And how much time do you spend looking at the puzzle pieces? Mm -hmm. Like, it feels like a waste to spend too much time looking at the box but mm -hmm. if you don't look enough then you don't know where anything is <laughs> no that is a great point our team never used to take the time to look at the box and we had to make a rule that at the beginning we all take a turn just like looking at it for 10 15 seconds mm -hmm. and then pass it to the next person it's so valuable yeah it's like you'll see things that you just don't mm -hmm. see at a glance right and then you know what's in the puzzle so if your teammates like hey i'm working on the little red barn you're like oh this is it you know mm -hmm. and you kind of know what they're talking about but yeah it's i would say that's something every Everybody should do is take the opportunity to really look at the box and study it and get a sense of what's there but yeah that, that's like, what I call doing the edge is like getting to know the puzzle because mm. you'll see what textures there are you'll be able to recognize them when you then go back to the inside pieces mm -hmm. yeah and folks are asking again in the in the live stream you like how are you know who who moves on to the next division it's uh, 30 from 30 countries the top 30 from 30 countries and then the 30 fastest after that. But only if they finish their puzzle for the people from the countries. Okay, yep. So Which Anna, yes, Anna Gil mm -hmm. Lusania here doing very well. Yeah. Oh, wow. She's probably yeah. over three quarters of the yeah. way done. Oh, definitely, yeah, I'd although say. it's a little, her sign's a little bit in front of that one corner, so you can't quite see how much she's got left there. But yeah, there are fewer spectators now. I, su I suspect that, you know, people have either watched a little already and now they're taking a break. Yeah. The, the dome is a little quieter right now. Yes. So just for people joining, just to introduce ourselves again, mm -hmm. I'm Julia and I am presenting the live stream. Mm -hmm. And I'm joined by Valerie Coit from mm -hmm. the USA, who mm -hmm. is a champ over there. <laughs> Not really. Not really. <laughs> More of an organizer. I used I to be. I, you, I, you know, back in the day before there were all these really good puzzlers, I was good. Yeah. <laughs> now there's all these new people and they're just really great. But yeah, my team used to do really well, but yeah. you know, we're not even as competitive as we used no. to be. So I focus on the organizer organizing piece now. I take, I take more reward from that part of it. And Lovely. doing this, I love doing the live you're stream. You're obviously very passionate about it and it's something oh, of that course. you the joy you yeah. want to share. Yep. And then we're joined for this uh, qualifying round, our, our other commentator is the wonderful <laughs> Karen Cavett, Aka Karen Puzzles, yep. um, who's mm -hmm. um, able to give us her expertise and insight into how our competitors are mm -hmm. doing in this qualifying round C. Yeah. How do you think they're doing at this point? Oh, they're doing great. I like I look at some of these progress shots and I'm overwhelmed and yeah. I'm not even doing it. Yeah, they're only at 37 minutes and mm -hmm. there's people that are just, I mean, you know, they're getting down there. I practiced a lot of puzzles kind of like this where it has a lot of small mm -hmm. objects because that is not my strong suit. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I find it a lot more stressful. I would agree with you. I'm not a big fan of the kind of jumble puzzle like this, mm -hmm. but... Um, mm -hmm. I mean, they're fun. It's not that I don't like doing them. If I, was I do doing a lot. It, of them. Yeah, just for fun, yeah. it'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I was. I forgot to ask you if you had done this one as well. I haven't even seen this one. No. When so, this came out of the bag, I was like, wait, I don't even recognize that one. Well, that's the thing. Since this is in Spain, mm -hmm. a lot of the puzzles used are from the European catalog. They're yeah. not all released in the U.S., mm -hmm. so uh, we haven't seen a lot of the ones that could be used. Right. 
I know there are some Americans that are so serious that they will try to order from the mm -hmm. European catalog and they'll pay all that extra shipping yep. <laughs> to get it sent to them in the States so that they can practice with the with the whole catalog. There are just so um, many puzzles that it could be. Yeah, it's like, exactly. how do you choose which ones right. to, to order? Yeah. I mean, Ravensburger is such a great sponsor. I mean, they give so much towards this event. I mean, they're donating all the puzzles for all these divisions. And I you mean, get to take, take, take them yes, home Yes, people get to take them home afterwards. I wonder how many people who've done it in competition then go, right, I'm going to do this again at home now mm -hmm. and see how I do. I think do a you lot. Try and, do you try and, if, you, if you've done a, a puzzling competition and then mm -hmm. you do it again, do you want to try and beat your own personal best? Yeah. Are you always doing that? I actually just did the puzzle from Nationals that I got second place at. I did that as practice for this mm. event. Right. And I got three minutes faster than my wow. time there. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Three I've minutes. done it. But know, I, I think what's more before, common, yeah, barely is, improve. Is that all of us who are friends, who are all speed puzzlers, are going to trade between the different rounds mm -hmm. and time ourselves and see where we would have placed? Yep, yep. That's going to be it. the evening activity for almost everybody. It's going to be. Oh, I want to do that other one. Well, from I think round that's going to be like a month from now activity. <laughs> I think we're all going to be a little burned out on puzzles. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I know people that come to this this weekend, and I don't think they really stop puzzling. It's just kind of. I was going to ask that actually. I know you posted videos about prepping for this and just puzzling, puzzling, puzzling. Did you taper at all like marathoners do, you know, and just try mm -hmm. to kind of ease off the last few days? Or have you been puzzling right up until this morning? No, we spent a couple days in Madrid just like doing some sightseeing. And it was good to just be out in the world, look at something that's not a puzzle mm -hmm. <laughs> or like my computer screen. Like art or. Yeah, architecture. Well, of course, a lot of puzzles are art, I guess. <laughs> I went to see uh, Guernica. And Guernica in Madrid, the, you know, famous mm -hmm. Picasso, and uh, I sent a photo to oh. Alfonso, the organizer. Oh, Look at Anna, Anna's she's close. almost done. Yeah, Anna's almost she there. Might, she's probably going to finish in the next minute or so. But yeah, so I sent a photo to Alfonso and I said, hey, look where I am. And he said, ah, the famous Educa puzzle. Because <laughs> so many classic artworks that I was seeing at the Prado and all over are on puzzles and I've done them on puzzles. And right, here she God. goes. Here we go. Probably she's, 10 she's, pieces maybe, left. Yeah, Calm, maybe 10. Look, she's looking a little bit frazzled. Well, she she's, know, she's got this. She's, she will yeah. know that there has been no one else right. yet who has... Um, oh, oh, no. We've lost our... No, oh, that, we're back. Okay, <laughs> that was scary. I was like, wait a second. Oh yeah, she's so close. Okay, she's four busy. four pieces left. What's the time gonna be? Three, two, whoa, one. Forty. Forty. Forty-eight. So yeah, the estimation then of the. We were right ahead. Minutes. You set it off. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. I'm Karen, impressed. we have got this. We knew. <laughs> we are we psychic. Were we are psychic. We knew it was going to be around 40, and it so, was. That's very exciting. That's very really good. Now, where is Kiara? I feel like we haven't seen Kiara for a little while. I can't tell from here. She's got the box in front. I want to be like, move the box, Kiara. <laughs> we can't <laughs> see you. So, Anna is from Madrid. Mm -hmm. um, so that's mu that much I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which is about two, two and a half hours away from Valladolid. I don't know how you say Valladolid. Do you say Valladolid? Is it Valladolid? Because with the or double Valle L, yeah. you kind of do a yeah sound, don't you? Yeah, I, I, I think so, but I sometimes sure hear... it's not the right way yeah, to say it. Oh, there's Kiara. If there's any oh, there's Spanish Kiara. people listening, please tell me how to say it. <laughs> Valladolid, is that right? Or is it Valla? Valladolid or Valladolid? It Kiara looks a bala. Good. She has about maybe 15 pieces yeah, left. I think Kiara might be in second. <coughs> Although look at Tiffany. You can see Tiffany still speeding away right behind the number 16 there. But she's definitely got more left. She's not going to get second. But maybe she's in contention for third. I love that feeling when you just pull all of them towards you and you see how few you have left. Mm-hmm. Oh, here Kiara's she goes. She's, she's nearly finishing now. Three, two, and, oh, nope, one more. Nope, she has some blocked. There it is. 22. 24. 24. Yeah. Looks like, yeah. Nice so, work, well Chiara. Done, brava. Yeah. brava, Chiara. Very happy. Ah, somebody some said Vaya Dolid. Okay, oh, thank, thank you. you so much. Vaya thank you. Vaya Dolid. Vaya Dolid. Okay. Has I appreciate Karen done anything that. Yet? Karen's done so much already. 
Darren competed in the previous qualifying round. Yes, and, and took 11th. Took 11th yep. place, and yep. she will be going through to the semi-finals tomorrow at mm -hmm. 5 o'clock. So she will be in the first round mm -hmm. of the semi-finals. For what the was your time groups. again, Karen? Uh, Do you remember it? Of it. 40, it was right around... 42, 42 minutes, 46. Something no, like 42, that? 26, I beg your pardon. What's, what's a personal best for you? Is that close? I honestly don't know. I don't really keep track. <laughs> well, you don't? No. I oh, believe. I have a spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> I keep track, like, within each video that I'm making. Oh, but. <laughs> Hannah from Australia is getting close, too. Oh, my goodness. Hannah so we've got Australia. two finishers so far. I had not seen Hannah before, so she's in there, too. first. Second, Kiara. No, he has pieces on top of his puzzle. Yes, which I think is, I just well, see I that one. Like, what that. are you doing? That must be confusing. <laughs> I would want them all out. Especially with a puzzle area, like so this. Yeah. Yeah. So look, our USA okay, lady. Tiffany, no, she's, yep. she's standing again. She's like, okay, I got to get serious. <laughs> okay, so just so folks know, if they're new to the live stream, if you go to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship website, and you go to the results tab, you can actually see the results as they're coming in. They they frequently uh, post them for the round that we're watching. So you can actually just refresh that page once in a while and you'll see the current rankings for each division. There, there it is, are. just like, I, yeah, it's like I'm psychic. <laughs> it's on the screen right now. Yeah, only a minute and a half between the first two. Yeah. In the, pa in the previous round, we yeah. had an eight minute difference, yeah. which was a lot. I just still can't believe, I've got to know, Teresa, like, had you done that before? Like, it just seems so crazy <laughs> to me. 30 minutes, 38 yeah. seconds is, I don't think I've ever seen anybody get yeah. a puzzle done that quickly. A 500 piece. Have you, <laughs> Karen? 30 minutes, 38 seconds I mean, for a that's even piece? faster than Alejandro's top times from last year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was really fast. It was really fast. I feel, Yeah, I feel like the top times that I see are always over the 30-minute mark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look now, Tiffany from the USA is oh, yeah, she's just really cruising. speeding up. Her hands literally look like the camera's been speeding up. <laughs> and, and so Hannah also. Oh, she, yeah, she has yeah, just a oh couple of They're going to be close. Is it Hannah? Yes, and Hannah. she's moving quite quickly too. Yeah. I feel like Hannah's but, moving more deliberately and yes. Tiffany's a little more energetic. But <laughs> Tiffany's still plugging them oh, in there. Oh, looks like she, Tiffany's going to yep, finish yep, first. Yep. yep. So she's, she's going to be last our couple. third finisher. Oh, no, she's, she's missing a piece. There she got, got it. it. Oh, oh, she got oh, it. Tiffany. Nice work, Tiffany. That's very exciting. Oh, and then right behind her, Hannah from Australia. Oh, now she has it. I thought she finished she had it. <laughs> well done, Hannah from Australia. Lots of pieces like from that Victoria. is happening so often where people have a piece on the floor. Oh, guys, do you see the sun's coming out? I know. Yeah. It's getting bright in here. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It was pouring with rain when we all came here this morning. Yes. Wasn't it? Yeah, I had to walk over from my hotel and I was like, well, this is great. Now, Ole from Norway looks <laughs> oh, like yeah. he knows Ole's he's into right the home stretch now. Yep. And he's also looking like his hands have been speeded up. I don't know how you guys do that. But he's doing it one-handed. Look yeah. at that. Mm -hmm. Do you have a two, do you do two hands? I usually do two, two hands. Do two. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes if I'm leaning over really far, I have to balance on one arm and then I'll do one hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you like to stand when you puzzle, Karen? I prefer sit? to sit. Yeah. I think it goes faster sometimes when mm. you stand because you have a larger range of motion. Mm -hmm. But I, I like to sit. Yeah. You <laughs> so like I to go save back and your forth. back. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll like sit for a bit and then stand for a bit. And... Yeah. Oh, here I do he that goes. too. I, I tend to go back and forth. Now. Oh, he's so close. Got three, three left. Nice work. Yay. 47 oh. away. <laughs> That's lovely. And his family at home. Phew. Oh, he's happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have the most viewers we've had yet so today. Oh, yeah. 2,600 right now. I bet now. people in the U.S. are just starting to wake exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah. They're getting up now and hopefully joining us. He's saying that it's one-handed a Norwegian thing. <laughs> Good question. We Is noticed. That's, we know that's yeah. Kristen's technique. Yeah, Kristen likes Except to... Except that she was doing no, two hands she was. this year. Was. What we noticed is she did two hands almost the entire time except for the very end. Mm -hmm. And then she went back to kind of yeah. resting her head on their hand. 
I was talking to her yesterday. I was oh, asking yeah. if she had any new like strategies that she'd mm -hmm. be bringing out. And she was just like, yeah, maybe. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> she was coy about yeah. it all. I did see people in the chat asking, is Karen going to interview Alejandro and Kristen? And I saw oh, you doing that yesterday, I already, but I didn't want to spoil did it. it. Yes. Already done. <laughs> I guess I can talk to them again, like once it's yeah. all over and yep. we can talk about yeah, how this all went. Yeah. So is Ole someone that you've uh, had an eye on before? I think he did pretty well last year. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I remember him from the videos that I made. It's funny, mm -hmm. I spent so long watching those live streams last year. And now yeah. being here and seeing annoying. those people in person, it's like, oh, you're real. Uh, so this is your first time in Valladolid. No, yeah. I had to say Valladolid. We asked, Valladolid. Them, uh, we asked we them asked, the We asked the live stream and they told me <laughs> how to pronounce it. And actually, why don't we just get Alfonso? We've I got know. Alfonso's Jump just in. joined us just for a minute. No, 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 Alfonso okay. is the president of the World Jigsaw Puzzle Federation. And he's the one, everybody, who is trying to you push this movement forward to make jigsaw puzzling a Im Olympic competitive yes. sport. Yes. Yes. So, uh, we had a journalist on the live stream comments earlier, and we were like, yes. "Do yeah. an article! Come on, get this out there!" <laughs> I love the comment though. Huh? Yeah, That's tons of comments. Yeah, we so, try to keep an eye on it so we can answer questions as we're going. So Alfonso is the like, man. I like pretty much this is a puzzle. Do you like it? Yeah, it's, it's a great puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You like it's, this one in particular? Yes, in particular this part. Yeah. In the first, not more. Not so, much. <laughs> <laughs> that was a one. so even the, the organizer one, uh, admits the first uh, one is hard. Previously, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We have to six uh, yeah. more for discover. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, as live stream commentators, we don't know. We don't see them until they do. Oh, I was um, going to ask if you had like a whole folder I of all don't, of the images. I don't, no. I wouldn't even want that. I would be so afraid I'd like leave it open on my phone or something and <laughs> oh, somebody yes. would see it by accident. So advantage. I'm fine with not knowing anything until it happens and just seeing it as it unfolds. Um, yeah. It is one of the fun things as an organizer, though, is to work with the puzzle companies in picking something. And I do think that there's a lot to kind of keep in mind with that. It's not super easy to just decide on a puzzle to have oh, it a competition. This, this is interesting. Look, she has the yeah, entire inside done and is the doing edge. the edge left. Yes. Wow. So this is Alvaro from Ooh, Spain. Alvaro from interesting. Spain. Different there are a couple inside pieces still left, but yeah, now he's, but he's just edge. doing the edge. Yeah, and that's what we saw Kristen doing last year. Right, and this isn't even that challenging of an edge because you can probably kind of make out the edge mm -hmm. in advance. So I think that is really interesting that they've waited on it. I usually would only do that if the edge was like a solid color or just really mm -hmm. hard to differentiate. Yeah, or if there's something super bright right in the middle. Right. So, Karen, there was a question there for you. Uh -huh. Are you excited about tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, another finisher. <laughs> Love it. I think, is she Norwegian? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, are you excited tomorrow? And have you changed any strategies since, uh, well, not since today, but do you keep changing your strategies or do you... Oh, and strategies? there goes Alvaro from Spain, just finished. <laughs> he looks a little overwhelmed. I was going to say traumatized is the word I was looking for. <laughs> oh, and another person finished that we didn't get on camera. I just saw her raise her hands up got, in the group. Yeah, quite a few people are uh -huh. finishing at around the 40, 45, 50 minute mark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are we up to? F 51 minutes. Yeah, we're up to 51 yeah, minutes. Good. So under the hour, we're going to. Yeah. Oh, and there's another Lisa one. Lisa. Nice. Germany. Yep. Lisa. I love it. She puts her name right on her shirt. Very, Everybody should do should that. Do that. <laughs> oh, you mean like me? Yes. Someone from Portugal is just finishing. Nice. Okay. Very good. Right. Just to see it. Yeah. No, it's very helpful for the commentators if everybody's just wearing the name on their shirt. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> I think a lot of people put it on the back of their shirts, like it's a sports jersey. Oh, no, and but I, that doesn't yeah. help you guys. Somebody said Danish. Somebody was She's Danish. Danish. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, we couldn't see. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think we're going to get a lot right around that hour mark based on what we're seeing here. That's interesting that Alfonso said this was a favorite of his. I think out of the three so far today, I would have wanted to do the one you did, Karen. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been my pick. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing about the one I did is that 
since it's a little easier, I feel like there's more pressure oh, because sure. the times are, pr- I mean, obviously they They're weren't that tight with, um, with Teresa, yeah, yeah. but the times are going to be a lot tighter right. since it's really just a, more of a speed race and less of trying to mm-hmm. figure out where each piece goes. Does that yep. make sense? Yeah, no, that does make sense. Ah. Yeah, you open up that puzzle and you think, oh, this is going to be fast yep. and there's going to be some there's really no fast room for error. Signs. Exactly, that's true. <laughs> so that was Helen there, who yeah. is from the Czech Republic and she's just finished at just around 53 minutes. Yes, anyone can enter the competition. There's some questions coming in. Mm-hmm. Anyone can enter the World mm-hmm. Jigsaw Puzzle Championships. Yep. And then somebody asked, how did the numbers of the people get assigned? Part of it depends on how many people from a given country. So like, for example, America had, you know, over 80 participants. So they're kind of spread out throughout the divisions. But I think it's somewhat random. You know, he just kind of assigns and and tries to get as many people represented in each division from all the different countries. Oh, now, it looks we have somebody like else Al- joining us. Yeah, Alfonso is bringing in Anna de Luciano. Hi, how are hello, you? Hello, who, as we know, has just won, not won, she's sorry, she's finished first in the um, individual qualifying round C with an amazing time of 40 minutes and 48 seconds. How does it feel? Uh, well, great. <laughs> I have to say uh, that uh, I've done this puzzle before once. Oh, right. Uh, a friend of mine uh, um, lent it to me because he said, oh, you're going to love this one. So, <laughs> so I, uh, I, I've done it uh, once and also it's the kind of puzzle that uh, really suits me. So uh, I think that both things have, uh, have obviously uh, been uh, important in the in the result, but yeah, no, it, even though I I think I've never done uh, any puzzle uh, in this in this time, so oh, really, so really this happy. Is the best time for you. So right far. now, I, I mean th- that I have measured, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that I have good. timed, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, really really happy. But, well, this is just a qualifying round, so let's yeah. see let's see the rest of the championship. But yeah, I'm happy. So, and whereabouts in Spain are you from? Hey, I'm from, well, I'm from Granada, technically, but uh, I've been living in Madrid for so many years that right now I, I consider myself from Madrid. Yeah. So. so have you competed in the, you've competed in before? Uh, yes, uh, this is my third uh, world championship, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very so, good. Yeah, yeah, it's a wonderful experience. Um, every year the, the competition grows in yes. every sense. So, uh, so yeah, and, and it's it's just a, a long weekend that uh, you're with uh, with your friends, with some doing something completely different from all the rest of your life. So it's it's a wonderful experience. You always meet new people in it. Uh, always there's a surprise, or there's a, and and you're passing. So it's uh, yeah, wonderful. And are you competing in the pairs and the teams as well? Yes, you are. Yes, yes, indeed. I wanted I wanted to ask you. I know you yes. did very well in pairs last year. Uh, yeah, we did uh, fine. Yeah, I think we, we were six, I think. Mm-hmm. So do you have any tips for for pairs puzzling for tomorrow? Uh, well, I think that the first tip you should have uh, on, on pairs. Uh, have fun and, and enjoying being with your partner. I don't know if you know uh, your partner. Yeah, or yep. it's, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's the. I mean, it, it's the best way to to uh, to do a good uh, to have a good result because uh, uh, we've seen that sometimes you, you can even uh, get uh, two really two really good puzzles together uh, and maybe they don't fit. So. Yeah. It's something about um, how you, yeah, how you manage and, and how you speak things and how you. I, I think that uh, in, that if you have the the goal of enjoying and, and having a good time with your with your partner, everything will go will go by itself. So yeah, I think it's uh, the best. And obviously, know the weaknesses and yeah. the strengths of the, of each uh, of each partner to yeah. to uh, separate tasks mm-hmm. and. And how long have you been doing jigsaw puzzles, Anna? I think uh, that uh, all my life. I mean, uh, since uh, since, mm-hmm. I, since I was little, yeah. because uh, my um, my parents uh, both uh, like doing puzzles in a normal way, not in <laughs> not this speed plus. No. No. no, no, no. But uh, they, they they liked, and, and there were puzzles around my uh, jigsaw puzzles around my house, and so yeah, I started uh, when I was little, and and I, I have continued, and, and then when when I was. Uh, <laughs> Oh, another one. So Good job. 
There are a lot of uh, people coming in here right now. And, uh, and, and afterwards, uh, when I was um, um, when I was an adult, <laughs> I, is when I discovered the, the speed puzzling. But uh, I, I, for me, it's like two worlds, uh, two different worlds. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I, when I puzzle at home, I, it's a uh, relaxed uh, yes. time. Uh, normally with myself, but sometimes with uh, with um, someone from our family, from my family. Well, but we'll normally, it yeah, yeah, sometimes. But no, I, I usually do it do them by myself. It's yeah. it's the most useful way. But I also do them, and it's relaxed moment. Uh, nothing to do with time. Even though you just go, oh my god, five hours, and I've been yeah. <laughs> I've been here do you, all do afternoon. You find so. though, sometimes when you're starting a puzzle and you're not completing, you're just relaxing. Actually, you still finish quite quickly. Yeah. Does that yeah. surprise you when that happens? Yeah. Well, uh, it didn't. I mean, it was, but, but I, I didn't have anyone to compare with because yeah. um, I just, uh, at, for example, at home probably it was the, the fastest one, and, and I was really good. And for example, uh, my father, when when maybe when I was uh, I don't know, a teenager or whatever, he started saying, uh, if I'm doing a puzzle, I'm doing it. Don't uh, come uh, because you are you're very good and you put a lot of pieces. <laughs> so yeah, but but I didn't really know. Uh, I didn't have any anyone to, no. to compare. So uh, so it was when when I when I discovered all these uh, competitions at national level. Uh, first of all, that I realized that well, that I was uh, that maybe I was uh, yeah I was uh, yeah. was really really good. Really. good, good. Well, That's funny you say that because I've had that same experience and you probably get that too, Karen, where people are like, I don't know if I want to puzzle with you. I feel like I'm just going to be self-conscious, <laughs> like I'm not fast enough. And it's like, you know, it's I love puzzling with everybody. You know, yeah. it's it's a fun way to get to know people and you know. Well, except for when you're puzzling with your family and they tell you that you're not allowed to help anymore <laughs> because you're going too fast and then you just stand there and be like, I know where that one goes. Yeah. I know where that one goes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not just me that, that that's good, but I don't even think of myself as that fast. So I find that hilarious. I'm sure. Yeah. I wonder how much puzzling Alejandro's family just does at like Christmas time. Or, or if they're just like, you go over in that room yeah. and do your own. Okay. Don't, don't even touch it. Don't even come near here. And, uh, yeah. It's like, oh, it's a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> yeah. oh, I want something else for Christmas. I would say it's easy to buy competitive puzzlers gifts. You, you always yeah. know you're safe getting them a puzzle. It's, you know, I don't mind if that's what I get for gifts. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. So we're, we're really booking along while, while we've been chatting here. There have been so many finishes, yeah. um, just lots and lots of people coming in. I think we're probably right around like 30 yeah, now. Just I just over, refreshed the just list. Just yeah, the hour now. Yeah, yeah, that just, was Estelle from France who finished just before. And this is, I can't see the From flag. Spain, I think. Oh, from Spain. Yeah. From Spain. Yeah. China. This is us here. I think that this that this one. Oh, uh, this there's another one from the US. Oh, the Betsy! US. I know Hello. Betsy. Hello, Betsy. <laughs> Betsy looks very happy. Yep, that was a good finish. One hour, yeah, that's great. Right around the hour, hour mark. A lot of, yeah, lots of a lot of tables. empty tables. Yeah. Lots yeah. Of empty tables now. I will say, you know, usually I, I think Alejandro, or sorry, Alfonso, I think he does try to get a lot of the really top people in the front, so that's probably why you're seeing a lot of empty tables towards the front. Yeah, um, he, he usually uh, does that in, in, all, in all competitions, to also to help, um, to help judges to um, pick up times, because you see it's easier if you have them yeah. Right all, next to each all other. together, yep, yeah. Exactly. But, but there, there are always surprises. More, mm -hmm. more uh, in in this one. Uh, yep. that, uh, you don't. I mean, people mm -hmm. that uh, come for the first time, so you don't really know right. where to put. And you put in exactly. in, in table seventy, and then they yeah. yes. they get. So the, Anna and Karen, you'll be in the same semi-final, won't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. No, you'll be in group yeah. C. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All is fair and love and jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> awesome work. Oh, so many finishers happening right now. Another Norwegian finishing. So, uh, Anna, would you say when you opened this puzzle, were you excited? Were you like, oh, I don't know, do uh, I have to do this one again? It was uh, probably a mixed feeling, feeling mm -hmm. because uh, I, I really like this 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 jigsaw puzzle. That's why my friend uh, mm -hmm. uh, lent it to me. Mm -hmm. he, he said, you're going to love it. 
um, uh, please <laughs> have it. Uh -huh. uh, but also, I I don't like when I when I find um, a puzzle that I have already done in, oh. in a competition. It's it's really I don't know. Yeah. It's I, I, yeah, it's a bit so disappointing. So that's interesting because I, I think I'd be love, like, oh, we have an advantage. Yeah, but I love yeah. the thrill yeah, yeah. and the yeah. challenge yeah. of uh, just getting mm. a new. I, I yeah. don't really repeat a, 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 at home. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, for me, it's uh, the, the mm. part of opening a new puzzle yeah. and, and, and the challenge that goes with it, it's, uh, it's important. So, mm. I, I mean, I, it has happened maybe two or three times in, in all the competitions I've been, mm. never in never in, uh, in individual category. Uh, the mm. other two were in pairs. Yes. But, Elizabeth yeah. from Estonia there, yes. just finishing. Well done. Yeah. See, look, she's another one who's got her name very easily. Yes, handily love on that, her. yeah. <laughs> On her top. <laughs> well, we won't have to worry about that for the finals because those will all be brand new. No, 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 yeah. That's and, true. Yeah. And, and I think I think that it's that's it's, it's essential. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to keep it, it fair. It would even yeah. it would even be uh, if, if if we could if we could manage to to have them also uh, new in in mm -hmm. in the qualifying rounds, it would yeah. be uh, yeah. wonderful. But obviously, in the finals, it's like it, yeah. it shouldn't be any other way because it's really it's a big advantage. Mm -hmm. I mean. And, Oh, for sure. So this yeah, is, uh, I would have had the opposite reaction. I'd be like, oh, thank goodness I've done this one before. No, no, no. <laughs> You're a true you competitor. Know, you didn't like. That's but, true, I guess. Yeah. For example, yeah. the, the other the other two two uh, occasions where where I I had the same uh, situation that I it was a, a puzzle that I already uh, had done. It was with my my partner. Um, it was in Paris, and she and the first time is I, I got like, oh my god. <laughs> What a pity! And then the second time that happened, I'm I'm really lucky. It only happened uh, two times. It was like, please, 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 cheer up! Don't, yeah. <laughs> don't let yourself. You get complacent a little yeah, bit because yeah. no, you've done it before. No, I don't know. I, yeah. I, no, I don't know if it's complacent, but yeah, it's just, just like I'm not so I'm not so thrilled about oh, sure. doing it because. Yep. It's, it's, you it's need not a, new, it's not you so, like yeah. the motivation yeah, or the like excitement it. of the I, new I, one. Yeah. I recognize that uh, that I like it. With this one, it's like okay, I'm going to do a puzzle that I love, mm -hmm. so that's a yeah. great part. But I'm it's it's really good. And and it was a surprise because um, it didn't came with the wrap, no, the plastic wrap, yeah, mm. cellophane. So uh, that's easier. That's, well, obviously it's easier, yeah, for everyone. But uh, particularly for me, it's not. I, I'm just like I'm nervous, and I always yeah. like, I yeah, go yeah. like, oh my god, I'm so <laughs> so clumsy and can. So it was a really <laughs> a really good surprise. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be in uh, during all the all the rounds, but uh, I, yeah. I I prefer it. I don't know either. Yeah. I think that's you got to wait and see. <laughs> Here's what I'm wondering is. Now, since they added that rule about the cutting tools, yeah. since we're probably going to get a puzzle with the stickers, maybe they decided cutting tools are too dangerous, and so they're going to give us all of them, even the ones with stickers already yeah. cut open. Yeah, the first, the first round, they had the stickers, but they did pre-cut them so that people wouldn't have to get out of so, yeah, yeah, so I think that might be it, is that they just don't want right. anyone using cutting tools at all. I think yeah. this rule said I'm blunt, you know, like, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, like a blunt and... tool, like a key or a letter opener is okay, but yeah, I agree. I think, yeah, there's some danger in that when you're trying to be really speedy and have a sharp instrument, probably. And then, like, what they have to go around to do and double-check whatever everyone's tool is and right, yeah, right. there's some gray yeah, area there. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Probably it's better just, yeah. to <laughs> just to give it to us <laughs> open. Yeah. 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 Well, and as long as everybody's is open, well, that makes it fair, yeah. you know? So, yeah, no, yeah. And then the people who maybe didn't get the memo and like didn't yes. bring a cutting tool. Right, exactly. Yep. There was people with oh, there long nails yeah. always <laughs> have the, the advantage. And <laughs> Although those stickers, we had a, a competition where they had the stickers that we didn't really know or like prepare for that and people even like you couldn't get it so people were having to rip the boxes because yeah. <laughs> the stickers were really powerful Robinsberger you're doing a good no, job they, with those they are stickers. very good yeah because yeah. Uh, we, we were also in a competition where uh, we uh, there was a round um, mm -hmm. fossil of uh, Ravens and there were with these stickers mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't expect also to, to find the stickers because yeah. we, we haven't uh, we haven't done any any circle con mm -hmm. so it was like oh my god what's happening I can't open it <laughs> <laughs> I know you wouldn't think something it as small like, as yeah. a sticker closure would cause a, much of a kerfuffle <laughs> but it kind of does because yeah. it's yeah, not yeah. what people are used to but it's also more sustainable than yes. doing all the mm -hmm. all the cell phones so yeah and I think Maybe. that is why they're transitioning to that yeah. to have a more yeah. sustainable model Maybe for the future. Are, they're going to 
going to do it. I can't believe we're at a minute seven, I, or an hour seven. I feel like it's, it's flown by. Quickly. It really has. So Simeon here from China looks like she's just yeah. about to finish. This so is so nerve-wracking. Yes. So how there many was a people? Question, there was a question I'll earlier check about here on how, the do results you, page. how do you, when your hands are shaking at the last minute, <laughs> what do you do to calm your nerves? Just try to focus on the puzzle. Yeah. I don't know. Just try to take a deep breath. Maybe even look up away from the puzzle for like just a second, a just yeah. to like have it have a second. We're right around 40, 40 finishers or so, according to the results site. There's probably been a few more not in here yet, but you know, so we're not quite at half the group oh, finishing. Oh, hey, that girl's wearing the, the oh, top that I have. Oh, I just bought oh, you that, that exact same shirt. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're back on jigsaw fashion again. Yes. Jigsaw puzzle fashion. That has been a, a comment, uh, commentary on the, you know, the, yeah. the comments in the live stream. We've talked a lot about the fashions oh, people are Jenny spotting. From, from from the UK, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. I talked to her last night. She's oh, and she's with her mother. She looks like she has some fun puzzle piece nail polish because she's rocking she there too. She really, really <laughs> I find nail polish so distracting. Yeah, really? I, I, I was yeah. I was thinking that. I mean, it's like oh my god. I always think that it is like like yeah. it's one piece more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, you just heard it from two really fast puzzlers. Nail polish can be distracting, everybody. <laughs> Stay away from nail polish. So there's a question again about the how many people qualify. So in each of the qualifying rounds, there are 100 competitors and 60 go through to the semi-finals, which will be happening tomorrow uh, at 5 o'clock and then at 7 o'clock tomorrow mm -hmm. evening. Yeah, Jamie I mean, from the UK is just putting a lot There we up. go. Oh, she's young. She's very young. I think she's about 16, 17. Oh, really? 17. Wow. Okay, yeah, that is the age. Yeah, I think 16 is the age. Okay, you have to be 16 to compete in individual. Do we know who the oldest competitor is? Well, somebody I mean, said you know, that. If it's we'll, a woman, she yeah. might not want to say what her age is. <laughs> Yes, but. Somebody said it, it was Larry Blank from the United States who's here, that he might be the oldest. And do we know how but I don't know that that's a definitive he, he answer. He told me that he's 70. 70? So that's, that's not 70. bad. <laughs> <laughs> First I'm sure like, that's pretty old. Old. Like, That's probably pretty good. <laughs> uh, so if you, you can see us here. So on, oh, yeah. on the, uh, the far right of the screen is Anna, yeah. Anna Galuciano, who just came first in this qualifying mm -hmm. round. Karen Puzzles, known as Karen Cavett. I'm Julia. Oh, and that was Valerie Coit. So there we go. You just saw who we yep. all were. And uh, Norway looking like they're quite near to finishing. Oh gosh, yeah. There's three people here all Finland. neck and neck. This is really oh, interesting. These are good Turn times for this puzzle. puzzle around. Somebody just turned. They had the puzzle upside down. Anna's shaking for me, her head. For me, it would be like a do like a complete people, nightmare. Do some <laughs> They turn it upside down to I do don't know. It's just I, a different way of looking at the puzzle or to I've, change how you're seeing it. I found that mm, there are so many different ways yeah. of uh, and so many different strategies and and so I mean it depends on on what really works um, for you. But uh, mm -hmm. for example, I I really um, I have like all the puzzle in my head and really memorize where. Everything is going, yeah. so from just uh, having to, to shift uh, the, to that would be the point of view would be uh, would be awful. I mean, I would yeah. I would lose uh, a lot of time. What about for you, Karen? I feel like you don't mind. No, I mean, when I was practicing the round puzzles, mm -hmm. I was turning those a lot because it was kind of a similar because it was the Circle of Colors series, mm -hmm. so it would be like rings of colors. So as I worked on each color, I would just turn the puzzle mm -hmm. and then finish off with the edge mm -hmm. um, all at once. Mm -hmm. So I think for round puzzles it's easier because uh, with rectangle ones you need a much bigger space to turn the entire oh, thing. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, and, I'll, and, I'll, and think also, about the geometry of it. Yeah, and also even even the stress that I mean, you, you're even uh, uh, moreover when you're with the last pieces, you are really uh, nervous to finish, and probably just doing like a sudden movement or something like that, it, it can mean maybe um, throwing uh, half of the puzzle. <laughs> 
uh, to the floor. So yeah. So no, I, I would have to ask, it. Anna, how does that work when you're puzzling in a team? Are you always you want to be on that bottom edge, so it's right side up, or do you not but mind if you have to do it in that context? Like to it's be on not the, the other same. Side? I mean, mm -hmm. in teams, it, it, we we really change uh, positions. Mm -hmm. um, well, well, in a in a long competition where you can even change right. uh, change uh, people. Uh, mm -hmm. In the team, you always are, are changing, but it's not the same because the puzzles are are uh, bigger and you have like more time to familiarize. And but but probably if I have to change in my case, if I have to change uh, places, I mean it, it means because we have to do it because of the strategy, right. so right. it will be okay to do it. But I will probably I I always have like uh, these seconds where I have to like. Um, Reaccommodate my uh, my image of the mm -hmm. of the puzzle and see like okay I was there and mm -hmm. those things are there and now <laughs> I'm here and those yeah. these things are here. So. Well, I think you had mentioned, Julia, does that give you a fresh perspective? I think sometimes it does. I know puzzling with a team or a pair, if you move to the other side. You know, sometimes if you're just kind of stuck, that can help to kind yeah. of loosen the gears a little bit. I yeah. think everybody can relate just to, to that. Just shake it up a bit. I, yeah. I can yep. Yep. Especially, like I said, if you're stuck, then you just want to start to feel like you're progressing. So any kind of change and then immediately being able to see something and yeah. work on that is helpful. There's somebody here saying that they turn their puzzles upside down, especially with a large piece puzzle. Mm. So I guess yeah, because of the to... reaching. If yeah. it's large pieces, oh, that usually means it's a greater area, yeah. and it can be harder than to reach all the way to the I other to side say, of the I puzzle. Think that would completely mess with my head <laughs> if I had to turn it upside down. Because somehow we work out that it's the right way up. Right, you know, that's right. how you're seeing it. And I think to, 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 it's a different way of the brain working. I suppose. Well, I, I really couldn't do that. I think a lot of puzzlers don't even look at the full image they just right. look at the small little sec like shape and color that they're looking for you yeah. like you zero in on the little sections so turning it upside down doesn't really make that much of a difference because yeah. you're still just looking for the same little colors and exactly. shapes exactly yeah for, for, I mean, for, wait, sorry, oh, go ahead sorry. no go ahead no for me doing it upside down wouldn't be a problem the problem is just changing perspective that yeah. if yeah, i remember yeah if i remember that uh, left uh, and down uh, are some red pieces that I have to find and, and what, yeah. all of a sudden they are here yeah. on the right I'm going to have a yeah I'm going to have a problem there and, and some seconds to accommodate to the new position but not not because the image is upside down or not I, I yeah. think that it, because yeah. I, I, I agree with, uh, with Karen you you go for the little details so it doesn't matter if uh, the person is with his head uh, <laughs> uh, upside down and uh, the feet uh, just yeah. I mean there are times where I do a puzzle I finish it and then I step back and I'm like I have like I haven't even seen this image before yeah. <laughs> like it's like I'm seeing it for the first time after it's finished yeah yeah, yeah. indeed well, and I would say too, having it right side up is really handy if you're doing anything with lettering because obviously, you know, it's a little easier to identify the letters right side up. But, but yeah, I agree with both of you. I think you're so focused in on an area, sometimes it doesn't really have that much of an effect. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is fun. Everybody's just kind of. She looks young. A lot of people finishing up. And she's like right on the edge of her her white board there. That's kind of funny. For very example, deliberate, very deliberate. Yeah. For example, in, in this in this type of uh, of image, it's really curious that uh, I find that someone has left a small place where all the last mm -hmm. pieces go together because yeah, I so think deadly. yeah, there's so many yeah. details and one yeah. around that uh, for me it's, yeah, it would yeah. be uh, more more um, more obvious that uh, you mm -hmm. have uh, like five pieces and they are all right. <laughs> all around the puzzle. Yeah. I mean, some people are just really methodical in how they do it. They like to finish an area before they even move on to another area. So I guess that's what you're seeing there. Oh, another finisher. That's why I always say that, um, Israel. that, that the, the important thing is to find the strategy that works for you mm -hmm. because some people maybe get uh, a bit, they, they try to study how the other ones do it and maybe, and, and I think that's, there are very, very different types of uh, yeah. and strategies and, and ways yeah. of doing it, and you should not obsess with, uh, oh, I'm doing it uh, worse than uh, right. this person because he's doing it in a different way. I'm going to do it the same, and maybe you go even you do it even mm -hmm. even worse than before. So I think oh, it's important really to find your own point. way of doing mm -hmm. it and, and enjoying it also because. 
I, I, I have to do a puzzle and jelly in it. So. Well, and that's where a lot of practicing. Just finishing. Yep. I think that's where a lot of practicing comes into play because that's how you discover what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, doing lots of different types of puzzles. You know, there's lots of tips and things out there, um, you know, how to improve. And, and I think the biggest thing is just do a lot of puzzles. <laughs> yeah. It's probably the number one pointer I have for people if you want to be competitive at speed puzzling. <laughs> do a yeah. lot of puzzles yeah so just a question about when the next group is starting group D will be starting at five o'clock local five time o'clock, yeah local time, so <laughs> CEST time yep five so we do have a bit longer break yeah we have about an hour and a half break um, they're gonna start a new live stream after that so here's a suggestion live streamers why don't you go and do a puzzle in the break <laughs> and then you can come back and you're you know you're with us honestly spirit. that's i kind of want to do a puzzle right now because i mean it's kind of killing me as a puzzler myself to sit and watch and just like not get a chance to do these puzzles so yeah i'm gonna be excited i will be puzzling in my room later you can count on that mm. yeah and um, at the back of the um, of the hall there mm -hmm. are uh, tables that uh, you can use you can to practice to uh, free with free puzzling so okay. if you have the urge to, yeah, <laughs> to puzzle a bit you can go yeah there. <laughs> i might actually have to walk we've been sitting quite a while yeah. so they're saying oh, katie cavett comparing uh, competing against alejandro yeah. now that would be scary to watch yeah, yeah your sister's <laughs> competing a few people have asked yeah, about that yeah. today the next group. yeah my sister katie is going to be in group d and uh, I'm so excited to watch. Yeah. Is she your younger sister or your older sister? Older sister. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She uh, is not as competitive as me, but she is just hoping to finish the puzzle. Mm -hmm. That is her goal. Good. That's good. That is a good goal because, yep. you know, depending on what you get, that can be a real challenge. <laughs> yeah, hopefully she gets an easier one and not, a, <laughs> not like the first round. An enjoyable one, at least. Yeah. One that you really see that you you are so advancing and you are. Are you're either of you gonna puzzle this evening? Are you still practicing? Or are you gonna just you're done for I'm the day? I'm gonna sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> no. Just relax. And Valladolid is a really great city to uh, to eat and to uh, have uh, tapas. Uh -huh. you, you know the word in yeah, yeah. <laughs> in English. So it's it's a wonderful city to to enjoy in that sense. It's very walkable. Many. Mm -hmm many um, areas that are are uh, just for walking and it's, it's, yeah, it's a, really, a beautiful city there's yeah. parks and, and the river so, and you know it's it's great and the venue here is really centrally located which is awesome you can walk yes, to everything yes, yes. from here which is just great so yeah it's, yeah just a question again about mm -hmm. who goes through to the next to the semi-final round it's the 30 top countries and then the 30 top finishers that go through to the semi-finals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if folks want to see the results, uh, the results say right on it whether somebody is qualified or not. They'll have a big Q next to their name. So you just go to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship website and look under results 2023. And you can see them as they're coming in on the leaderboard there. And you'll be able to see who's qualified and who moves on to the next round. So I just refreshed, it looks like we've had 63 people complete the puzzle. So we've maybe got about yeah. 30 or so left out there. We've got about eight minutes, eight yeah. and a half minutes left now. That was so, so the last round, I don't know if you uh, watched, Anna, before this round, there was somebody and he was so close and it was like, I think he finished oh, no. it one hour, 29 minutes and like 50 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The whole but, place cheered because we were all it. like, please make it. <laughs> he got the last piece in right, right under the hour and a half I mean, mark. if he didn't finish, it'd be easy to count how many pieces Well, that's left. true. <laughs> <laughs> but I think everybody in here was rooting One. for him. He's from Valladolid, so uh, he had lots of fans here just like being like, please finish before the time is up. And he did it. I mean, an hour and a half is really a respectable time for a 500 piece puzzle. So just to finish is definitely an accomplishment. Yeah, number. So yeah, you can. Table number 72, it's uh, about to finish. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yes. I'll probably make it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once you get down to the last 30 pieces or so, it just goes in so much faster. 
Uh, I love her Smokey the Bear. I shape. mean, as long as it's not like a solid color. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. But obviously, it's faster than before. Even even if even if it's solid, but uh, it's also the the most stressing part. Uh-huh. And, and I always feel like I'm completely uh, incapable unca- of finding where the. It's like I only have five, and I don't know where to. Be. <laughs> Do you panic at the yeah, end? Yeah, 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 I panic a bit. It depends on on how I'm doing. But um, if I see that uh, that I'm going to be the first one or in the first positions uh, I uh, those those the, the last minutes I, I get really yeah. nervous yeah, yeah especially with all the cameras all around you yeah, and people yeah indeed. watching because yeah. you know that it's you and maybe one or two other people and you're all down to the yeah, wire yeah and, yeah, yeah and, and, yep. you, and you never know how the rest are doing so yeah. maybe those uh, stupid two or three mm-hmm. seconds that you're like <laughs> oh my god I can't uh, manage to, to put them uh, they I mean you, you lose uh, yeah. a position maybe in that uh, yeah, I 100% can relate to that. And I've been in a puzzle competition where we've lost first place by like two seconds. It's just heartbreaking when somebody else feels done and you've got like one or two pieces left. Oh, nice. Lacey Becker Lacey from the U.S. Yep. Yeah, I love the shirt. I'm a big Smokey the Bear fan, so shout out to that. Marta from Hungary. So we've only got a few minutes left, but I'm going to quick ask the question because I haven't asked yet. Are you guys fans of puzzle chess and are you doing puzzle chess? Yeah. Have you tried it? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah? Yeah. I'm wondering if there's going to be a puzzle chess division here next year. I kind of raised her eyebrows like, am I on to something? Is no, it, no, 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 I don't know. I don't okay. know. I don't have any clue. I mean, yeah. I, uh, and this, this year at the Spanish national uh, championship, we had the, for the first time, uh, mm-hmm puzzle chess in in our national competition so mm-hmm. I think that it, in the next years it will be growing I mm-hmm. I imagine mm-hmm. but I, I'm not really fan of uh, I'm not very uh, I'm not a fan of uh, the puzzle, puzzle chess, chess. I, yeah, yeah. I, I think it goes a bit um, um, I mean, it goes in a very different way as how I do a puzzle, and mm-hmm. for example, even how I teach my my kid to do a puzzle. Because uh-huh. I always tell him, uh, don't focus, and if you don't find that piece, it doesn't matter. Go to another place, yeah. relax. Find another. If that part is, it's if you're struggling a bit. Uh, you can start with another one, and right. and and you go uh, you go afterwards. That. So. So for me, it's really strange to be like looking for one piece and not being able to. If I see like five or, or six uh, blue ones, they are, just not being able to assemble them. So yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, it goes uh, against my my usual way of uh, of puzzling and yeah. the way that I enjoy. I I, I go for colors. So you're like a pick up me. a piece, look for where it goes, not a look for the piece. No, I'm not. And I always go more, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, like trying to find, uh, trying to find the similarities between pieces and mm-hmm. putting them together, yeah, yeah. and then I will see where it goes. Right, but right. Uh, yeah, but so and this one, you always have to be looking at the what's going uh, to go into the frame. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yep, yeah. So, yep. so it's not uh, for me. It's not a natural way to to puzzle. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. probably it's it's. Mm-hmm. The, I mean, I I've done it. I mm-hmm. in, in some demo and some. Mm-hmm. But uh, not, not, not really very very fun. But there are people that really really enjoy that uh, yeah. that category. It's completely different yeah. from from the other ones. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like doing a jigsaw puzzle. It feels like its own game. That it just is. Uses yeah. Puzzle pieces. Yes. Yeah. Well, and Julie, if you're not familiar, puzzle chess is basically you have a chess clock and you have a puzzle, and two people work on it at the same time. Uh-huh. And they're like a chess clock. You tap and you put a piece in, and then the other person. You know, you put a piece in, you tap the timer, then now the timer's running on them, then they have to get a piece in, okay, and then so whoever at a, the end has the l- yeah, smallest amount of time left. On the, on the yeah, there, yeah. About, about if you look at Puzzle Chess online, puzzle you'll see chess. some videos. I know we've posted a few how-to mm-hmm. videos on the USA Jigsaw, you know, site yeah. and th- things like that, so people can find it and, and learn what it is, but it's kind of a way of doing a puzzle with another person and competing head-to-head. Um, on it and it's it's different definitely but I enjoy it good. but uh, it's it can be stressful <laughs> yeah I think it's more stressful yeah. than, and it can be incredibly fast like you can literally just person every person's just you know a second each way and yeah and yeah. for example ev- everybody's looking at the pieces um, mm-hmm. uh, if it's your turn uh, well because I'm, I'm I'm talking about everybody because you can do it uh, mm-hmm. yeah with four uh, yeah. or two yeah one to one or 
or in pairs, yeah. so it's mm -hmm. four people, mm -hmm. and um, everybody's looking at the same uh, the same place on the pieces, and if someone uh, maybe takes a bit more than usual to find the, the piece, all the rest of the people in the table are using that time to locate their pieces. So yeah. when you Plan when you lose a, when, yeah mm -hmm. when you lose a bit of uh, when you lose some seconds, it's really hard to. Um, to keep up because uh, you're going to put it and it's like oh my god I, yeah. I found one <laughs> but then the, the other three are going to put pa 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 yeah, really yeah. fast <laughs> the, um, so then again you and it's like oh my god I haven't had time I haven't had time to to recover so yeah. Uh, I will yeah. be curious if we'll see that here next year I feel like it's There's growing in popularity. Yeah. I, I think so. There's a demo in the, also in the, in the back of the hall. Maybe okay. there are two, two puzzles where mm -hmm. you can practice. So mm -hmm. maybe, I don't know if it's possible to, to record there the, oh, sure. someone yeah. doing, that, yeah. doing a demo. But, yeah, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those of you listening and in the comments, uh, go check it out if you've not heard of it. It's a fun yeah. way to, a fun new way of competing at puzzling. <laughs> we have to find more <laughs> ways to make it stressful, basically. <laughs> So we've got just over a minute left now until the yeah. clock stops after the one and a half hours of puzzling. It goes fast, I feel like. Where are we at? We've got about 64 who have finished, it looks like. Yeah. So over wow. half. Oh, oh, oh she's she got one piece, piece left. She's Next got one piece, piece left. Or? Oh, it's oh, from someone else. From someone else. <laughs> Hello, Sophie from the UK. Well done. <laughs> yeah, good job. Right, getting it done right at the last second there. That's great. <laughs> and this is Maria from Chile. She's going to be counting pieces. That's what happens when they call time. Everybody has to yeah. hands off the puzzle at an hour and 30 minutes exactly, and then they count pieces, and that kind of determines your standing in that round. So for people, if you want to join us again from five o'clock is mm -hmm. when the live stream will be starting again for group. Do you want to say that that's an hour and a half from now? Yes, yeah, an hour and a half from an now. Hour and that's half maybe from the now. easier way minutes. to put it. Yes. An hour and a half. So go and yep. have, five, have some lunch, four, have some breakfast, three, have some dinner. Two, and we'll see one, you back here six. in an hour and a half. Thank you to Anna and Karen for joining Thank us. That was fantastic. Thanks for having me. Yeah. This has been a lot of fun. We're excited for the next group.
From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know mm -hmm. 